All right, Raider Nation. Game worked out like we all we all thought it would, right? I mean, from everything I was hoping for, they went above and beyond. And um, I want to go over some of the some of the game stats. I want to go over the post game um, interview with Coach Pierce. I want to talk about Aiden O'Connell, his post game. But we'll just hold on here for a little bit. Let everybody pull up. Mark, good job. Let's see. Uh, who's uh, Aka Freddy? What up? Bambino. Bambino. What's up, guys? King Gibby. John, what's up, bro? I watched you as a Raider, and I loved your heart on the field. You brought the wood. Hey, thank you. I love all your comments, man. You know your stuff. Stu AOC looking good. Hey, when we drafted him, I told you guys he's making me look good because everything I said about the kid is, is coming true, right? Give him a little bit of time. The offensive line played great, right? Zero sacks to Giants. They gave up eight sacks. How's it going? Uh, DeLong's are Raiders 1982. All right. T219er, what's going on? Clark. Uh, oh, hey, what up, Clark, man? Feels good to win. Hell yeah, it does, dude. Fuck yeah. Um, Khalil King, Ron Ciosi. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. The defense played great. Um, defensive backfield played great. Two turnovers. Uh, offensive line played good. I mean, Jacobs ran hard. They played physical. Uh, they protected AOC. Um, dude, awesome. 30P special, Stu. What's up, brother? What's up, Joel? Um, I got my buddy coming in here soon. He had to check in with his... With his wife real quick. AOC, AOC, AOC. Hell yeah. Boss Raider. Andrew Ahmad. Doing great, brother. Doing awesome. Yeti Murphy, what's up? I'll reserve my decision for a few more weeks. Well, I mean, obviously. I mean, yeah. I mean, but, I mean, they came out playing good, man. I mean, they came out having fun. And, um, you know, we talked about, as a coach, you want to let your players know that um, you trust in them. And the players believed, believed that the coach trusted in them, and you could see it out there. What's up, Marinovich? Thank you very much. Shane, what's going on, brother? Sean Johnson. Hey, what's up, Sean? Salutes to Antonio Pierce. Got his team. Hell yeah, he did. And again, on a short week. But again, here's the thing. These, these coaches, they, they – Football is a simple sport that coaches tend to fuck up and they make it hard. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love seeing former players getting in there because it's hard. And again, you see what Dan Campbell's doing with the Lions. I want to see more of it. I want to see more of it. I want to see more of it. And a a AP's giving, giving players uh, – a good name as far as, as coaching goes, man. Joel, let's see. Raider squad. Uh, let's see. Yeti, 100%. I feel you one game at a time. Absolutely one game at a time, guys. But shit. <laughs> no one's looking ahead right now. Let's enjoy this victory. I mean, they played great on all sides. Special teams, offense, defense. You know, I mean, guys... Guys played well, and we're utilizing guys that we hadn't utilized. You know, I mean, I just – it just shows you how bad, how bad of a coach McDaniels is. Unbelievable. I mean, it really – and, and it's, it's not surprising because I was amazed at the higher I got up. Really, like, you'd think – I mean, NFL is the pinnacle of, of, of football. You would think it'd be the best. And <sighs> coaching got worse, dude. It was, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. And it just 
keep it simple, stupid. Seriously, keep it simple, stupid. Like, if the here's here's here here was always our philosophy. Um, and Rob Ryan, who I love, our you know stop the run. That was always number one. Stop the run. So you you reverse that on offense, establish the run, and really you shouldn't you shouldn't divert from the run game until the defense makes you divert from the run game. I mean, a perfect example. I think it was was it was it the um let's see who do we play before um I don't know but we it was right before half and and, and Jacobs had like eight or nine rushes and, and was rushing well and we scored and then after halftime they interviewed McDaniels and he said we need to establish the pass why keep fucking running the ball why do you have to establish the pass and then I mean you could see Look at some of the play calling New York had. That two-point conversion play, a triple-double fucking reverse. Dude, you have a premier running back in Saquon Barkley who was running well. Give him the ball. Why in the fuck? Why in the why in the hell are you going to give the ball to a tight end to throw it in the red zone? That makes no sense. It makes zero sense. These coaches want to get cute. And they want to, they they all want to, they all want to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to do that. And you can see when players get around and players get control of this thing, they they keep it very simple. And when you keep it simple, players play. They're not thinking about stuff. They make it. They. It, it, it's it it. Oh gosh, I'm just I I'm just so excited. Um. For the Raiders, for AP, for Aiden O'Connell. I mean, Aiden O'Connell played phenomenal. And, and and again, I he's playing exactly how I thought he would. You know, you, you give the kid some time and oh wow, okay, wait, hold on, guys. Uh yeah, Hunter Renfro with some key catches, getting him involved, getting uh Tucker involved. I mean, I think what I think Aiden in the first quarter threw to like eight or nine different receivers. Yeah. Oh, no sacks. And that was one thing too. I think they simplified, geez, simplified, simplified the blocking schemes. And you could see it. You could see the offensive line. They weren't thinking. They were using their ability and they were they were out there creating enough time. It's not like the New York Giants don't have a good defense. I mean, they got some studs up there up front. They got some, you know. Um, they got some great linebackers. I mean, you know, Wink Martindale, who, who, who was the linebacker coach when I was there for the Raiders, a, a very, very close friend of Rob Ryan, a great coach. And, um, the offensive line, I mean, that's where it starts. And Aiden O'Connell talked about that. It starts up front. It really does. And, um, thank you so much, Ruben. I pre, I thank you very much. Um, love to see us establish the run. In, in in the post game, right? A AP talked about go back to the roots. Well, the one thing I really liked though is he talked about this is how they practice during the week. And I love that because I'm telling you guys, football, I don't know about other sports, right? We go to the whole and I love Allen Iverson. Practice, you talking about practice in the NFL practice is so hold on one second. Yo. Hey, you see me in there? Nah. You say he don't see me. Go back on your phone. We hit the same link and we in uh stream yard and everything. Nah, you're not uh uh-uh. uh. You're you're not you're not in the little waiting room or whatever. You say he don't see me in the waiting room. Okay, I'm showing show that link. Oh, that's from the game, you know. No, I don't know. I don't think I sent this one in the email because it wasn't working. The uh, FIE seven HP. FIE seven HEP seven VW. You know, is that the one for the yeah the yeah. meeting? You said HEP seven VW, right? FIE seven HEP seven VW. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sent that one to my phone. Yeah, that that that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, you know, you should you should be you should be right. You should be I don't yeah, you should be coming up. Yeah, we're coming up in a minute. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. So Ruben, hey, thanks for the the uh ten dollars there. Love to see us establish the run. Aiden was able to get the ball yeah, in everyone's hand. I keyed up. Here's the deal. Again, you don't establish let me let me make sure i got this right you do not establish the pass to set the run all right here we go i want to enter i want to bring on um a very very close friend of mine um i know him as raider og he's coming in as scooter the raider a uh, very 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 close friend of mine uh, a great a uh, great raider uh, part of the nation, been a Raiders for a long, long time. What up, Scooter? What up? What up, homie? Hey, so we're just, I'm just kind of going over. We got 95 people in here, man. I appreciate everyone for pulling them up, blah, blah, pulling up. Um, I'm just going over here. I was talking about, like we talked about earlier, you don't establish the pass to set up the run. You establish the run. To set up the pass, right? No question. You start off running them the ball. No question. You, That's how you start you, a play action and everything off of the run. You don't stop. You don't stop running until the defense makes you stop, right? Exactly. And that's when you start passing slants. You can go deep across the middle, uh, play action. You because those win. linebackers they start moving up. Yep. Those DBs start moving up, right? And load the box. Yeah. And we got a, we got the, the the NFL's leading rusher from last year. Let's use them. Yeah, yeah. We had a uh, we had some bad play calling, some bad coaching, uh, just a whole bad aura in that locker room, uh, in that building, uh, in the whole stadium. Uh, I'm glad Mark finally listened to the fans. Um, he leaned on um, uh, the vets. He uh, also leaned on uh, the current players. And um, like they said, because I'm not reporting anything new, everybody's heard it. Uh, he sat on that for about two weeks to make sure he made the right decision because he wants to build stability, continuity, and have the same head coach there uh, without all of these changes, losing all of these good players, um, stop drafting these bad players or drafting guys too early. Uh, he's, he's trying to do the right thing. He thought he was doing that with uh, Gruden. Uh, regardless of all the stuff that happened, um, he felt that 98 Gruden was what the Raiders needed mm -hmm. in uh, the late part of the 2000s. Um, but, you know, it, to me, some of the game had passed him by. Uh, you guys got to forgive me. I'm watching the late game, too. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, yeah. you, you, you know, you bring up some good points. And again, I go back. I go back to uh, AP's when when they got introduced, you know, when he was with. Um, uh, champ, you know, he said yeah. it's it's not it's not um AP versus the Giants, it's the Raiders versus the Giants. And a lot of times these coaches they want to make it about themselves. And like I talked about, no one gives a fuck about the coach. They don't come, they don't pay a ticket to go see the coach. Yeah, you can already tell that um Josh wanted it to be the Josh, Josh McDoofus show. Um, yeah, everybody is to see me. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it, I won it. Super yeah. Bowls, and no, you didn't win shit. You held a clipboard for Tom Brady and, and Billichek, man. Yeah, and and I, that's I, obvious. You can see. Yeah, and uh, maybe some of the fans uh, may not remember that far because you know we're probably dealing with people from different age groups. But yeah. you know that thing was there with Belichick, Romeo Cornell, Charlie Weiss, and uh, and um, Rob Ryan. That thing was there before McDaniels came in as an OC. He might have been in a building somewhere. Uh, and then, as you said, he was holding the clipboard um, way back when. And, and what was Ziegler doing? Like, that dude was, what did you call him? His drinking buddy from Ohio or something like saying, that? Yeah, that was his drinking buddy, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what a lot of these guys are. That's what a lot yeah, of these dudes he, are. He, he hooked his homie up. And how are you going to be uh, the head coach where the GM answers to you? That's another bad thing that happened with the previous regime. 
And your boss can't answer to you. You answer to your boss. Uh, that's how it goes. And those package deals uh, aren't too good either. I don't like those pack. No, no, no. You, yeah. you, you know this. I mean, anyone that's in here has ever ran a business. It's it's tough to go into business with your friend. Yeah, exactly. You, exactly. Because it's, you hard, know who you're hiding. It, it, it's hard to sometimes when it's when it's your friend. You. you it's hard to have some conversations, you know what I mean? So unless you have a relationship with your buddy that knows that this is business, then you can do that. But a lot of guys, they take shit so much, per they take it personal, man. They take it personal and you can't, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. So John, Hey, thank you very much for the, the $5. What do you call these things? Um, thanks for the $5 here. So Stu with this win speaks huge. This win speaks huge, ugly volumes about Josh McDaniel. Hell yeah, he looked like a completely different. It looked like a completely different team. I didn't like the halftime lull, only six points. Oh, you mean so tonight? This the six points. Well, you know, I mean, goddamn, John, come on, you. <laughs> hey, man, I gotta look at my stuff, man. These glasses kind of dark, brother. Well, you coming? You hey, you coming in and out? You looking like uh, yeah, hell yeah. No, oh, yeah. John, I, I get it. I get it. You know, it it is hard when you go up sometimes to keep that going. I mean, obviously, this this week has been a very um, um up like up and down week as far yeah, as tumultuous. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So these guys, it's it, it's. That whole the the build up to this game, the energy that that we came out with it, the, I'm, I'm sure though it, it starts to wear off a little bit. You know what I mean? Hey, you it, said it too. You said it after five minutes, all of that high of yep. having a new head coach, it will go down, and you'll realize I'm in a real time. NFL I'm in a football game. game, and that high that the guys were on just kept going. And uh -huh. you got to think about it. They've been their their emotions have been high all Heck, week. yeah yeah. Yeah, like they, uh, that, that's that's hard to contain that and it it'll wear you out so no john you're right i mean you know there's and that's the thing you bring up a, a a great point and and i think you can agree with me that's the thing about football right like yeah we did this but we gotta work out and that's good though like yeah. and I, I guarantee you ap is happy with this but they're gonna go through and they're they're gonna definitely look at the great plays but obviously there's things we need to work on there's oh, always yeah. right uh, some oh, bad right. safety play right there. A couple of bad, you know, plays uh by uh the corner. Uh, because I'm not calling anybody out. Shit, I've never played in the league. I only played in fourth grade, and that was it. So well, no, but you're calling what you see. All right. Well, uh the bad play by Amik when he let the uh receiver run past him. And I don't know what he was trying to do. So maybe what, jump what, I, what, I, what I said, and I, I made a comment uh when, when for Docs and those guys on their show, I said he jumped big Shirley. <laughs> you stay deep, bro. He he yeah, jumped he that, deep, and, and what they do is they they run those those high low routes to see yeah. what that dude does. If and he, he didn't have help. I don't even know why he thought he had help because uh, the uh, other corner Peters, I think, had somebody else. And then who who came else. over? Was it was it one Epps that came over and made the tackle? Like on the, uh, it might have been Epps or Peters or somebody who saw it. And, uh, it could well, no, I don't. Really. I don't even think they completed that one, did they? That was out of bounds, I think. Yeah, it was Epps. It yeah, was Epps. and it, it it sailed out of bounds. He caught it, but it sailed out of bounds or something yep. like that. Yeah, yeah, but yep. yeah, Epps saved him. Yeah, he should have never did that. But I always called Amik since he's been here, uh, boom or bust Amik, and it's always you get that bad play and then he starts playing well, but. You don't get a good play first. You always get that bad play. Uh, I don't know if he's hyping himself up when he does that or not, but I, I wish he'd work on something else to get him going. Yeah, I mean, you want to you want to definitely – defenders, you can't trade one for one. Yeah. So yeah. you want to – but if he gives up one and he gets five, shit. Yeah. I'll yeah, take yeah, it. For real. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, he got busy today. This is, uh, this is by far his best game as a Raider. He had, the you know, one last year with the uh, one in Denver when he ran that one back. He had, uh, I think, a, a good game, I think, against the Bears or someone else um, this year. Oh, well, hey, but one thing I was talking about earlier when he says he these brainiac coaches outsmart themselves, these dudes, they they want to be cute, and they want to, like, I was talking about that two-point conversion. Like, 
Oh yeah, when the tight end tried to throw it, come on, man. Like what? Just just hand it off to Barkley. The fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, let 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 him get tackled. You remember know we I mean? talked about hey, that that's JV football shit. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and remember, guys, last year, shit. I, that one thing that concerned me was every week McDaniel's would would do some Dumb high, stuff. high school hairy fucking trick play oh, end around. He would always do that end around. He kept doing that end around like two or three times a game at one point. Well, I'm looking at this. The, the the risk doesn't outweigh the fucking reward. Like this play could be disastrous. Exactly. Disastrous. Also, look at how many times um he would sit the other guys down who had better opportunity. Um, number eleven, uh Trey Tucker. Yeah. Uh, he only played him one time. I think he caught the 48 yarder uh from Hoyer when uh, he had to relieve Jimmy uh G string. Um and then I think he threw another pass and he dropped it or something. So you never saw him again. I mean, everybody drops a ball. Well, again, you saw you saw us utilizing Tucker. You saw us utilizing our tight end mayor. You saw us utilizing Renfro. He's all three of the tight ends today. Yeah. Yeah. He, you know. Yeah, I think we uh I think we hit hit something big with Hard Agree and um in AP and uh, hopefully. Um, the rest. Hey, hold of hold your thought. Hold your thought right. on on yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Top Beats, thank you very much for the $10 here. A good coach takes advantage of a player's strength and builds around that. I mean, that just sounds so simple, doesn't it? Yeah. But it, yeah. I it, see Top Beats a lot. He he knows his stuff. I see him in a lot of the uh, uh, Wasted and, and Doc's show. I see him in Hammers. I see him always. But what I'm saying is, is, is you would think coaches would, like, that's, like, that seems simple, right? Like, Dude, let me take – but here's what coaches do. You know, I, we've talked about this, right? They have these egos, right? They got to prove – they got to prove that their dick's bigger than everybody, right? Yeah. So, yeah, and, uh, you know like said, I, Josh was no, always going to outsmart himself. Hey, he doesn't fit into what I'm going to do. Like, no, motherfucker, that, as crazy. a coach, you adjust your game to what you have. Yeah, exactly. You don't make – you don't oh, bend somebody into what you have. I can't use this, dude. You better find a way to use them shit. Yeah. Yeah, he was uh he he's out of bounds. He's the same coach as he was in Denver. Um, he didn't change. And I was reading something earlier when they talked about the meeting. Um, all of the players or the players who spoke up like really tore into him, like really bad. And they say that uh once practice came the next day and he had AP speak for him. Um in uh because he was just so broken down. Oh, because he, he of, he well, all he, all he would say up there would be, um, you know, um, oh yeah, 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 um, yeah you know. you're putting his head down, uh, you know, um, um, yep. no, but motherfucker, we don't know. That's why we're asking you. And he would always give these old smug answers, uh, and so condescending when he speaks to people. And he would always, oh, sure. uh, uh, bring up Hondo and let Hondo answer, uh, ask the first questions. But Hondo would tear into him. Like, look how much you spent on this offense. How come you guys aren't scoring any points? You put no money in the defense, and the defense is out playing far what you put in there. Here, let me, let, me, let, me, hey, let, let me read this real quick. All right, McDaniel's yeah. design plays, which detracted from it and forced players to conform, yeah, to conform to its regardless of their strengths, right? So he, again, he's trying to take a square peg, put it in a round hole, and he's hole. making the players turn into a round hole. And it's like, no, 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 no. You adjust to make that square peg fit in a motherfucker in your shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Let yeah, me just make sure. flexible at all. And he asked for this. Let me hey, let me just read this real quick. Yeah. Jets have an elite defense, but I want to see what Aiden and Bo Hardegree cook up after a full week of practice. They already showed yeah. great – So that's one thing that in the post game, that's one thing that Aiden O'Connell just kept – and I didn't hear all of it. We might play it, but he he said that Bo's the hardest working coach. He said he he his preparation is is second to none. Yeah. Um. He called a great game. Kudos to him. So again, like there there's a player in here, and here's the deal. Aiden O'Connell he comes from Purdue. We we had a we had a uh, Jeff Brom. He's doing. He's like he. He's got Louisville right now rolling, and Jeff Brown was was one of the hardest coaches you could ever have on a quarterback. So he comes from yeah, some pretty true. good. Yeah, he, he. It's not like he's just saying, "Oh yeah, he's doing good." No, he 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 knows. He's been around a good quarterback coach. So yeah. um, that that speaks volumes to me. Let me just also, make sure that we don't have any more. I just want. Oh yeah, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. 
Damn, Ruben, I appreciate you, bro. Like, hey, second half, Lowell was disappointing, but OC first time calling plays. Yeah, he is still learning to adjust. He'll be right. able to put more of his touch this week. Yeah. Yeah, well, more because you know he, he wasn't working with probably too much of the playbook anyway. A lot of those plays we saw were new, and, and they were they were just direct, simple. I mean, like there was it didn't seem like there was confusion. It seemed like everyone was was on the same page. I mean, yeah. The one then, thing uh, I I saw, I saw like a a conscious effort of a game plan. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly plays made sense to me like the reason we ran play action here to bring the linebackers down to run that fucking 10 yard dig right like yeah, they're, exactly. like, oh, they're doing things that 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 there's a purpose to it they're not just uh let's just do this and let's just have a guy do yeah. this let's have our receivers run into each other and shit yeah. you know what i'm saying like proper <laughs> spacing you know what i'm saying like yeah 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 those those were those were thought well thought about routes but also uh hard agree uh, when he did his press conference earlier in the week, uh, they asked him, you know, how would it be uh, working with Aiden? And he said, I work with all the quarterbacks and I treat them all as a starter during the week. That's just how I coach. Yeah. So this is not going to be new for uh, for Aiden at all. I love That's that. all I want to do. I love that. Uh, John, thank you very much. Uh, something I noticed, we kept players more fresh. Yeah, we had a ton of substitutions and the defense benefited from it. Even the offense had several. And you know what? That's one thing I don't think we talk about. Shit, against the Lions, dude, against the Lions, I I think that halfway through the third quarter, the defense already had like 60 plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those quick three and outs and, and, and the offense not sustaining drives, when that defense is out there, man, that shit just wear, it'll wear you out. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell by the fourth quarter. That's when they gave up the bulk of those yards to that running back. Even though that dude, uh, I can't think of his name right now, uh, from Detroit. But the even though he was the getting rookie, yards, the rookie. Yeah, even though he was getting yards, he got the bulk of those yards in the fourth quarter because they were yeah. gassed. Yeah, they were yep. gassed. But yep. a lot of uh, but that hey, you but need, that's what that run game does, though. It, yeah, it yeah. keeps the clock moving, right? It keeps the offense out there. It has yeah, no, your defense you know, rest. eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 yard or 12 play drives. Like that yeah. wears a motherfucker when you just throw this shit incomplete, incomplete, dude, and you're putting it and 10 seconds came off the clock. That defense is like, yeah, bro. like when you like when you played, when we had no offense and the yeah. defense was you guys were just out there forever. And here's the thing most of the time, the defense is on those coverages, right? Punt and right. kickoff and shit. Well, kickoff, we didn't really do too much but i mean punt like dude that's you i remember there were times it's like oh please i hope it's a fucking tv timeout can we get a tv timeout please uh, i can imagine bro yeah i, I mean i sit there and watch them i already know guys hey, you go? let's let's do this let, let, let me just i, I just want to go through um i want to go through the um just the game stats okay and just get yep. people's opinions of these here so let me go uh, Raiders, um, here also too. Let me, I want to do this. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna send, I want to send a link to, um, to Docs here, real quick. If you want to put some up on the screen so I can read them while you're doing that, I'll do it. Here, let me, I don't, let's see, Raiders. Raiders versus Giants. Let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, team stats. Yeah, here. Let me. Let me go. Uh, boom. Let me go to present. Let me go to share screen. Here. Can you see that? Is that? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Shit, wait, wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay, can you see can you see those? Yeah, it's kind of small, but I can see them. Is it okay? That's what she said. <laughs> What'd you do to her after that? Mm-hmm. No, nah, that's what she said about, about you, homie. Wait, oh, hold on. Right, here, here. You know. here, hold on, hold on, hold on. If she's complaining, oh well. 
I'll, I'll I'll read it real quick since your old ass can't see shit. Oh no, I put on my glasses, man. You know, I wear glasses now. All right, here, hold on. So let me just do this. I'll, I'll take. Let me let me stop that shit. Okay, here we go. So total yards three hundred thirty four. Okay, to two hundred seventy seven passing yards two hundred nine to one fifty four rushing yards. Here's the big one, one hundred twenty five, dude. Like that. That's I think yeah. that's the first. 100 yard game, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Uh, they had 123 rushing yards, yards per play 5.7 to their 4.5. Here's the deal. I mean, the game actually, I mean, first downs, they had 15. We had 15. Third down efficiency. Here, here's where here's where we made a, a good jump. They were three at 12. That's what you want as a, from a defense to hold them yeah. to three first downs out of 12. We were five of 14, fourth downs. Here's here's the other big one, dude. They were one for five on fourth down. Oh, that's well, good. We, we, went for, we went for what, once? One time. Yeah, just yeah. one time. We were 0 for, 0 for 1. Total plays, 59 to their 62. Sacks allowed. Here's the big one. Sacks allowed zero. Zero. To eight. To motherfucking yeah. eight. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The rookie got a sack. Hell yeah. No Rick got a sack. Uh Max got one. Uh, Bilal Nichols got one. Uh Jenkins got one. Here, here, here's an, here's another good one. Only four penalties for 30 yards. That's Man, good. That's, that's good. good. That's good. Fumbles that's lost. The thing, that's the only thing we did under uh McDaniels uh is is work on penalties. Yeah. That's it. So that that just shows you that that's an undisciplined team. That or or, or here it is. That that's that's a team that is not through the week during practice getting coached properly. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I see, I see because that shit's happening in practice, and the coaches are just letting it go instead of going, no, 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 run it back. Fuck, we're not doing that. That that play, you know. Let let's do it right. Let's do it right. No penalties. I'm sure they were just going. Oh, that's okay. We'll just we'll just just go next play, next play. And it's like, no, man. And that and that's one thing that um, AP talked about again was he said um, I wasn't surprised with our effort and play because we were doing that shit during the week. Right. Right. And then too, a lot of times he would say we had like good practices and. We never saw this loss coming. I mean, come on, man. Your coaching is terrible. And then also a lot of the uh, – this is not the only time, not this game, but the last couple of games. Detroit, Chicago, and uh, a few of the other games in the beginning of the season, they would say all of the DB said we knew what play you were going to run. You know what I mean? Look how many times they would always go to uh, Devontae or Jacoby. I mean, it's – you go to this guy five times, you go to this guy four times, you go back to this guy four times, you go back to him five. I mean, you just switch it up, but you have a tight end that you're not throwing the ball to. You have a running back. You barely yeah. turn it off to. You got other receivers that are just laying on the bench. We can't figure out how to use one guy. It, it doesn't make any sense. Well, I thought you were head coach. I thought you were an offensive guru. How can you not figure out how to use an offensive piece? I, I think that people throw around that guru uh, – uh, too, too uh, loosely label a little too, but again, he, and here's the thing: what what did we talk about when we were watching the game? Right, a coach, well, really, a player or anybody in any business needs to be able to self evaluate and know what you're not good at. Right, right. This dude comes in like this, you know, what I'm saying he's acting like he's the reason they won Super Bowls. It's like, no, nah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Not not one bit. Not one. as we can see, you had two chances, and in both of those, you were done after what twenty they games. Said, they said the same amount. He got fired in the middle of the second season in Denver. Twenty one games, twenty two yeah. games. Yep, and he gets fired just about in the middle of the in, uh, second season with uh with the Raiders. So, yeah, he, he didn't learn from uh, uh from his mistakes, and he's one. Uh, he seems to be the type of guy is you lose because you didn't listen to me. And you win because you listen yep. to me. There you go. Yeah. And that's the perfect. And you know what? As a player going, this motherfucker, dude. What? Right. 
Like, yeah. and then they're going, you know what? I don't even want to go out there to be honest with you because I'm going to be, because here's the deal as a, as a player, you want to be able to hope that the coach is calling a play that's putting you in the best position to be successful. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I guarantee them dudes are going, nah, man, that, that, uh, that play ain't going to work, dude. Yeah. I think, uh, when we, uh, play Chicago, they were saying that uh, Devontae and Jimmy were sitting on the end of the bench. And then Devontae said, why are they calling that play at this time? Also, um, we never ran the hurry up. I believe it. Yeah. We also never ran the hurry up. We were just always, huh, all right, we just get to the ball when we get to it. And, you know, he'll snap the ball, I guess, when everybody's ready or when he feels like it. There was no urgency. The game that we kicked, the Pittsburgh game, when – we were kicking the field goal instead of going for the touchdown. And yeah. then he ran out of time yeah. some kind yeah. of way. And then he still kicked the field goal anyway when he really should have went for the touchdown. And then he says, well, at that time, the time didn't matter. The time didn't matter because of you. That's why it didn't matter. It didn't matter because of you and you're a genius. Well, you saw you saw today, right? Well, we have uh, first and goal on the five or five or six. And what we do in the first play? Running. Run. Running. Touchdown. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let me go. Let me get through these. Let me get through these real quick. Yeah. So Raider Reaper, thank you. Best Raiders win since 2007. Proud of the boys. So that was my last year with the Raiders. What game was that? The, you're probably thinking of the Pittsburgh game is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking probably that Pittsburgh game that Chris Carr. Chris Carr. Yeah. Took that bitch 105, 106. Yeah. Number 23, boy, Chris Carr. Hell yeah. That was my dog, man. Oh, here's my... Actually, here's Andy St. Ives. Thank you, Andy. Andy is uh, uh, my one of my friends from high school. Oh, cool. um, a great, 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 very, very, very close friend of mine. Um, a guy that I talked to, you know, three, four hours at a time, man. Knows football, dude. Right. Thanks, Andy, for pulling up. Hey, actually, thanks, everyone. 126 people in here, man. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody trying to celebrate this Raider win. Hell yeah. Top beats. Bo mixed it up well. Hell yeah, he did. Yes, absolutely. He and that's the thing. He had the def. They didn't know what that you had the defense guessing, right? Yeah. You you had you had uh you had um um Wink Martindale. He didn't know. Okay, they're gonna run. They're gonna pass. They're gonna. And that that's crucial. Hey, Wink didn't know when to blink, baby. Nah, hey, hey, Wink was out there with that chain on, but hey, you seen him? You seen him out there with the jewel? He was, the jewel he was fucking oh. pissed. He yeah. was hot, boy. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I knew these dudes, the defense was going to come in ready to play. And you, our offense just blazed them because they yeah. came out. They came out. And here's the one thing that AP said. And I talked about this that the one thing I loved about AP is he's going to, he's going to have that offense with a defensive mindset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he, he said, he said, right. He said, um, uh offense right here he said came out physical downhill running you know what i'm saying like that shit uh o-line he said colton miller he said he colton miller at one play took a defender right out of bounds and just yammed his ass fucking dumb yeah i'm watching the highlights too i'm all finished drives finished drives he said finished two drives rushing touchdowns physicality dude i'm telling you that's some that's a as a defender, man, when you got an offense out there and, and bro, you know that running back is, is running downhill. Them receivers are going to crack you. Them offensive linemen are dumping dudes. Like, yeah, that's a whole nother thing you got to think about, bro. Yeah. And then, too, we finally stayed with the same blocking scheme. Because, remember, we spoke earlier. Yep. And we were talking about a couple of the guys were confused. Are we zoning? Are we manning? Do we yeah, still have that coach? And, that, and see, that's the thing. I, again, they, simp- they 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 simplified things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got like these guys like John Gruden who X, Y, Z, Taco and all this shit. And all that shit is, you know, all the, you know what the only reason they're doing that for? Oh, I'll all show you that I'm the smartest guy in the room. Yeah. that Just uh, the, the coach I was talking to you about, he might have been one of the offensive assistants back when you were still with the Raiders. Uh, Saunders from uh, the, the Redskins. You know who I'm talking about? They said he had a 700-page playbook. 
Well, that he, doesn't make any sense. Why do you need 700 pages, man, to throw the ball? It's just, see, see, here's the thing. And again, I, I, I want to be adamant that I say that you don't need to be a former player to be a good coach. You, you, there's, there's good coaches that just, they know how to coach the game, right? You know, they played, they played to a certain level, but they didn't play in a the league. They don't, you don't have to play in the league to be a good coach. But what right. happens is, is these guys, how do you how do you gain credibility with your players? Right, right. Well, you it's your knowledge, right? So you, you they, some of these coaches, they think the bigger playbook, the better coach, right? right. And one of I, I thought and 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 Spagnola, who AP, when I was with the Giants, Spagnola, who's the defensive coordinator for the Chiefs now, I think. Yeah, was the defensive coordinator for the Giants. Man, this dude, we had just in, in, in um, cover three, you're going to have a safety down right or down left, right? But depending on the depending on what the, the call was, that down right or down left was blue red, Ringo Lucky, Roger Louie. And depending on what the play was, you had to know what the proper call was. That linebacker, he's barely even listening. All, all he, all you need to say is, "I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here." But right. he was, I'm sitting here. We're wasting time in practice because we need to know what the proper uh, R right. or, or L letter is, rather than focusing on what the team's doing across. Like, all I need to do is just that linebacker just tap him on the fucking ass. That's it. But this, I'm, I'm thinking that shit is is great for coaching clinics, right. right? You know what I'm saying? And and these little high school and college coaches come around. Oh my terminology and this and that's like, dude, that that yeah. that, that shit criminal stuff. Listen. Yeah, if your yeah. own team has to go out there, like, wait, hold on a second. So wait, Louis, wait, wait. I, I gotta I gotta think about 31 different L words or 31 different R words instead that's of crazy. lining up and looking at see what the formation is like. That's crazy. What the fuck's the point? What That's is crazy. the point? You got any more you got to read? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Devontae could have been worth a two or three. Devontae could have been worth a two or three round pick. Why not shop him? Someone would have bit on that. Oh, well, there's Andy. Well, <sighs> See, we gave up a first and a second for him. A. So wait. I, I I would say, Andy, I would say I would rather keep Devontae than a second or third round pick. Yeah, we gave up a first and a second. I mean, what would you think? What, what do you think? <clears throat> the way the offense is going, especially as big as a name as he is and how they cover him, I would say keep him because we're not going to draft anybody that's going to demand that type of attention um, in the near future. Yep. Um so I will is, say he needs to fucking start catching the ball a little bit. This oh last my three god! Games. Didn't he have the dropsies? <laughs> it was on those hands. Hey, this the is the perfect, hey, Andy, thank you because this is the perfect segue into we were going to talk about Devontae. Go ahead. Yeah, he was he was dropping them, bro. I mean, he dropped them last game, and for him to to uh, to say give me the ball and I, I came here to win, but it's got to look a certain way. He was double speaking because at one point he said it doesn't matter. Oh, so he long- was talking out the both side of his neck then. Yeah, yeah. Because he was saying it didn't matter. As long as we won, he didn't care if he got the ball twice. But if we're gonna lose, you might as well give me the ball this many times. Then he changed it up. So he's still complaining about getting the ball. And now that you get the attention, you're getting the ball like you want it, why you keep dropping it? And then uh uh O'Connell put it on the numbers. That, that one that one, I don't. It, it, it was right here. It was on. The, it was right that, there. Hey, that that it even the, you heard the announcers. They said is that Aiden O'Connell couldn't have put it anywhere else, and then he, he could have handed it to him if he was giving it out of the backfield. He couldn't have gave it to him better than that. Well, then after he dropped <laughs> it, right, the very next play, he goes out and a DB just took him and yammed his ass, <laughs> and then and then the, I think the next play, he came off the ball just. Cause he knew he wasn't gonna get it. He just yeah, he knew he wasn't gonna get it. Oh hey, and to God. anybody out there who's saying, "Hey, that's Devontae or anybody can drop a ball," yeah, anybody can. But don't cause attention to yourself and then do stuff like that. That's all I'm saying. Don't cause it's attention. Like when to you yourself when you put a spotlight on yourself, what happens? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you starting sweating, huh? 
Okay. I'm going to take notice, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, you're, you're complaining about Clay, so I'm going to see what, what's going on. You better catch every fucking ball. Yeah. Or the again, one where he got hit and he coughed it up. I'm looking at the highlights right now. Because then again, right, I think this. So you're you, you, we win the game, but you're mad because you only got two catches. So if you got 20 and we lost, would that be good or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he's, you know, he, his is more than just winning. He's aiming for more than just winning. So he's just talking about his stats. He's making sure he gets into the Hall of Fame. He's making sure he's talked about as the best receiver of all time. He wants I just, to I just know, I just know this. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, and I know you're not going to know the answer. At the end of the day, with the game of football, what really matters? The W. That's it. The W. That That's is all that it. matters is the win. No matter what it looks like, that no matter how many points. It. It's you have to win. You want to put something in the winning column. Just ask Dan Marino. Ask Dan Marino. Oh, that's he a would, blow. He would trade in every one of his fucking records for a fucking championship. You know who else would? Jim Kelly. <laughs> that's even worse. You got there Ooh. four times in a row, too, with the top flight defense. The one of the best runners in the league at the time, Thurman Thomas, Andre oh, Reed, wow. Don Beebe. Who was who their tight end? They, they had to have a, t a pretty decent tight end, didn't they? Or no, well, I don't even remember, right? I don't even remember. I would be, yeah, let me look it up. Can you imagine getting there four fucking times, man? And did they get beat every time by Dallas? I, man, look, let me see. Who was Jim Kelly's tight end? Who the fuck was that? I they, I know they had a fucking tight. They had to have had a tight end. Forgive us, guys. It's just, it's just me working the comments here, man. There's 136 people in here. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, everybody, for pulling up, dude. This is a good. Uh, Keith McKellar. I don't know that guy. Really? I Yeah. You got something up from Top Beats. Let's see. Uh, Stu, I also think AP worked on conjunction with Graham in calling coverages, which which enhanced the defense effect. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Because here, here, I guarantee, here, here, here's what AP did for the defense. He instilled confidence in those dudes. Yeah. Right? Hey, guys, I'm going to tell you this. Those guys up front, we're going to be coming. For Shit. Remember the one play? Fucking all five dudes had a sack. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. That was that was that was the rookie sack right there. Yes, uh, um, he was there first. Then uh, um, Spillane was there. Uh, Crosby one of the D tackles was there. Crosby uh, was there. Yeah, everybody was there, homie. That was that was a play. That was so a nice I, play. again, I guarantee he's going. Hey guys, fucking dude. Play the game with play with each other, bro. Like play the game within the, within the game, right? Yeah. I, I guarantee you. Before I bet you them dudes, they're probably thinking like with this fucking coach that we had before. If I fuck up, I I, I might not be playing again, right? Like you can't right. play like that. Yeah, yeah. I just sent you the the whole his whole squad, Jim Kelly's whole squad. We forgot Andre Reed was there too. No, I said Andre Reed. Oh, you did? Andre. Hell yeah, Andre Reed. Man, man, that was crazy. Oh, Jimmy Kelly. Uh, here we go. Roach Clip. What's up? Roach Thank you very Clip. much. Thank you, Roachy. Nice handle. Uh, it's pretty apparent. AOC can play. Starting yeah. Hoyer should have been reason enough to, to can McDaniels. And I want to say this. So yeah, I, I, watched, I watched last week. Turn this fan on. I'm listening. Yep. I watched last week about, you know, who's going to win this game. And to be honest with you, from what I saw, I think, out of like 10 people, only two picked the Raiders, which is bullshit. But they were talking about, um, you know, oh, no, I think with AP coming, but you know what? After this season, um, if he does get hired, we need to get a quarterback. We need to get a quarterback. And I'm Without like, giving the kid a chance. And they're talking about drafting whatever uh, uh, fucking Sanders from Colorado. Get the fuck out of here. We got, they were talking we got a motherfucking Shador. quarterback, they bro. Were like Drake May. They were talking a lot of guys. They were yeah. talking about packaging Caleb Williams and Lincoln Kelly. Uh, 
dudes will say anything. They'll say anything. They, they'll hear it somewhere and just repeat it and talk about it like they know it. See that that's I say that I, I watch these I watch these people on these on these shows and on these podcasts or on these fucking YouTube channels and shit that they just do about five minutes of research on their Raiders and just I'm like, man, yeah. you know what? You like first of all, why don't you consult someone that knows what the fuck's going on? Yeah, exactly. How are you gonna you know throw I mean? some some guys out there without even giving the kid a chance? And and to but, be honest with you, all this shit last time, like they acted like the fucking whatever eight sacks he had were his fault or some shit. I'm like, bro. Yeah. I went through those sacks. It was, I think, at longest three seconds that he had to throw that. Right. Yeah. The O line was terrible, and you're playing against a. Uh, I hate to. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. You're playing against uh, pissed off Khalil Mack, who always wants to show that you guys should have never got rid of me, but. He never got any help. He didn't get any chips and all of that crap McDaniel was talking about. He, they didn't Hell have any no. backs, running backs or a tight end on that side of the line. Oh, oh, we triple teamed him. No, you did not. Man, he had help two times on that side of the line, and that was it. And that was it. So just by him lying, I hope that's what got Mark but Davis. Still, even, even with those eight, six, what, seven, eight sacks? Yeah, it was seven. He still, he still brought us back from a 17-point deficit and had a chance to tie the game. Exactly. And he was playing against a real live defense. People don't like uh uh San Diego. I know I know they're LA, but I, I still call him San Diego. I do too. I do too. Yeah, yeah. People don't like their coach, but he's a good defensive coach. Uh, you know, I don't pay too much attention to him on the offense and uh as far as being a head coach, but he's a good defensive coach. And he was hey, playing hey. against some real ones. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say docs. Docs, pull up. I sent you the link. He's probably he's probably fucking. He's been he's been streaming for the last fucking. Didn't eight. they go out there? Didn't they go out there to uh? No, so they, they, like had, they had a um. Olv had a deal out in New Jersey. They right. had a live thing from New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah he probably so. asked. Hey, I want to say thank you everybody for for for, for pulling up. Um, forgive me. I'm, I'm trying to read everyone's stuff, but you know. It's tough sometimes. My boy Scooter, which what the fuck? What's this? What are you called, Scooter? <laughs> hey man, that's 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 my nickname, man. I just know you as OG, dog. Hey, that's because I got gray hair, bro. Oh yeah, hey, no, yeah. He's talking about uh, the 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 Bills, Bruce Smith. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, they had squad. Yeah, Jim Kelly couldn't do it four in four in a row. <laughs> Was it against Dallas though? Each I one? I think so. Da no, so Dallas twice, New York. So the Giants. Okay, the Giants. Oh, that was when. Okay. And the Patriots? Okay, wait. He was mad about New England. Oh, wait, let me see this. Black Sunday says he was mad about the New England's win where they looked like shit and barely skated by a shit Patriot. Hold on. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Black. Let me see. Dupree. I thank you. Uh, Vikings and the Bills. Hold on, I'm 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 late. Devito, Devito. Yeah, I mean, I felt bad for what? What was the quarterback? The first kid, number eight. What, what was his name? Oh, uh, Daniel Jones. Yeah, man, I feel that. I, I don't like. I mean, I'm all yeah, about. I think he heard that on that scramble. I Remember think we talking well, about there the was running? another play. I don't know. Did you see another play where I think Crosby came in and his his leg kind of like yes. yeah. Yeah. And that, that thing just when when a, when a dude falls being untouched, that that his whole knee's gone. Yeah, and he just came back from injury. He just came yeah. back from a neck injury. So Nesta, um, sorry, Elite. Who's Nesta? What what number is I'm Nesta? talking about the uh, D tackle, Nesta J. Silvera. What number is he? Uh, ninety nine. I'm sorry, okay. she. I said yep. he. I'm sorry, she. She's talking about Nesta J. Silvera. I think he wears 99, either 99 or 97. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, right here. Hey, this is a great, this is a great comment. Renfro yep. said it's not like he's he's not walking on eggshells, man. You can't. I, yeah. that's, why, that's why. Let me ask you this. That's why I I would never like when them people with like the quarterbacks and wow. they do the, the two quarterback thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing with a uh, car in New England. Uh, that's in New England, New Orleans. Because I'm thinking, 
as a quarterback, like if you make one bad play, like you're out. Like you, you can't do that. Man. You cannot, and, that other dude. and that's why I loved man. AP. Hey, when they asked him right away, so who's your quarterback going to be? Aiden O'Connell. Next question. Yep. Let's go. Yep. He gives us the best chance to win. Yep. And, and again, I, I guarantee he told him this. Listen, you, you are not coming out of the game unless you get hurt. I don't care if we're up by 100 or down by 100. You you are in that game. And yep. as a player, to, to know your coach is behind you and knowing that it's okay if you – I mean, you don't want to make a mistake, but thinking like if I make one bad throw or one bad read or one bad check – like, yeah, but again, you, you saw, I thought, I thought the offensive scheme looked simple, right? Yeah. It was simple. It was, to the it point. was outside run that little slant. Right. I it, mean, it was simple to the point. Run the play action to suck the linebackers in fucking throw a nice little fade route. Fucking hand it. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, he wears 99. Okay. Thank you. Life of the nation. Appreciate it. I see you. Uh, oh, there. Okay, ninety nine. Yeah, Nesta Jane. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. State. That locker room about to have. Oh, let me see. That locker room about to have the smoke alarm going off. Yeah, what you call it? The um, the uh, kicker was smoking a cigar in there. It looked Look, like a jader. Missed the like tackle against the 06 Giants, ninety five yard touchdown. So. No, was that 06? No, 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 that was 05. That was 05. It was it was fucking um it was uh Tiki Bar no. Yeah, Tiki Barber. And um actually to be honest with you, Namdi was on the outside and the leverage that I had he he came up and made a nice cut. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up, Matt, Matt. I appreciate it. <laughs> wow. He said, but here's the thing though. He says, I still love your channel though. I appreciate it. It's all good. Go Raiders. Hey man, I never said I was perfect. Shit. I mean, uh, at least I you got to do it. I think, I think, I think in 05, I missed eight tackles, maybe. In 06, I missed four. You know, that's pretty good because I see a lot of dudes miss four in one series. Yeah, on the real. And no one says nothing about it, but yeah. Shit. Or, or drop three in one series. Well, again, I want the fans. Because now, you know, we're in that era, because you're old school like me. We're, we're in that era where no one no one wants to be confrontational. No one, wants right. to, no one wants to call anyone out, man. Hold these players accountable. Again, yeah. like Devontae Adams, step your motherfucking game up, bro. Yeah. For real. Man, he had a bad game, bro. Yeah, I mean, he, he had a bad couple of games. I mean, series in the games. I won't say he had bad games, but he had well, bad I mean, really, I mean, games. you go back to the Bears. He missed that touchdown. Yeah. And then, you, then, you, then you go to the Lions game, those two third downs. Yep. And shit, and then today. Yep. So it's like, again, and the only reason I'm bringing that shit up is because of the way he acted when he wasn't getting the ball. Yeah, yeah. And, and you realize you come to a team – that's not winning right now. You see what the situation is. Why are you stirring the pot? Instead of acting like that, you know, take that shit out in the locker room. Don't don't spill it all out in the well, here, Here's the thing. Instead of contributing to the negativity, why don't you stand up and be the positive fucking person? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you why don't you change the mindset of the team rather than feed into that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well said. And like what AP say. These little, these little powwows, these little fucking group meetings and shit. Oh, that's over with. Or and, and again, what you, what, what are you guys mad at? You're playing, you're playing for the best fucking professional organization in the world. Hey, you're, you're, playing, you're living in Las Vegas. You're making you're well millions compensated. and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. You're yeah, in front dude. of one of the best fan bases in the fucking world. Well compensated to play a kid's game. Exactly what AP said. So you ain't got a reason to be mad. Come in here smiling and want to be here. If you don't want to be here, you out of here. Over there pouting and poo-pooing. That's the type of coach we need, though. We need a, a hard-nosed coach like that that's hard-nosed that way. 
because Josh McDaniels was hard nosed too, but he was just a jerk. He yeah, wasn't, but, but here's he the wasn't thing: a people person either. You look at it and, you, and and see, like a player like AP, if he's telling me something, I'm I'm a that's constructive criticism, right? Like this dude won a Super Bowl. This dude was a a, a JUCO fucking college player and a Man, fucking free agent. He grinded. Yeah, he, he was Gr grinded. So if you're telling me something. I'm not going to get offended to I'm like, shit, coach, talk to me. What do I need to do? Like, help me. Like, yeah, and they what, say he what was do smartest, I need to do to become player on all the teams? What do I need to do to become a, a player like you were, right? Exactly. To help my, help my team win a Super Bowl. Exactly. And they said instead, he was the smartest of, player on oh, all his dude. teams, too. So, but but a, a guy like McDaniel is like, what the – like, you – and I guarantee you the well, um, 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 you know, uh, a um, um, a Renfro, you know, um, uh, um, oh you're, you're just not, you're just not, um, you're just not, you know, you're not fitting in, you know, and be like, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, he's not like a Wes Welker or Amendola or who's what one of the other guys he had. He's just not as fast, but he does the same stuff. He's just not as fast. That's the only. Don't, don't we have one of them on the staff? You know, Amadula don't isn't he like one of the coaches or some shit? Nah, nah, not that guy. I don't think so. Hold on. I think we got one of those motherfuckers. Yeah, I, that name does sound familiar. Hold on, man. I don't think we got that same one, but dude, got, it is him. Yeah, it's him, bro. He's on staff, dog. Oh my god. Hey, coaching assistant and uh, uh and punt returners. Oh, wow. and here. He, Here's the other thing I loved about what he's like five, man. Here's what I liked about what AP said too, though, is he said it was a team effort. Yeah. Right. As soon as he got in, it was us, we, yeah. team. You know, like yeah. you need to that, that 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 stuff needs to be said over and over again. But he, I love it. He said, I want to I want to shout out to the special teams. He said our special teams kicked ass, punt coverage, kickoff coverage, and three for three on field goals. Like that's huge. Yeah. And to get guys excited about special teams, like, bro. Yeah, that's... for real. Because nobody ever even cares about that. Well, remember that one play? Who was it? Was it uh um Abdullah that fucking blew up oh, the Amir block Abdullah. and fucking blew up the fucking return around the sideline? Yeah, he, he blew his shit all the way to the Raiders <laughs> bench, bro. Yeah. He blew his shit to the bench. I was like, damn, that's a hit. But I think, I, I, but on the real, I think Bro knows karate though, because remember he got a penalty last year for doing that end zone celebration. He did what that karate you? kick and accidentally hit one of the uh, dudes in the helmet. What? So he, yeah, yeah, you remember that shit? He got a fucking uh, penalty last year. I remember Antonio shit. Brown fucking did the fucking jump kick on that motherfucker during the return. You remember that shit when he was playing for Pittsburgh? No, when he, when he jumped and kicked that motherfucker, he kept going. <laughs> you don't remember that? No, man. I probably saw it, but I don't remember it right now. Let's see. How many wins do you think it's going to take for AP to get a shot at the job long term? Assuming, assuming we're competitive against Miami and Kansas City. Shit, probably just three or four, really. Well, here, let's, let's hold up. Let me see. I mean, because the rest of the games... I think we only have, by the way we've been playing, not counting tonight, by the way we've been playing, the Giants became a we don't know. And then also, of course, everybody looks ahead. Uh, I mean, I, I think, I, I mean, we, we, I think we'll beat the Jets. That yeah. Dolphin, that Miami game down in Miami is going to be, that's going to be a bitch. That's going to be tough. And Kansas City is going to be tough. If we, uh, if we, if we, I, I think this, and, and, and Big Mike, when I was on with, with Docs and, and Hammer, yeah. What he said, he said, if we can, out of the Dolphins and the two Chiefs games, if we can win one of the Chiefs games. Yeah, we can split that shit. That's I mean. good. Vikings are trash. I think we can beat the Chargers. Uh, yeah, but we should have beat them before, man. And we we'll beat, the, we'll beat the Broncos at home. That Colts game, we should beat the Colts too. Yep. So, I mean, so you're looking at, hold on, let me see. So that's. The Colts. Let's the Vikings. Say, so let's say Jets. So, so and one, Jets, that's three. One. That's two, three. And then, so three, if we win one of the Chiefs. Split, that's four. That's four. Broncos. 
I put the, yeah. So, uh, and I, I say Colts. I, I think, I think we could legit get five wins out of the yep. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we go f- five and three in the next eight games, uh-huh. what is, what's our record right now? Uh, four and five, I think. Let me see. I'm on the website right now anyway. So that'd be nine. Yeah, four and five. That finished the season nine and eight. Yeah. I think if we could do that, I mean, we can lock the job. He can lock the job down in too. Champ Kelly. Uh, only thing he can start doing that I guess is looking at stuff for next year, as far as the GM. I mean, because we. And we, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if you saw what I said about Champ Kelly and his when he talked. Oh yeah, I did. You know, I, I listen to all the shows, bro. I listen to all of them. I, I like the fact that he he's a he's a family man. He's yep. a religious guy. He he he's not he's not in it for notoriety, right? Right. He's he's. I think he's a good mentor for the fucking guys. I think I think he's bringing a a, a good um, synergy to the front office yeah. people, creating his his again his team, yeah. us, we, right? Yeah. Like I don't. Is, like he he guy, is, he a, is he a guy I want to hang out with? Probably not, but I like I don't want a, a dude in the front office that's like trying to be Mr. Fucking Slick Rick and cool and right. out there doing that shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I know he's gonna what he's gonna do is when he's in there, he is he is he is business only, bro. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you go be a nerd and start breaking down some of these little nasty contracts we got around here. Uh, see how much money we can get back from and not getting caught owners. up, not getting caught up in the hype of oh, the because every other team's looking at this dude like, no, that that dude, yeah. yeah, he's a great athlete, but he's not a great athlete for what we want, yeah, exactly. See, that's exactly. the thing, that's why I never believed in the taking the next best pick, like, oh, he's the next best guy, let's we gotta take him. No, if, if he doesn't fit into what we got going on, why, why the fuck would you pick him up? Yeah, and get football players this time, not track stars who with wooden hands. Don't pick a guy because he can run fast. Because he looks uh, good. Because he looks good in his underwear and shit. You know what I mean? I don't want to see no dudes out there who playing receiver who can't catch. No guys out there playing linebacker who DB, can't DBs that can't catch nobody. Yeah, yeah. No more Marcus Peters. I, mean, you I, know I, I, will, I will say this. I and we talked. I, I think Moreg has been playing better. Yeah, he was his best season was the second. Was it his first season or second season? Um, he had a nice, he had a very nice sack today. I mean, he, he yeah. full speed, made yeah. a great fucking tackle on um on on Devito. Yeah, on Danny Devito, the <laughs> the, the defensive coordinator. Yeah, you know that's Danny Devito's illegitimate son. But uh, the 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 first coordinator we had that's over there in Indianapolis now. I can't think of his name. He's one of those old Seattle defensive coordinators. Oh, you're talking about who who had the Legion of Doom, right? Yeah, he's in. He was with us when uh when um he sucked when uh Basaccia took over or something like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, he was after after uh, after Groot and them. Whoever that defensive coordinator was, I can't think of his name right now. Usually, it Gus Bradley. Him. Yeah, Gus Bradley. See, and, 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 see, and here's here's the thing. Yeah. He won Gus Bradley. He had some motherfucking dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he had some there. girls. Like, like I, on them was hitters. I mean, Richard Sherman. Yeah, he had some hitters. But uh, uh I, I mean, I could have fucking sat back and let them motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, cover three. Yeah, just yeah, and took all the credit and shit. A motherfucking yeah, uh, yeah. like you said, Sherman and what was the, the, the Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor, that motherfucker boy. Huge. He's like a polar mile that we have now, right? 6'4, 220. No, I don't think he was that big. Cam Chancellor? I don't, I don't think, I don't think he was that big. I don't think he was that big. He's a big dude, man. I'm not saying he, I'm not saying he's he's small. I I I just yeah, that's what you're saying. I mean, I'm holding you to it. You said that. 6'3, 225. Yeah, but you act like the dude was like 5'7", 150 or something, homie. I'm just saying. Uh, when I said Cam Chancellor was a big dude, he was 6'4". I mean, you know, he's like, nah, he ain't that big. He's like 5'7". I know? just said I don't think he is that 
big. What I mean by 6'4", motherfucker. That's how Paul Amal's 6'4", isn't he? So, yeah, he's 6'4". Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta pull up. I'm, I'm gonna pull up a side by side. Yeah, that motherfucker looks. He's got the, he's got the stew swag swag. Who, Paul Amal? Hell yeah. And plus, wearing that two zero looks like thirty. Let me see. It's, it, I always say Paul Mall like the cigarettes. Damn, not the Paul Malls. <laughs> Is it Paul Malo? Those are some uh, penitentiary cigarettes right there. Hey, my mom used to smoke. Remember Basic Ultras? Remember Basics? Damn, nah, bro. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. had no money, bro. Shit. Let's basic see. Ultras, are we? I say 6'3", and we... Okay, I say 6'3". Six, six, six six three. Three. To finish it out? And we have to be competitive against KC Damn. if we can split That's the team eight, and homie. be competitive in the other matchups. It's going a long way for AP... Because division no, games matter eight. more. It's nine and eight. We, I mean, we got five division games left. Yeah. So if we, we can put up some points. That's that was our only, uh, our only uh, uh, downfall to the other games. We couldn't put up any points. NFL rankings. So let's see if we. Let me let me just see where we're at in the NFC here. <clears throat> And I understand every game sorry, is that, like sorry. Like this, but we put the up AFC. A point. Shit, right now, bro, we are in second place in the AFC, dude. Yeah. Look so the record. Yeah. You add in we beat Chargers and Denver. That puts us at six wins. And then we we win one against KC. That's seven, bro. Like yep. shit. We could slide in. Yeah, we can slide in. We can slide in that DM. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta get something real quick. It goes down in the DM. You know, I gotta get my ice pack on me. Hey, thank you, know, you everybody for pulling up. Chairs. Um, yeah, no, I top beats. Do you have any? Yeah, do you have any examples on that? Because I never, I never heard the motherfucker even talk. To be honest with you, hey, Elite Med, thank you so much for pulling up. Top beats. Um. Santana McLeod, appreciate appreciate you pulling up. Blas Romo, Oakland uh, Raider, Ray R A R, Legion of Boom. I thought it was Legion. Yeah, Legion of Boom. Yeah, Legion of Boom, homie. My boy Andy Sainaj, fucking pa Palo Mao. Okay, Palo Mao. P A L O M A O. You got to put a, a hyphen in there. Let me see this. Pa, pa, lo, ma, pa. Let me see how big. P-A-L-O, dad. Now he, he a big, he a big, pa, lo, ma. Wait, how do you spell that motherfucker? Pa, lo, ma, o. Pa, pa, lo, ma, o. Yeah, let's see. Isaiah, Ike. I'm going to call him Ike. Yeah, he's 6'4". He's 6'4", 205. Yeah, he needs to gain some weight. I think I think he had a pretty good combine. If I, I think he ran like a four four or something, let me see. Paul, Paulo Mao combine. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he needs to gain some weight. Let's see. Where's his? He, he must not. I don't. He had to have been invited to the combine, right? No. Who pull him out? Yeah. I don't think so, bro. No. How in the fuck? You're a three year starter at USC. You're that tall. You're fucking Troy Palomalo's nephew, and fucking. How do you not invite him to the combine? Says he was two twelve in college. Yeah. So 225 bench. Well, let's see. 31 inch vertical. Not good. He <laughs> ran a fucking he ran a shit. Hold up. Nah, his 20 yard shuttle. And his 40 was 451 to 453. So I mean shit though. I mean that I mean it's not. I mean, I ran I, I did a lot better than him, but you know, that's 
I'm Stu Swag, bro. What was your 40 times, Stu? So I ran, I actually ran the fastest L shuttle in the 2004 fucking combine. No shit. Yeah, you can look it up. Look up because they had the best. Let's look I believe you, bro. I have to look it up. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. No, shit. I want, I want, hold up. Well, no, here. Hold on. I have my. Uh, you didn't tell me what that 40 time was, though. Uh, four, four, four. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I know I was faster than you. I was, four, hey. Four, four. Hey, listen, four, four, four at the Indianapolis fucking combine when it's just at you and everyone watching your ass, motherfucker, on a, on a fucking electric fucking timed 40. I ran. This ain't this ain't on a track with your fucking high school coach, fucking you know. I did my shit like Bo Jackson, homie. I ran with my pads on and cleats. Hell yeah, that's fucking dope, dude. I love it. Like Bo Jackson, homie. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they wasn't timing it back then, but they said it was like a four two. A well, four two. It. Yeah, and they said it was a three nine without it, but they I'm weren't. They weren't officially timing it back then. Hey, I love you, dog, but I'm t- I, hey man, I, I know times, bro. That, hey, I'm just saying what the people said. I didn't say he ran that because I know it. No, you said you ran that. Oh, me? Oh shit. Oh, you're talking about Bo Jackson. Yeah, man. Oh, I thought you're talking about you. Man, please. Yeah, Bo Jackson ran that shit. Yeah, I mean I can I can I don't think I could run a four six when I was in shape. Oh, okay. All right. My bad. My bad. I thought you you were seeing. I thought you were seeing you, bro. Nah, Bo, homie. Nah, I'm not fast at all with my legs, bro. And I love you. I mean, I, I I was going. I mean, I'll appreciate it. I'll give you. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I mean, I'll give you a four. I was gonna say I'll give you a four, four, but nah, I ain't got that. Mm -mm. Even when I was in shape, I, I ain't got that. I'm very slow. Did y'all notice the defense dialed up the? Yeah. Peters actually tackled and knocked the ball in the air. Yeah, he did that. He yep. did that. Shit, because he almost had he almost had that one pick at the beginning. Oh, oh, oh. man, yeah. he almost had that, homie. Yeah, he gets his he gets his he gets his chances, homie. He might have he might have fell asleep when that ball was coming. Hey man, hey, here, here's the deal: PBUs, bro. On fourth mm-hmm. down, I'll give you a PBU on fourth down, but we need picks, dog. We need yeah. when that ball is right here, bro. Yeah, those things, defensively, those things count as double, man. Man, that would have been nice. Um, Let's been see, nice. did y'all? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I read that. Um, shit. I, hey, I love the run faster when caught. <laughs> That's my dude. That's <laughs> hey, is he talking about me or you? Nah, so he was at some high school parties with me when the cop that's why I never took my shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> I would I never took my shoes off, bro. And yeah, I was, you might have to go out the fucking back door out the window. Bro, I remember I remember when I came back, some of the cops were like, Stu, all we saw was your ass run and fucking hurdle like a 10 foot fence. We weren't we weren't gonna try to chase your ass. Hey, back in the day, shit, I was banging with my shoes on. This motherfucker said, I ran a 3-7 to my divorce lawyer. <laughs> hey, he wanted to get there, didn't he? He wanted to get there. Hey, you better get there first, too. Oh. You, you got to hey, you gotta set the narrative. Hey, that's why he ran that 3-7. That's why he ran that 3-7. Let's see, Matt, Matt, I benched 225 three times, and I'm 5'6", 175, but I run a six-second. Hell, yeah. He said a six-second 40. Hell, yeah. That's probably my speed. No, I actually my 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 I I had one of the best combines in in as far as I graded out as an A. Hey, I, I had a thirty eight and a half inch vert. But I I, I did two twenty five. I did two twenty five twenty times. Um, four four forty. Uh, my five ten five was a three nine one. No, three eight nine. Three eight nine, homie. That's the then, uh, the ale thing you were telling me about. No, nah, that this was the side by side. All right. Um, well shit, hold up, hold up. You know what? While we're talking about it, why don't we just take a look at the motherfucking shit? Yeah. yeah I had, I used to back on 225, though. That was I had the fucking hold up. I had the fucking yeah. Uh, I think I waited oh, about shit. Year, 55, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God dang. 
Let's see. Wait, wait. Stuart Swagger. Those are my glory days. I had yokes, baby. I had yokes. What's that? What, uh, you was brolic? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was that before I even heard of that word. I think I heard of that word about 10 years ago. Yeah. I don't uh, have no uh, any old pictures. I hey, I want to. Hey, uh, hold up. We got a special guest. Who we got? We have one of the legends from West Side High School. Whoa. West West Lafayette High School Red Devils, where my kids go now, won a state championship for them. Went to Purdue. Um, one of the all-time best linebackers at Purdue. Drafted by the 49ers, played for the Seattle Seahawks, and finished his career with the Arizona Cardinals. Went to a Super Bowl when they played the Pittsburgh Steelers. And if he didn't have a fuck ass, bum ass quarterback like Kurt Warner throwing I a pick. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, shit. There he is. Mr. Chike O'Keefer. Sideways. Yo, what up, homie? Can you hear us? Hello? Chike, can you hear us? TK, can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear us? I see him with the Raiders joint. What's he got? Oh, he's got the Bo Jackson joint. Yeah, he got that Bo. Uh, TK, hello. Yeah, here we go. Hold up. TK, hello. That motherfucker staring at us like he's he's yeah he looked like he on one. She okay. Well, he somebody he got to come, gotta come back. Hey, hold up. Hey, right here. Wait, hold up. Whoa. All right, here. Let me go here. Let me go. Yeah. Let me go present. Let me go share screen. Let me go. Bow. All right. Put that. Put that joint up. See. Oh, that's the uh, those are the times. Hell yeah. Uh 6'3, 218. Uh nine and a half inch hand, motherfucker. Uh four four five forty. Uh vertical 38. It was 38 and a half, to be honest. With broad jump, 124 inches, 20 yard shuttle, 389, and then my three cone, six six eight was the fastest time in the whole fucking combine. Damn. And then right here, hey, look. Graded out with a fucking A, bro. Tight. Size rating, 90. Speed score, 92. Agility score, 97. Quick score, 93. Strength, 68. Get the fuck out of here. Straight bro. weenie. Fuck, <laughs> fuck out of here with that. Straight one, weenie. That's yeah, some you fucking, wasn't bouncing that two and a quarter no 20 times. That's some with fucking a, bullshit. With no 68 strength rating. <laughs> Motherfucker. That's some bullshit. That is and then, but Every time I went around, though, they're like, oh, uh, you know what? He, uh, he's, he's, um, nah, motherfucker. It says eighteen. I did, I, I did nineteen actually. To be honest with you, I said twenty. I was lying. I did, I did nineteen. They're bullshitting. No, uh, here you go. Uh, uh, you know, he's big. He's, he's a good team guy. Uh, smart. Not that fast. Not that athletic. I'm going. It's terrible. Why? Why would you say that? Other than that I'm a white dude. That's it. It's the only That's reason terrible, why you say that man. shit. Yeah, your ratings had you pretty fast and pretty athletic. They just didn't have you strong. That's all. Hey, homie. I'm just saying what the rating said. Don't get mad at me. I'm hey, reading bro. what the shit said. They do what you tell me. Tell you what I see. Right? But yet, but yet five safeties got drafted before me. And all those five safeties, uh -huh. I had better stats then in college. I had better combine results at the combine. Do you remember who they were? I was bigger. Besides Sean Taylor, right. after that, yeah, Sean Taylor was hard. Yeah, we came out. Hey, man, that motherfucker. Hey, yeah. <laughs> God rest his soul, dude. Yeah, right, for bro. real. R.I.P. to the bro. I have it. Well, here, let me let me hear. It. Hold up, let me just hold on, man. Let me show you this, and I have a good Sean Taylor story to be. Yeah, let me go up in this man. joint. Let me go with the fucking bow. Let me hit this. Hold up, wow, wow. Here we go. Let me see. Go here, StreamYard. Let me hit present. Share screen. 
Wait, wait, wait. Let me hit this joint. Pow. Ready? Mm hmm. Not work out here. Right. Does that change his status at all, or is that a stupid question? <laughs> stupid question. Yeah, well, Sean what Taylor, I'm for. that might be the best football player in the country, let alone safety. Once again, for the University of Miami. How about Bob Sanders? His problem, he's five foot eight, and believe it or not, people discount him. Yeah. Of that. He Daniel Williams, I remember. Sean him. Jones, real good football player from Georgia, and Stuart Schweiger, really another guy that worked out today. The scouts didn't think he was real fast. He ran four four four. Not bad, not bad at all. All right. Look. Stuart Ow. Schweiger. Get him, Stu. Get him. Get him, Stu. Get him. Look at that. Bow. Uh -huh. Excellent. Bow. You hit your shit, homie. The they hating on you, Stu. You hit your shit, man. Nice back pedal. Oh, that was nice. Right here. Yink. Yink. Uh, look at this. Stop. Nice. Hell yeah, motherfucker, nice, dude. dude. Hey, at 6'3", 218? Yeah, that's nice. And yeah, yeah. I, I slipped to the third round. I wonder why. Stu had bird legs. Hell no, I had fast legs. Man, this is a, this is a rough crowd, bro. Hey, hug these. It's like you got to hug them, homie. What's that? What, what, what? That's what it is. Hey, hug these, homie. <laughs> Stu so still got that long game, stride. Homie? Yes, sir. That long, long ass. I'm not able to get any audio. Fuck. Well. Yeah, he was kind of looking like a pterodactyl in those in those drills, Stu. What's that? You looking like a pterodactyl in those drills, homie. What's what's that mean? The pterodactyl? Yeah. Google it. I know what a pterodactyl is, motherfucker. What a big nose, long wingspan, and little feet. That's how you were looking in those drills, bro. Like a pterodactyl. The fuck I wear size 12. My hands, my hands are 10 and a half inches. There you go. Pterodactyl, bro. Bro, I think I think you're trying to you, bro. <laughs> My shit was, dude. I was fucking clean, bro. Nah, you were hitting that shit. You were snapping that shit. Hey, 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 why, hey, 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 you want to see something funny? I don't know, still. Here we go. Hey, hey. Uh, they say Richie B has a uh, strong response to Raiders firing Josh McDaniels. Did you hear that? Hold on, who who? Rich Basaccia. What 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 he say? Yeah, I'm getting ready to read it right now. Let me see. And Andy, what's your what's your funny story? You want to come on and tell it? Send Andy, my motherfucking boy from high school, dog. Let's see, where's the link? Oh, so yeah, let me <clears throat> let me tell you this Sean Taylor story though. All right. So we're 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 taking the uh the Wonder Lake test, right? Uh-huh. And we go into like this little cl classroom in the R RCA dome, like a little room or whatever. And they had like, you know, those little fold out tables and we had two chairs. So there was probably like 10 safeties in there. Right. And I'm sitting next to Sean Taylor and I, he's got the seat next to the wall and he's just sitting there like this with his hood on, you know, like this is, and they start passing out the test. Right. <clears throat> he's like, I'm like, hey, Sean, Sean. And he looks at me. He's like, what's up, Stu? I'm like, hey. And he's like, man, what the fuck is this? I said, oh. I said, that's, that's the Wonderlick test. And he goes, man, I ain't taking this stupid shit. <laughs> I said like that. I'm like, well, Sean, actually, I, I, I do need to take this thing. So if you... <laughs> <laughs> I do need to take it. I just wanted to make sure if you want to take it or not. And he's like, man, fuck. Oh, my God. He said, he said man, fuck that shit. I'm like, <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> God damn. Hey, I mean, maybe that's why you slipped to the third round because you took the test. No, I, I have other reasons probably why. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. Your answers on the test made you slip to the third round, which were worse than his, and he didn't take the test, and he went in the first round. Well, that's yeah, but joke. he, he was. You know I mean, I, 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 I knew. I knew. The joke and then explain it. That fucks it up. Yeah, but I knew he was. I knew he was going to be in the top ten. After that, Bob Sanders, Sean Jones, Madhu Williams, fucking these yeah. dudes. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Bob bro. Sanders, homie. Yeah, Get I remember that guy. Here, Bob Sanders only played. I mean, he. I love Bob. I do. I mean, he. He's throw his body around like he didn't give a shit. Yeah, he got hurt every season. Yep. 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 So, Stu, moving forward, do you think AP has an underlying goal to beat the shit out of Kansas City? As a lifelong Raider fan, I do. I hate fucking Kansas City, these motherfuckers. Uh, we got to pay back those motherfuckers for the ring around the rosy BS. Yeah. Last year. Oh, that yeah. fucking. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell got, you this, they, too. They it, and we talked about this. That's this whole Kelchy fucking. Uh, um, who's the bitch? Who, uh, who's oh, the. Bro. Yeah, that's Taylor good. Swift. Yeah, that's I'm ridiculous. thinking this motherfucker. They had, they had a, like I told you, they had that stat line of his stats when she's at games and stat. I, dude, I would be so embarrassed. I'd be like, bro, really? Oh, like, you're real? And he and he's just like, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. Like, yeah. See, oh, Kelsey, he ain't no G like me, homie. I tell the man, look, the the the, the camera. In the in the game is on the field. You come to see me. You come to see my girl. If you can't see my girl, I'm man, just doing girl I, turn. Go I, buy a ticket. Support the fam. I'm gonna say he's this. not gonna get at the camera. He's not gonna get at them like that. He's gonna be smiling and looking goofy. And then when she go jumps on somebody else's knob after she dumped him, he's gonna be looking stupid because they're gonna be asking that. him about she, her. Bro, she runs through dude's life. She's a she's yes. a bad, she's a bad bitch, bro. She don't give a fuck. You know, flat booty. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool, man. Hey, look. Did I, that's why I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't but, be. But, the, but here's the deal: there's stories of him that he likes. Black women with big booties. Yeah, they say. Uh, they say that his girl was uh, getting talked about by Mahomes' wife because she unfriended them on Instagram or Facebook or something. And then his girl. I, I, I would. I would. If I, if I was it, I would want nothing to do with Mahomes' wife or brother. I'd be yeah, like, oh. Hey, oh my god. Hey, those two are a case waiting to happen, bro. They are a case waiting to happen. He needs to straighten his brother, go smack him up in the corner one time. He needs to check his wife. Tough, homie. Because it is it's it's really not about him. It's about the money. It's about the money and the exposure. I'm telling you, that, that relationship is gonna go so bad. She probably pegging that dude, man. Anyway. I, I I think I think though, I think he's got so much money. I just don't I don't think he does he's just whatever. What the fuck? I mean, why who cares? Hey, but yeah. shit. How long they've been married? I don't know, homie, but he needs to put the check down. He needs to put it down. Here's oh. the deal. Check this out. If you get divorced, she only has access to what you make after you guys are married. Right. You see what when I'm saying? Signed, yeah, because I wonder when he signed that $500 million contract. God, damn. I mean, I know they reworked it some kind of way, but still. I mean, I can't hate on him. And here's the deal. I remember his sophomore year in a bowl game. I think they were playing – was it Florida? They were playing somebody. I remember watching the game, and I was like, uh-huh. I was like, yo, who the fuck is this dude? Like, he right. looked like Johnny Manziel. And then I heard he was like 6'3", like 200. And I had on my old Instagram or Facebook, I said, everyone watch out for this cat. Right. So, hey, I want to right, right, right. introduce a very close friend of mine, Andrew St. Age. Um he is known for smoking the fastest cigarette Damn. on YouTube. And he's actually known as the real St. Age. So just, just, and everyone welcome, Andy. Andy, what up, brother? What up, brother? All right. So what's going on, Andy? Nothing much. I was just wondering, like, how creepy is Mahoma's little brother? <laughs> because that. Well, he looks like Slender Man, though, right? And he like six six, and he's just he's he's Slender just, Man. It's so, uh-huh. weird. It's so weird to me. 
I mean, I, I mean, I, like he's he's a he's a molester, isn't he? Right? Didn't he get? Yeah, man, he he touched something young, man, that he that he shouldn't have been messing with, and I think they uh, you know, Mahomes threw some money at it, but yeah, he did something he wasn't supposed to do. Up on somebody, right? I th- I I think there was there was some, there yeah there was you know what uh, before we start let's just what's his name? Uh, Gopher. Gopher Mahomes. Yes, Gopher. Gopher. I thought it was Arnold. Uh, Colonel Colonel Mahomes. No, wait, Colonel. Hold on. Mahomes is Mahomes' brother. Jackson Mahomes. You were yeah, very Jackson, you were very, Jackson. Yeah, you were you were Gopher. very close. Scooter, you were very close on that one. Yeah, Decker, Jackson, go for some shit. Yeah, like yeah. Very close. Um let's see Jack Jackson Mahomes legal. Yeah, he did something he wasn't supposed to do forcibly. It's like a statutory rape. Jackson Mahomes was charged in May with three felony counts of aggravated sexual battery and one misdemeanor count of battery. He is accused of forcibly kissing a woman February 25th in the office of an Overland Park, Kansas restaurant that she owned at the time. Yeah. Did you see the video? That seems kind of that seems a little suspect to be well, honest. Well, if you watch the video, you'll agree with that. Oh, there's a video? Yes. How old was the woman? Older than him. Okay, well, okay. That that's okay. At least it's not Yeah, no, I don't think it was juvenile type stuff. Okay, 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 okay. But definitely uh I mean, it doesn't make it right. I'm just saying it at no, least Oh, I get you. It yeah. was a little creepy. A little creepy. He just, he's, he, did I you mean, see the got, celebration? did you see the celebration? Like I saw in the, one of the suites, it was Taylor Swift and Brittany Holmes. And like, there was a touchdown or whatever. And they were doing some, some kind of fucking dance. And then Jackson Mahomes was just waiting in the background to enter in, in this little celebration with them. And when was this? Fucking, when was this? When was this? Uh, I want to say not just this game against Miami, but the previous week. They did a little goddamn finger twitch, and I'm just like, what the fuck is that? Oh, they did like some little fucking this. Like yeah. Little... Yes. Yeah. I, can't, I can't stand that fucking shit, man. Oh, I, my God. I, I, that, that whole fucking, it's like these dudes, like after every play, it's fucking like, dude, just. Just fucking go back to the fucking huddle. Yeah. Just like Barry Sanders used to say, right? Act like you've been there before, dude. Well, these fucking guys, I'm thinking that, I mean, these D linemen and they're fucking twirling and kissing each other and fucking sucking each other's cocks and fucking (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) You know what I mean? Just fucking, you made a play, get back to the huddle and make another one. I agree. I agree. Hey, I want to say thank you for the 94 people in here. Um, this is a good time for the Raiders. I'm glad Andy could come up. You see the Detroit fucking flag, dude. He's from, we went to Heritage High School together. We actually hated each other. He was he was a fucking, I actually hated him because a lot of girls liked him. I'm like, fuck this dude. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Paul, uh, hey, what? Well, no, I know. I no. Here's the deal, dude. These guys, man. I'm just telling you, like nowadays, these guys. I don't. They're. I don't know, dude. They do some weird shit. You know what I mean, Andy? I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust these guys. I wouldn't shower with these dudes. No, I don't. I don't blame you one bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just, um, I, I just, I really wish, uh, there's two people I wish I could really, if, if I could play again, there's two people I wish I could really fucking, like, I'd, I'd, I'd give, like, my hand to, to play a full game against Josh Allen. 
He played like shit tonight. And I would love because you know, I, again, this uh, that that milk check that he makes, right? You know, when white guys are on defense, he makes a milk check and he thinks it's funny and shit. Yep. So I'd, I'd love to tell him to say, make a milk check on me, and um, you know, because he thinks he can run and he's fast. I, I would, I, I would, and then I would love to play against Kelchi. Is it Kelsey or Kelchi? Kelsey. Kelsey. Fuck him. I'll call him Kelchi. Well, it might be. It might be. And he, I will say this: he might fucking be Swift. He, he... <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know, Travis Swift. Why would Why would well, he take her last name? Well, and he he fucking destroys the Raiders the last couple of years too, man. He fucks us up, dude. Well, wow. and I'd love. I I would. I would just. I would just. Just to see if he could do like, just a challenge of it to see if he could fucking take. Not too long ago, Stu, there was a there was a tight end, God, on the Chiefs. Yeah, who that was about as big as Kelsey Scooter. I think. Do you remember there was a tight end for the Chiefs that Tony Gonzalez? Uh huh. Was, was it Tony? Name? Oh, the one that uh that trucked you that oh. time. You talking about Tony Gonzalez from the Chiefs that trucked yeah, you? What, what happened? You know to what? Him? What happened to him the last time uh, the Chiefs played the Raiders? Actually, you know what? I think I, I think I, <laughs> I, think I remember something. I think I have a video. Hold on. You gonna pull see. that up? Let me I mean, see. I, I, I actually, you know what, Stu? I think I saw. Let me see here. Let me go to present. Hold on. Let me. I, let me. Let me I, just go. The fine they sent you, <laughs> but I'm not. And that was just for taunting because it was a legal hit at the time. Oh, yeah, it was totally legal, totally legal hit. Let me, let me just. I think I. I hold on. Uh oh, what happened, Stu? I see you said somebody said you were supposed to pause. What'd you say? Oh no, no, no! I, I just said these guys nowadays, fucking, you know, they are fucking all this celebrating, sucking each other's cocks, and fucking <laughs> doing this shit, man. <laughs> Just give the guy a high five, dude. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's a... Yep. The, here's what I said. Has got no, here, here's what I said. Make the play. Go back in the huddle and make another one. Yeah. It's, it's, all that it's, celebrating, it's, what happens dude, when it, you it's all, this, it's all this shit. Look at me. You know what I mean? And, and like... Hey, what's I mean, even worse here's is... The deal, here's the deal that upsets me is they're taking time in their day or at to practice, practice to practice that shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think that's a good use of your time, really, because you're and on what the clock. happens with all these dances and shit. And then if you lose the game, you did all of this silly shit and you lost. They don't give a fuck. They yeah, do not give not. a fuck. But hold on, let me uh, hold on. Let me just yeah. Let, let's pull that highlight up, dude. Show right. us what happened. Let me just see her. You know what? I know. I'm supposed to put on my reading glasses for this highlight. I'm see. actually supposed to. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to mute it, but I don't think I want to mute it because it's yeah, got mute music. it, mute it. Still, we don't need to hear anything. Just mute it. But I put music to it, though, man. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> the music actually is dope as fuck. All right. So, all right. Let me see here. So let me hear. Let me go to present. And I'm officially going to launch this, but I'm glad I'm pulling it out now because. I know this. Tony Gonzalez never fucking dunked on me. He never had a touchdown on me. But I used to knock that motherfucker out all the... Well, we'll just... I'm the only guy to knock him out. And he will not give me any fucking credit for it. And he's never gonna. <laughs> and this play this play actually used to be up. Oh, oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they, they took it down when he became an announcer, right? No, they took it. Tony Gonzalez's fucking people took it down. Why the fuck? What the fuck here? Why won't it? Because I, I searched it the other day, and you can't find it on YouTube. No, listen. It's not on the Raiders' biggest hits. It's not on the NFL's biggest hits. It's not on the biggest hits of 2006. Like, you can't, like, 2007, actually. It, it's nowhere. That's terrible. Yeah. That's Trust terrible. me, dude. I, I was fucking, I was blackballed, bro. None of my fucking play. I'd watch highlights of games where I had picks and shit, and they they wouldn't show any of it. Damn. 
Yeah, dude. It's just, shit's, hey, man, it's that, it's, I know the struggle, bro. <laughs> hey, I know how I know how it is to be fucking, you know. Yeah, you know how it feels, don't you? Yeah, shit You're discriminated sucks. against. Hell yeah, that shit you know? sucks, man. That's a motherfucker. Oh, uh, there we go. Can you can you all see this? I yeah. can. <clears throat> so, so that's player introduction. That's my boy Randy. And my boy Barry Sims. Let's go. Barry Sims. He out the Big right. Ten too, isn't he? What's that? Isn't Barry Sims out of the Big Ten too? No, nah, he went to Utah. Oh, it must have been Brad Badger I was thinking about. Brad Badger is from Nebraska. Yeah. Here we go. God, this, see, I want the fucking music, though. The music fucking sets it off, man. This shit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm. Whoa, what happened? Watch him. Hey, watch him try to get up. He can't. No. Is he looking at Michael Huff? Look, hey, watch him try to get up. Uh, yeah, Michael Huff is finna call uh, the paramedics. Huh? His ass. Uh, uh. Here we go. Hey, Trent Green, you better look me Ooh, off first. Nice. Yeah. Only concussion he ever had. And he will not, when he talks about safeties, will not talk about me. But no, I have, serious? trust me, no, there's more plays. This is just, a, this is just one of them. Hey, who's the guy that came in and like took the ball trying to run it back for Kirk, a Morrison. Kirk, Mor Kirk Morrison? There, <laughs> yop. So good. And that's a clean yeah. hit. I caught that his ass. Hey, look at yop. That yeah. clean is hit to look this at, day. Bam. You, can, you can hit right there and you can still, still be clean. Uh, yeah, that's clean as shit. Yeah, that's clean. That was nice. There you go. This is Larry Johnson. Fuck him. I have a bunch of plays against his ass. Rock aware, fucking, you know. Not rock aware. Yeah, he remember he was for the rock. Remember he had uh, uh, tried to fuck a priest Holmes' knees. I'm like, bitch, you old ass pussy. Right, here, here you go. Hey, right here. Watch, watch Tony Gonzalez right here. Look at, come here, bitch. Uh, watch his ass. Look at, look at. Eh. Fucking do this guy, man. Tommy there we go. Kelly. Look at, hey. Tommy Kelly. Uh. Come here, bitch. Damn. Yeah, ran him away from the end zone. Uh, I saw a tackle today, homie. He ran. Yeah, look at this, hungry zone. man. Hungry man, hit of the game. This was my set. Look at, yum. Hey, you got the hungry man hit of the game. Look at that shit. Ooh. Hey, you see his ass. He he don't even try to turn around. Look at. Yeah, he didn't even look at you. Yum. Fuck out of here. Damn. Look at his ass. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. This was a was it, Monday night or no Sunday night. Woodson causes a fumble. Your boy, yomp. And then look at Tony. Right here, I'm like, motherfucker, get the fuck off me, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, Tony, what the fuck, bro? Hold on. We'll, we'll see another. We'll, we'll see another fucking. I see Wood. I see you, Chuck. I see Numdi. Was that you and Chuck bumping chess? That was Namdi. No, Chuck caused the fumble and I got it. Oh, gotcha. Um, so here we go. Look at bitch. Damn, that was nice. Look at yum. Then look at look at nice. oh shit. Yeah, see, so you, you don't even get the chance to fuck hear that chop chop chop. Butcher. Wait, hold on. Let's just hold on. Let's just see. Let's just watch this one more time here. <laughs> I just want to hey, I hey, look at his ass go. Oh try to get up. He will not give me credit, man. I I'll tell you this, he's one of the best tight ends ever, but yum. Yeah. Hey, look at Huff. He's like, he out. Hey, 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 get it, get yeah, the medic. Out. Get the medic, homie. Yeah, Trent he look like he's finna call for here. Him. Hey, look, look at it. Medic. Uh, uh. Yeah, he's out. Medic. I, I shit you not. It looks like fucking Huff is going down to check his fucking pulse. Well, no, yeah, dude. I'm telling room. you, I looked over him and his eyes were going two different fucking ways, dude. Wow. I got five. I got fined seventy five hundred dollars for taunting because I stepped over his ass. Oh my Damn. god! Not a penalty. Not a. Not a. Uh, it was all shoulder. But here's the deal. I caught him that chin, bro. He was playing. I was played that chin music on his ass. Yacht. Yeah, you body rocking. <clears throat> Pow! You got hit with that violin right there. And look at John Condo. Oh, uh, you get John Condo's over there in the background. Johnny. Yep. So yeah, but you know, fuck. Yeah. Who the fuck am I? Nobody. I sucked. 
No, I sucked, right? Nobody. Yep. Fucking loser. You could have been a contender. Whatever. Times are tough, man. They are. You said times are tough. They are. Hold on, let me. Huff can't tackle. Glad Stu was a hitter. <laughs> no, hey, Andy. Did you... So I actually like Matt. Matt. The first fucking comment he made was, actually, Stu. I remember against the Giants, you missed a tackle and Tiki Barber scored a ninety-five yard touchdown on you. <laughs> Who said that, Matt? Matt. <laughs> Damn. Where'd you go, Andy? I thought I was there. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry. Uh, Stu, you know what it means to be a Raider in the Raider... Hold on. Stu, you know what it means to be a Raider in the Raider bias? Do you know what he's saying? I don't understand it. How about... Uh, oh, a scooter... What up? Stu, you know what it means to be a Raider in a Raider bias? Raider in the Raider bias? What does that mean, Scoot? I don't. I've heard that before, too. Probably the same person. Oh, hey, I do. Hold up. I do want to play one one thing, okay? And this this will this will give you a perfect fucking um opinion of fucking Tony Gonzalez, okay? So here, wait. And not to make this the Tony Gonzalez fucking No, I get you. But fuck him. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that yeah. motherfucker. You see when he was calling out Antonio Gates when he was an announcer? What would he say? He's like, "Come on, Antonio, you've been playing tight end for an unusually long time, man. It's time to tell the truth about what you're putting in your body." He said, that's not natural out there. Tony said that shit? Yeah, on live TV, bro. Did he really ever heard fuck that? yeah. I was like, wow. Well, Antonio Gates is a Michigan boy, so fuck him again on that shit. Yeah, he said that. Dude, I'm telling you, he and he probably thought it was funny, right? Like, oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fucking, I'm just joking, bro. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Tony, you're a basketball player. You're a fucking. Antonio Gates was a beast. Yeah, that's a big dude, man. Big. Well, dude. He, he was. He was. He was. Um. He was thick. Yeah, he was thick. Yo. What? That's what he people said. Thick, homie. He was. He was. Kind, I mean, what the fuck do you want me to say? I mean, Tony was oh, what? Hey. Tony was what? Six six. Thick, six like Bill. Tony was six six, like two 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 eighty. Yeah, he's he's a big dude, man. You know, oh, he had to put all the rest of the hey, stuff you, with it. You saw what I did with that shit. Uh, oh, you hit Tony. You you hit uh, Gates pretty good too. I never knocked him out, but I I got a hit. I got a hit where I fucked him up. Yeah. I used to fuck up LT, uh, dude. Me, oh man, see now you got me fucking going, dude. I'm about to fucking. <laughs> oh, I mean, they had to take Huff off of LT. He was too small. He hurt himself trying to hit LT. No, LT, LT didn't. LT was a fucking uh, a shifty guy. He wasn't trying to run nobody over. Nah, but uh, Huff met him in the hole. I forgot who that coach was. Cable, Cable switched Huff over and had him covering um, LT. And Huff met LT in the hole, and Huff hurt his leg. I remember that shit, bro. When was that? When uh, Tom Cable was our head coach. When he was choking fucking my boy Randy Hansen. Yeah, when he was choking Hansen out. Tom Cable's a fucking bully. He's a fucking, yeah. he's a piece of shit. Oh, so hold on here. No, I want you to hear this. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Andy and guys for fucking pulling up. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Here, wait, wait. Here we go. Wait, wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can you guys hear that? I can't hear. I can't hear anything. No. Okay, wait, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on.
I'm saying like mm -hmm. there's guys I I can you hear that? It, yes. Yeah. There's there's a difference between personal and then professional, right? There's 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 professional conversations speaking about about somebody professionally, and then speaking about somebody personal. And I felt his attack on him was personal, and I never like it when guys <laughs> give other guys their due respect. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. there's guys I I. I, I, I don't as people I probably don't respect, but as them as players, <laughs> it's a pretty good line, right? Oh shit! Wait. I'll tell you, they're great players all day long. Or there's other guys that maybe didn't get the recognition, but are, are guys where you say, "Hey, listen, no, 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 you better, you better get ready. This dude's, this dude's good." Because you know, some guys like you have to be confident and think you're the best, but you also have to be realistic, right? You know, well, this dude sucks. Well, why are you saying he sucks? Well, he's just he's a he's a he's a you know he's a he's a he's a B or whatever. And it's like I'm just telling you, dude. If that's the way you think, this dude this dude's gonna destroy you. You know what I mean? Like, and that's one thing with me, and I think that's why like my social media and and the fans, I try to be as honest as I can. So if I'm gonna tell you a guy's good, you you, you go okay. If Stu's saying that guy's good, then he thinks he's good. If Stu's saying that guy's an asshole. He's probably an asshole. Right? <laughs> I don't tell me it's, it's like sometimes it's like you can see some people are just saying it just because. Whereas me, for one, I'm giving that opinion because I either played with the guy, played against the guy, or I know the guy. Right? If I if I don't know him, I'm not gonna give you an opinion because that's not right to be able to give that opinion. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's like, man, just give the guy a little props, man. You know, that's one reason I have the whole thing with Tony Gonzalez, only player to ever knock Tony out in 07. Mm. <laughs> player to ever knock him out cold. First of all, you can't find it on the internet. You can't find it on NFL's biggest hits. You, it was on YouTube. You took it off. I have what? it. I'm gonna. I, oh yeah, I have <laughs> relaunched it. But I have multiple plays of me knocking out. Well, maybe not knocking him out, but knocking him good hits. Stopping him never once will you find a play of him dunking on me in the end zone. Never once, <laughs> but he, was, he, will not, he will not give me any respect. He will course, not, yeah. he will not. Every interview, every time I'm even thinking this last week on when, when uh, you know, Tua Tungalova and you know, that whole thing's a mess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, wish, I wish him the best, but when Tony was talking about it, you know, you know, like I was the only one to ever give him a concussion, and I'm thinking. <clears throat> Gonna, you know, when I was knocked out and whatever, but like he just he won't like he talks about every other safety, he talks about other guys, and like I'm just like, you know what, dude? I, I'm so like, can you swear on here? I don't know if you can, you can't swear on here. Can you? Uh, can you swear, <laughs> just I'll add to that. Yeah, don't worry. but just I have, I have a lot, I have, and, and I'll say this Tony Gonzalez is one of the greatest to ever play, yes, well, and I'll still say that, but he is a. He is a he is a uh uh I know what you're gonna say. P U money sign money sign yes, Y, yes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. One game P U money sign money sign Y. <laughs> P -U he comes money up sign money. Oh my god, I now I got it. What? He says, wait, 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 wait. Can, can you stop hitting me in my legs? Can you can you can you hit me up high? And I go, Hold on, wait, wait. Here we go. What? He says, Oh wait, wait. God damn it. Can you stop hitting me in my legs? Hold he on. is a Here we go. he is a he is a uh uh I know what you're gonna say. P U money sign money sign yes, Y, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> One game he comes up and says, Hey Stu. He said, What? Hey, okay, check it, Stu. He says, Hey, can can you stop hitting me in my legs? Can you can you can you hit me up high? And I go, <laughs> I said, What's the did you say to him? Like, what? What'd you <laughs> Stu, you know, can you can you keep it up high? Oh, Oh, sure, sure, Tony. Yeah, whatever you want, buddy. Hey, let me know when you're gonna run a seven round. I'll just fall down. I said, Tony. I said, I don't, I don't. Play, you're not my teammate. Okay, I don't play for the Kansas City Chiefs. I said, now that I know that, every play I'm gonna try to bend your knees in backwards, brother. He's like, well, Jesus, dude. I'm like, you know, we're playing in this game right now. We're not brother law it. That stuff you do in practice on. You know, uh, during the off season and stuff with your own teammates, not against <laughs> a rival game, against a, at home. I'm like, well, that, like that's some type of basketball type talk. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. And first of all, you're probably trying to set me up. 
Like you're gonna take it. E- so you know, if you're wide open, can you just drop the ball, Tony? If I, you know, is, that, is that okay? Can you not block me? You know, on a crackdown block. You know, when they're doing this or whatever. But I'm like, dude, listen, I'm not playing that stuff, Tony. But I knew then I had him. I mean, for someone to tell you to back off, that right away is showing like, oh, I own this guy. But you'll never see it. You'll never hear about it. You never. But again, like I said, I have a nice video that I like to make editing and all this stuff. I'm gonna. I'm going to launch it at the right time. Send it to us. We'll, we'll definitely take it. Yeah. We'll definitely take and post it. We are talking yeah, to so right there. So, 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 so again, like someone said, dude, he, he, he would be like, Hey, 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 Hey man, just, you know, chill out. I'm like, you motherfucker. I'm like, are you, what the fuck? Like even before the game, Stu. So not before the game, but if you watch interviews, he talks about there, there's an interview he does with Tom Segura, the comedian. And he talks about how, uh, you know, there's a certain respect that goes with players. And before games, you'd be like, hey, man, just c- kind of keep it cool or whatever like that. And I'm like, dude, it, it goes along right with the story. I remember him saying, Stu, Stu, Stu. And I'm like, what the fuck do you want? He's like, hey, man, just hey, hey, keep it up high, bro. Keep it up high. I'm like, what the fuck? It- <laughs> and that, yeah, that, that's what you, I mean, you just heard. I don't have to re fucking hash the story, right. but yeah, I, I'm going, wow, dude, really? Like, that's like, you're telling me to back the fuck off, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So, again, so I, I, I just, I know I was able to shut down. I mean, obviously, I mean, he had, he had some catches, right? I mean, but no touchdowns on me, but I'd love, I'd love just to see where I can match up on Kelsey because I, I got to think that Tony Gonzalez is probably better than Kelsey, right? Scooter, what do you think? Uh, I would say he's way more athletic. That's for sure. And I think he's faster too. You're just saying that because Kelsey's white, bro. That's that's some racist ass shit, dog. <laughs> hey, damn, you can see right through me. Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, that's Dude, just that like obvious? Fucking- Hey, I see through your boy Scooter too. Yeah, that's Mo- racist shit. <laughs> Fucking see right through me, man. I thought I was masking it, you know, as long as I've known you. But damn, you just got me with that one question. That motherfucking <laughs> scooter, god damn it. You, I, after all the shit we've been talking and you say, you know, he's definitely not as athletic or fast. Hey. And Tony Gonzalez, he's he's Hispanic, right? I mean. Uh, yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. I, Gonzalez, I, I don't know. Yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Hmm. So, um, so Taylor Swift, huh? Oh my God, Travis Swift. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Uh, changing his last name to hers type thing. Why would you not? You know what I mean, Scoot? Like, fuck, huh? I'd, I'd change my fucking name if I was guaranteed yeah. half a billion fucking dollars. I'm gonna say she she oh was before, before she was even um before she became famous. Her family was very 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 highly wealthy. Really. Why? Kind of like how we grew up, Andy. We were, I mean, we came from very privileged families. Oh, for sure. For sure. Oh, you're sick. No, we, uh, I mean, no, what was the story you were going to tell, Andy? Story about what? You said you had a story. About? Me. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> hey, you read your phone, Stu? What'd you, what'd you, what'd you text me? <laughs> I'm almost out, bro. My pain meds. Oh, okay. Hey, go ahead. Hey, go crash it out, homie. Fuck yeah. Thanks for pulling up, bro. For sure. Oh, nice Scoot. to meet you, Andy. Hey, nice to meet you, dude. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right man. Scoot, love you, bro. No, you don't, Stu. No, you don't. <laughs> Stu, stop teasing me, man. How, how often, dude? I, I told you, me. I told you when hey, when Andy came on, I said I have three hour conversations with Andy, just like three hour conversations. I watched the whole second half with you today, didn't I? I don't recall that, Stu. I don't recall that at all. Mo- <laughs> Mo- I haven't talked to you in about nine months, man. Hey, Scoot, I will say this. When you were talking about uh, the 40-yard dash, yeah, uh, 4-2 and shit like that, I'm just like, damn, who the fuck is this guy? I never heard of this guy, <laughs> but I didn't realize you were talking about 
No, nah, man, I was talking about Bo. Hell, I, I thought the same thing. I'm like, motherfucker. Like, oh shit. No, hey, I, I don't think I could run. I don't think I could run a four six. I don't think I could run a four seven when I was in shape. I was bro, never fast, I bro. I, no, I'm telling you, that, no, I'll be 100 percent honest with you. If you can run a legit four seven, that's fucking fast. I can't run the man. I'd be a five. No, that's serious. Like all these kids, are like oh, oh, four five, four five, four four. No, you don't. No, you, dude. No, they a legit. I mean, look at the NFL Combine, bro. Like dudes that are running four sixes. That's fucking flying. That's yeah, bad. nah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably, five, five. I'd probably be in a <laughs> in a safety's body, but running O lineman or D tackles time. <laughs> They'd be like, "What the fuck is wrong with this dude?" <laughs> My like, man. Is he trying to do this or what? <laughs> yeah, fuck no, bro. I man, I'm slow as hell. <laughs> hey man, hey, thanks for pulling up, bro. Yeah, for sure, brother. All right, Andrew. Nice to meet you, bro. All right, Scoot. Nice to meet you too, brother. All right. <clears throat> then there were two. So let's see. So there's 76 people in here. <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for pulling up. Um if anybody has any questions from and for Andy, oh god, um, <laughs> you ain't got no questions for me. I ain't got the it. NFL <laughs> now allows for celebrations. It's a rule now to humanize the game and let players celebrate. Fuck that shit. And I love you, John, but he that's fucking. What did you think about the game, Stu? It was nice to see. I love the game. Did we love the game? It was awesome. It was. Uh, See a full 60 minutes of swag and energy. So me, right? Fucking 60 minutes of swag. I was like five years too late for the fucking my name, dude. I I, I should I could have been in every fucking rap video, fucking with the last name swag. I mean, dude. You know what I mean? I get you. I will say this, Andy. I always I always I always, I always thought this. If, if one of my goals was if I can get a, a, a rap artist to wear one of my jerseys in a video, that means I made it, dude. Oh man, that would have been huge. That yeah. Been... Yeah. Did you watch any of the game tonight? What game? The Sunday night football game. Who was it? Who? No, who was it? Okay, it was Buffalo and Cincinnati. So the, I, I I like the I like the Bengals. Their defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo. I like them too. Yeah, uh, Marcus Bailey is a linebacker that plays for the number fifty one. He's from Purdue, and Lou Anarumo is the defensive coordinator. He's a Purdue guy. Buffalo's got problems. Fuck Buffalo! You know what, Fuck, motherfucker? Oh, dude. I, I say the same thing, dude. I say the same thing. Fuck them, man. No, my thing is my my question to you is. There was a play, it was, I think, 7-7 seven, seven at the time, and Josh Allen was on, like, maybe the eight-yard line. Like the ball, went out, bootlegged, faked to a receiver, faked to another receiver, then he ran it in himself. But while he ran it in, he pointed at the Cincinnati defender, saying, like, Bro, you fell for that fake, and he ran in for the touchdown. Well, after the touchdown, they threw a flag. I think that's bullshit. I okay, so I I'm taunting, taunting, taunting. Yes, and they said taunting number seven, Josh Allen. That's his first one of the game. He gets another one. He's fucking gone. I no, I I, I like it. I love taunting. Fucking taunt the fuck out of me. I gotta fucking find seventy five hundred dollars for taunting, dude. Oh shit. I don't give a fuck if you taunt. Shit. Yeah. It's illegal. It's fucking illegal, dude. It's fucking bullshit. I don't I don't like it. God. I think it's bullshit. I think it's fucking bullshit. So hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay. Uh great southern trend kill. Stu, you ever played against Jerome Bettis or Mike Allstott? So Mike Allstott is from Purdue and he's actually a very close friend of mine. We had the same agent. Um, I do have a play against Mike Allstott when I was a rookie on Sunday Night Football where I did flip his ass, and he, he would be okay with me showing this. And Andy, have you ever I, seen this that, play? No, I never do that. Yeah, here, check it out, dude. It's pretty fucking sweet. 
So, so okay. I, here, I'll, I'll play the play first. Hold on. Where's my Where's my fucking playlist? Yeah, here we go. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm fucking fuck it. I'm I'm showing all this shit tonight. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Got fucking Tony Gonzalez telling me to fucking ease off. Piece of shit. You ever show the sack in a high gun? <laughs> I did talk to Jeremiah today. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yep. I did. Oh, that's awesome. He, you know, he's in Phoenix, right? And he works. He works. Um, I didn't know where he was at. He, 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 uh, he works for the Phoenix Suns. Like he, he works security at the games. Shit. Awesome. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. He's doing good. He's doing good. 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 I miss him. No, he he always asks about you. I don't ask about him. So, cool. <laughs> I'm just, I, I just, hold on. So, oh, where, where the fuck? Okay, here, let me just look up. Uh, Raider, or, hold on. Raiders Tampa 2004. I know I oh yeah here we go here we go here we go I, oh yeah I have a fucking badass fuck yeah dude hey check this shit out dude what fucking badass Come on. hold on <clears throat> hold on wait 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 this is a fucking this, watch this fucking play dude watch my fucking it's too on foot hell yeah let's go motherfuckers let's see present Share screen. Bing. Hey, Bing. Can you see that? All right, dude, watch this yeah. fucking play. Watch this fucking play. Try and open. Do you have a feeling watching this football game, gentlemen, that the, the one the team that scores a touchdown wins? Yeah, I do, but I also think that Wait, this on. is the kind of game that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers need to play in. They have no explosiveness on offense. The oh, longer yeah. this game stays close, the better the Bucks are going to feel. I got a feeling that's going to be a long time. Nobody's going to break it open. Ah, uh, this is. Oh, oh shit. Nah, I don't like nothing that. To do Charlie Garner was in, then left the, left the field. I think Garner blew his, blew his that... fucking knee out. That was, ugh. I only seen that. Hold on. I, I just saw the fucking. I know Chris Berman always had a fucking field day with fucking. Oh, here we go. Wait. Oh, with, with Allstott? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. You're in good, you're in good hands with Allstott. <laughs> Would he say that? I never heard that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Always said that. I love it, though, dude. That's fucking yeah, dope, man. Pretty, pretty cool. Wait, hold on. Well, fuck here. We'll show the all stop fucking play. So, so we're playing fucking cover two, right? And fucking the corner decides to go deep. Philip Buchanan, who I love, goes deep with the receiver. Oh, Buchanan. Yeah, he's supposed to sit in the flat, right? And then they're running this swing pass with all stop, and they throw it to him, and it's beating him in like twenty yards. And he's running down the sideline. And back in the day, coming down the sideline, dude, like there's nowadays they just brother in law each other right out of bounds, right? right? Like I'm coming at the last minute, I fucking yoot and fucking hit him right in his shins and flip Mike Allstott, right? Oh, and at man. this point, I had never met him. You know, I'm a rookie or whatever, you know, and I knew I knew he went to Purdue and right, no shit. Okay. And we had the same agent and shit, right? So then Two years later, when I think it was 06, when the Super Bowl was in Phoenix, I remember my agent and his partner, it was Ben Dagra and and, and Mark Helligman. They're like, dude, just so you know, Mike Allstott's on his way over here. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, right? <laughs> so Mike, Mike Allstott walks in the fucking bar and he comes to me and he fucking puts his, and he rolls up his shin and there's this, or rolls up his pants and there's this fucking divot in his fucking shin. He's like, you motherfucker. You fucking. <laughs> I'm like, well, what? The? I'm like, dude. Dave he, goes, he goes, I thought you were going to hit me up high. I said, are you fucking kidding me? You f I said, I, I know that. I know who you are, Mike. Like, I'm going to. And here's what, here was my move. Cause I would fucking like, we were looking at each other right in the eye. And at the last minute, fucking doom fucking. And he fucking 
flips over and he's like, you motherfucker. And the whole weekend we hung out, dude. It was fucking awesome. Oh, that's great. We're, we're boys ever since. That's cool. So here, let's see. It's, 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 it's one, it's right in the first fucking. Is, and you're both Purdue alum. So, I mean, that. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, I saw, him, I saw him at the last a couple weeks ago at the Purdue game, dude. He fucking looks awesome now, man. I'm like, what the fuck are you taking? This might be it right here. Hold on. Oh, let's see. It's coming up. Can you guys see this or no? Okay. I can see it. All right. Let's see. Is he Brad Johnson? Oh, I forgot about Brad Johnson. Oh, yeah. And then fucking old Chucky boy. Old JG. Easy. Look at him. It's about me, guys. It's not about you. It's about me. <laughs> fucking... I mean, I, I've, I, I guess I, I don't know him, so I can't, I can't say anything. But let's see here. Oh, this might be it right here. Wait. Bear, uh, is it? No, that's not. He's not. It's coming up, dude. And here, here's the thing: I tackle him, and the announcers don't even say my fucking name. I'm like, you motherfuckers, dude. Because you're not important. Well, no. Why, I, 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 why would I be? <laughs> Never have been. No. Oh. <laughs> and that—that's when fucking—that's when fucking old Richie boy decides to fucking scramble on the one yard line and get smoked by Derek Brooks, and we ha still haven't recovered from this shit. That's when he broke his. This is when he breaks his neck. Gannett. Yeah, we still haven't recovered from it. No shit. Look at right here. Oh my god. Yeah. Broke his neck. Look at Brooks. He's like, dude, uh, yeah, watch this. I'm I'm thinking, Rich, what are you fucking doing? He's like, no, I'm done. No, that was dude, that look at watch this. Pa! Oh I'm like, why god. are you sliding with your head first? No shit. You slide with your head going back. Back, yeah. Every time. We still haven't recovered from that shit, dude. Wow. Yep. Hold that on. Oh, wait. Six, there he is. Six-time Pro Bowl. Watch me flip this motherfucker. Maybe he flipped you. Oh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, you can watch the film. I mean, film the film doesn't lie. Okay, Tony. Look at Al. What the fuck? I see a Jim. <laughs> I see a Jim Otto. Hold on. I know it. I know it's during a time where they like they they don't fucking. <clears throat> they're talking about a whole bunch of other shit. They don't give me any acknowledgement. So I know it's like kind of. In the, this, this, let me see if this is it. That fucking dirt sucked. Oh, it was like. Concrete. I don't like that. I don't like them playing football on a baseball field. Dude, it, it, dude, it was like playing on concrete, dude. Right. Yeah, it's a it's a baseball. Oh. Oh boy. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's because I wasn't in there. Easy Grammatica. Remember Grammatica? He fucking celebrated and blew his knee out, didn't he? Martin. <laughs> fucking Automatica Grammatica, right? Wasn't yeah. that his fucking name? Yeah, I remember. Fucking loser. Here, let's see here. Hold on. So thanks, everybody. Yeah, sorry, guys. We're, we're kind of reminiscing. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, dude, get in here. Who? Fucking Docs. I don't know who Docs is. The guy I usually do the fucking, um, I'm usually on his channel. Oh, gotcha. Let's see here. I see a Norv. What was that Jared Vicious? Joe Jervicious. I forgot about that fucker. He was good, dude. Yeah, he was. He was super good. Didn't he go to the Seahawks? Uh, I think he went to Cleveland Browns. No, he went to Seahawks. He went Seahawks. I think and, the Cleveland and, Browns, dude. And, and not a fucking absolutely phenomenal fucking play. Like, it was a tip drill fucking type thing. And he, he was a receiver, right? Is he Nelly? A fucking tip drill. Yeah, he made a fucking phenomenal fucking reception. 
for the Seahawks. I, I think Jared Vich has played for the Cleveland Browns, dude. Well, I think you're I think he played for Cleveland. Or I mean Yeah. Sorry, awesome. uh, sorry guys. We're we're gonna get to it here. Trust me, I fuck him up. I'll call him right fucking now, dude. Fuck call you right fucking now. Fucking wanna fucking challenge me. Fucker. Beat your ass in fucking high school. Hold on here. Let's see. You see Tim Brown? Fucking Kerry Collins. That fucker could throw that bitch. He was a big son of a bitch, man. He was about 6'7". Kerry Collins was? He was fucking huge. No, he was, I did not he, know that. Dude, he, he used to sit in the training room, and he had these, because he had a ranch. I don't right. know if he had a ranch in Carolina, but... You know how most most guys in the locker room were like looking at this magazine where it was like cars and yachts and fucking houses and shit, right? Right. He's looking at a fucking this magazine where he's buying cattle, like fucking steers and shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you looking at? He's like, I'm about to buy this fucking prime, you know. I'm like, oh, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he's cool. I, no, I like Kerry. Plus, he was he was kind of. Like us, if you know what I'm saying. No, I get you. I get you. Yeah, yeah. Keep it on the. Yeah. All right, hold on here. Easy, Pat Summerall. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna find it. I mean, fucking. I know. I'm so fucking sick of this. They probably fucking deleted it off my fucking off my fucking channel. Probably did. Damn it. Actually, it might be this next play. It might be this next play. Easy fucking. Hey, DeLorence Grant, number 59 from uh, Oregon State, was one of the toughest motherfuckers I ever met in my life, dude. That son of a bitch was like a fucking just a strong as fuck, man. And scary. He was fucking scary. Here we go. Right here. Here it is. Hold on. Oh, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're pissing. What's up, Stu? How you like the Raiders without Josh? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. I love them. Love them. Yo, delete that link. I'm pretty sure everyone can. Uh, no, I don't. It's okay. Hey, Chili Pepper, dude. I don't. Here, what, dude? I don't give a fuck. I'll give my, I'll put my cell phone number here in a second. Here it is, dude. It's right here. Okay. Are you? Uh, is it playing? Um, are you able to watch? I mean, we're on your fucking schedule. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. There's 74 people in here that are waiting for the play, but are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Fucking don't apologize, you fucking pussy. Right here, here we go. Linebackers. Lawrence Grant had a big game last week. He's the biggest linebacker we think in the NFL. 280 pounds. Charles Woodson, the key and anchor in the defensive secondary. It is third down and about five. Here we go, third and five, baby. Watch. The Tampa Bay 29 yard Here we go. Line. See him? Brad Johnson back to throw it. Gets it outside. First down yardage to ah! him. And more. Oh, shit. Yep. Brad Johnson for starting this game today. Yeah, talking about, talking about Brad Johnson. That was a good hit by Woodson, bro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's no, doing. that was good, dude. Well, here, dude, I told you. Lauren Sapp, although Ted Washington. But you had never you had never met him prior to this game? No, I, I tried to say like what's up to him when he ran away. Right, here, it's the next play. Here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it at a at a section where it's it's it was it was nut cutting time where like, all right, what are you gonna do here? No, oh, that was fucking sweet. Here you go, watch this, dude. I see you fucking rave you cannon, my dog. 
I see Philip. I see Charles. I see Marquis Anderson. Marquis Anderson was one of the toughest. Hey, players. who'd Ray Buchanan play before you guys? Well, he was, no, he, he was drafted to the Raiders. Here, here you go. Look at this. Okay, see that? See how much fucking dude? There's a lot, a lot, lot of room there, right? A lot, lot of room. And I'm going, oh fuck. All I'm thinking is Chris Berman going, boom, boom. Uh huh. Right here. Yup. Damn. Okay, hold on a second. I All heard right. you say something. What? Hold on. Did I want I want you to see this play though. This is a good ass. This shows you my dude. Watch this shit. It's a badass dude. I was fucking. I used to be really fast, man. Let's see here. Easy. Hold on. What do you hear me say? What do you what do you what are you gonna say? As far as Buchanan. Buchanan was drafted by the Raiders. Yeah. So from, from that, Miami. From Miami. There's my boy right there, fucking Joe Alvanzano, dude. He looks like Doc from Back to the Future. Watch him. There he is, man. That's my fucking dog. And that's Pat Jones. So we used to say, who? Pat Jones. So Pat Jones, I, I, I thought he was, I thought Pat Jones was just some like one of Rob Ryan's drinking buddies. And then also I'm watching this documentary on Barry Sanders and Pat Jones coached Barry Sanders at Oklahoma State. He was his head coach. Oh, Jesus. Yep. I'm like, what? Look at Joe. He's like, what the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, you're gonna fucking hold on. This might let me see if this is it. Hold on. Can I smoke on the podcast or no? Yeah, you can do fucking heroin on the podcast if you want. Oh, cool. Do a line of fucking. Let's see here. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Fucking Jesus. Nice job, Rich. Jesus. Rick ended up making a name for himself with the Falcons, did he not? Who? Ray Buchanan. Well, no, so Ray Buchanan is from Louisville, or he's from Chicago, played at Louisville, was drafted by the Colts, and then, yeah, here he goes, P-Buck. Philip Buchanan had a fucking pick six. We oh, beat, did we, we beat Buchanan, that's who I'm thinking of, I'm sorry. Dude, we I'm, beat the fuck out of Tampa. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I'm totally thinking of the wrong person. No, no. So yeah, so so Ray Buchanan, he made his career at in Atlanta. Yes. No, that was Philip Buchanan. No, that was Ray Buchanan. Ray Buchanan is from Chicago. Played at Louisville. Drafted by the Indianapolis Colts. Played with the fucking Phil uh, Atlanta Falcons, and then played his last year with us as a safety. Okay. Okay. I know. I know. I, I, dude, it does get confusing. Trust me. Yeah, no, for, for some reason, Philip Buchanan fucking made more sense to me. Philip. Uh, dude, I love Philip because I can call him at any time and he'll answer the phone. Every, like, it, I, it can be like a fucking 3.30 a.m. on a Tuesday and he'd be like, hey, Stu. I'm like what the fuck? I try to test him, like see if you like see if he'll answer, and he does every fucking time. I love it. That's funny. Actually, I haven't called him. I need to call him. Actually, I'm gonna call him tonight. After this play, though, you got to see this fucking play, dude. It's actually a really good fucking. And I actually, I actually get some props from the fucking announcers. Finally, I see a Robo. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh shit. That's Jerry Vicious. Got him. Come on, Ray. He played in Seattle. I there's another guy that played for Cleveland against us, dude. I thought I thought it was him, but could be wrong. I'm gonna ask you right now, Stu, for your fans that are still here. Because you told me before. God damn it. The hardest person you had to tackle. Um, because you told me 
Ruben Drones was one of them. Dude, Ruben Drones, I'm telling you this right now. You better have your fucking, you better have your, your uh, chin strap <laughs> fucking buckled when you're trying to tackle Ruben Drones. He wasn't a small guy. And fucking Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown, I'm Brown, telling you. Yeah, Dolphins, shit. Ronnie yeah. Brown was a fucking motherfucker, dude. Yep. He was fucking tough. Ruben Drones was tough. Obviously, TJ Duckett was tough. Um, Brandon Jacobs was fucking tough. Oh, God. Steven, hey, Steven Jackson was fucking tough. I can't um, even. And Jacobs. That guy was like 240 pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a, I got a couple of nice plays against that motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, who else? I'm trying to think of some. Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward. He was a big guy. I didn't realize how big that he was. Well, he, I, I mean, he was, I, I mean, he wasn't small, but I'm telling you right now, dude, I remember Rob Ryan would say, Hey, listen, this guy fucking blocks like a fucking tackle. So you better know when it's a run play, you better know where the fuck he's at because he's coming to fuck somebody up. Right. Do you remember when he fucked up Ed Reed? Big time. Oh, yep. fuck dude. Yep. That motherfucker fucked Ed Reed up. Yep. So uh, there is a point to this right now, guys. I, I do have a fucking, if anyone's still in here, I do have a nice play that I want to highlight my fucking, my break. <laughs> God damn it, Brad Johnson, you fucking. Since I wasn't fast, right? Because my speed was a fucking always a question mark, which didn't make any sense to me. Well, wow. Well, yeah. I was always the one that got in trouble. Oh. Well, so I think it might be. It, let me see here. Maybe is it in the second quarter? Let's see here. I know it. Yeah, it might be in the second. Let me see. Sea bass. Call that motherfucker. Tyrone Wheatley, he was fucking awesome. I love Tyrone Wheatley, dude. Michigan. Fuck yeah, dude. And he's from Michigan. He's from Michigan. He's from fucking Inkster. I work with a guy from Inkster. That was not the best place to grow up. No, no, not at all. There goes your boy Richie Rich. Okay, hold on. So is this the first quarter? What quarter is this? What's it say up there? Can you see? I. I Thanks everybody for hanging. Oh, look at no, he played in he played in Cleveland and then Seattle. So I we're both right. He did play in Seattle. Jervis. Yep. And he played in Cleveland. Both. Yep. So we're both right. Well, I was only wrong one time. That was when I made thought I made a mistake. <laughs> don't make don't make me fucking mute you. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll fucking mute you right now. One time I thought I was wrong. <laughs> yes. What, what? Hold on. Let me just see. What What the fuck? Why can't I see what the fuck this court? What's the, okay, second quarter. So, not, nah, so, son of a fucking, God, I'm so fucking, I, I had this shit. Don't worry, people. I'm going to, all right, it must be in the. See what I see what I have to do to find any of my fucking plays? I have I have to fucking like do well, a fucking do like a goddamn uh um a, a, a CSI fucking analysis on a fucking crime scene just to fucking see one of my fucking plays, dude. Well, maybe you should have been better. That's true. You're rich. Yeah, you fucked up, Rich. Hey, look who it is though. Um Fucking hold on right here. Our offensive coordinator was fucking um, Sarkeesian. Steve. Yes. Yeah. So let's just say that Steve Sarkeesian would have been a great golf partner during our golfing days. If that. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you're fucking. And 
I know from per, I mean, from, from people who, who he, he who, <laughs> well, remember, remember he was coaching, I think USC, remember he got fired because he was, he was like, fucking, we had good golf outings <laughs> on the sideline. Like fucking, I don't give a, f- like just, yeah. They're like, dude, he'd be like almost passed out. And then all of a sudden he comes back and he's got a whole lot of energy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, old, uh, Randy Watson made a couple fucking appearances on the sideline over there at USC. Yeah. yeah I saw. Him. Fuck. Now he's, I think he's the head coach at Texas, dude. And he fucking beat, uh, Nick Saban. One of only like, I think three assistants to ever beat Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. You don't know shit. Fuck off. Why the, why the fuck are you even in my... Hold on. I'm just I'm just still thinking about the golf outings. Oh, little cart, little cart toppers? Yeah, I can't even... Hold on. I want to... Does anybody know about what cart toppers are? <laughs> I can't see the comments. I don't even know how to see the comments. Oh, you can't see those? No, I I don't see any of them. Like I I click on chat, but it just it's it's blank. Really? Um, yeah. no. Go to. So that that's the chat between me and you. Go to um comments. Go to comments. I. Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Do you see me now or no? Well, you know I can. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You should, you should see the comments right on the side. No, because I, I can't. I can't see you. Right now, you can't on the left. On the left side, like. No. You see John Gruden. Uh, no. Last comment I see is Jumbo beat Saban, but. Unless I exit out of the comments, I can't see our chat. Like I can't see you. Huh. I um I don't know a lot of the fucking technical issues on this yeah, thing. So I don't care. No big deal. Well fucking Pat Summerall, Paul McGuire, and Joe Th- Joe Theisman. When I played for the Redskins, he's a, he's a fucking asshole. Fuck Joe Theismann. I'm glad fucking Lawrence Terror brew his fucking knee out. Really? He's a he's a he he's a, he's a prick. And I'm like I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, dude, you're not impressed. I don't. I I didn't grow up a fucking Redskins fan, so I don't give a fuck who you are. Right. Fucking. God damn it! I, I, I'm getting. I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to take this computer and throw it right through the fucking window here in a second because this is bullshit. I'm pretty sure that Rich Gannon fucking took the playoff of the fucking game, and I'm fucking pissed. This is fucking bullshit. Oh wait, that might have been it. Hold on, might have been it. Let's see. Yeah, DeLorence Grant. That motherfucker was a fucking. Scary motherfucker, boy. Let's see. First down. All right. Yep. I think it's, I think it's. God damn it. I'm so sick of this stupid shit, dude. What? This is it. Yes. No, it's not it. God damn it, you fucking piece of shit. Any, anyways, I had a really good play. I had a pretty good play, but whatever. Yeah, Tyler Brayton. Yep, Tyler. Any um. I actually, I, I do have a Tyler Brayton story. Um, I do want to show this, and then I'm then I'm done, and I'm hanging up on f- the whole fucking this whole thing. You see who that is, Andy? Who? I can't see it, dude. It, it's too far away. 
I got you. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, so. Was it Flutie? Why would. <laughs> Is it Flutie? Doug Flutie? Jersey? Frame? No, it's a fuck. It's a cutout of a person. Why would the fuck would I have a cutout of Doug Flutie? I thought maybe you'd have Flutie jersey framed just for. I have a bowl of flu Flutie flakes. Just for unspecified reasons, but whatever. Should we show the um, post Rose Bowl video? The video me and you watched a couple days ago. Your day. Well, no, here, I want to show you this, dude. This is fucking pretty dope. You've never seen this. So NFL films, if you if you send in like they will send you like plays that they have. Um on film and they're actually these are really good these are really pretty pretty cool so here hey you know what just out of curiosity like <clears throat> while you're doing these podcasts if i'm your fan base i would love to see how you interact with your actual friends. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Like, dude, if I if if I was that guy, I'd be like, "Holy shit, like, yeah." Well, mo mo hey, most of these guys are fucking they act like their shit doesn't stink and they're like fucking You know what I mean? Like they're like above fucking human beings and shit, dude. Right. Oh, I don't I don't like that shit. I would love to see how like Oh shit, my boy Stu, he's talking to his boy. Like, oh, like how, how Josh Allen fuck? talks to his. Here's the thing these guys don't have friends. No one likes them. <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why, you know, a lot of these guys, they, they, they wouldn't have their high school buddies on because they don't even have any high school friends. Right. <laughs> right. Seriously. I got, yeah, no, I totally agree. Like, I always wondered. I'm just like, shit, man. Like, one of my fucking people I want to fucking look out for or like look after. Like, I'd love to see how his friends and shit like oh, no, just just yeah. honestly. No, so I have I have videos of us just eating dinner. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm like walking around like, oh god, I look like shit. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. And I'm going. You better you better sit down there and I'm fucking yelling at the dogs and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I have a oh. video of Thanksgiving dinner and literally 20 minutes of it is just me and my mother-in-law sitting there just eating food and just not just not saying anything. We're just eating food. <laughs> how fucking how fucking uncomfortable is that? No, no. We weren't uncomfortable at all, dude. Me and my mother-in-law, dude, like, she's cool as shit, dude. Dude, I'm such an asshole because I forgot her name. Lourdes. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's right. No, dude, literally, we're just... <laughs> for like 20 they still, minutes. Are they still in Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, so they live in... Um, so they moved as close as they could. They live in Sarnia. Oh, that's close enough, though. Yeah, right there by, you know, right there on the border of Port Huron. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. No, dude, no, like, I... that, that, no, seriously, that's what I find funny. Like, like just normal, everyday, like, I, I, I would, honestly, I think it'd be funny if I just put, like, a camera up and just watched me cleaning the house. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure dude <laughs> i always thought the same thing when i would go to work i think people would love to see what the just normal everyday yep because yep. i remember i remember um big brother yeah 
So I, I, I don't know how I found this channel, but it was called Big Brother After Dark. And all it was was literally like, there was, I, I remember for an hour and a half, I, I watched this girl just read a book. <laughs> and it was the most entertaining thing I've ever seen. I'm, I'm going, what is she going to get up? And like, <laughs> seriously, I mean, yeah, just I some it. girl I don't know. And like a guy would walk in and like go, hey. And I'm like, oh, shit, who's that guy? What's he What's he doing now? And then he'd leave and then she'd just go back to reading again. I'm like, what? I wonder well, what. Like, and truthfully, Stu, there may be an audience on that for you. Just saying that there's a lot of fans, you know, and I would, I, 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 I seriously think if, if, if I did a, and here's the thing though, like a reality TV show is not reality. What I, what I would like to do is put up cameras throughout the house and just film, you know, me yelling at the dogs or like me and Chrissy fighting or, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, like. <laughs> I love to do that. I, 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 me, no, literally, <laughs> no. Me, me folding clothes and listening to Dane Cook. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Like I would find, I would find that funny, I, or like this right here. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. So wait, so hold, hold that thought here. Hold on, I do want to. So All this. Right. This is this is kind of this is this is pretty this is kind of cool. I saw a comment when I when I joined the comments because I can't see them as they're coming in, but somebody said, uh, "Oh, here's Stu again, just showing highlights." Oh, really? So hold on, we'll find them. Fuck that, we'll find. <laughs> I, I go through the comments, so a lot of people don't. I do. So let's see. Stu is legendary. Thank you. Fuck yeah, dude. Thanks. Uh, the Gafla, the Gafla. Okay. Hey, Andy beats Stu in rock, paper, scissors game. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, here, here's actually, here, here actually is a good friend of mine. We haven't talked in a long time here. Uh, a guy named Raider Kojo. How you doing, Stu? Salute. Raider, uh, hey Kojo, meet my buddy Andy. Andy, how you doing, buddy? I'm hey, uh, Raider Kojo brother. from Sacramento, California, buddy. Oh, good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you too. So, how long ago was that that you saw that comment, Andy? Oh shit. Well, like I said, I I couldn't see the comments coming through, so I clicked on the more uh, tab and then selected comments and then. First one I saw was saying, "Oh, here goes Stu again, just showing highlights." And I'm just like, "What?" I'm actually. I mean, I, I've really never even done that though. Hey, I don't care. I don't care. It's your fucking podcast, and if you want to show fucking highlights, then you fucking show highlights. <laughs> you know well, what I mean? Know, sometimes I have to fucking, you know, I have to let motherfuckers know that <laughs> that you were that bad. Since you can't, yeah, exactly. Yep. Since you, since you can't find it anywhere on any fucking NFL fucking highlights or any fucking whatever, because I was blackballed because I told L. Davis to take my contract and shove it up his ass. So, hey, actually, I may have been with you. Said that. I think you were. Were actually. we not at fucking KB's apartment in Grand Rapids? Oh, yeah. Because you told me, yes, TJ, yep. you were saying. Oh, no, here it is, right here. Here it is. It's released. Y-N-K. Oh, it, oh, no, okay. So that's, that's Moni. That, no, she's, she's a friend of mine. She's, she's just fucking around. <laughs> is this Stu reruns again? Was it that? Oh, wow. Well. No, I, it, no, somebody <laughs> said, oh, Stu's just going to play fucking highlight. Oh, maybe it was Moni. I don't know. Moni's cool as shit, though. She's just fucking around. Okay. So, Kojo, bro, what's been going on? Oh, not much, man. You know, just working, uh, dealing with family life and stuff. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, just this week has been crazy. I was I was really depressed until Tuesday night until we fired, uh, you know, Josh McDaniels. 
because it was just depressing watching Raider football. I was like, I can't believe we're this inept on offense. So it's just yeah, been I, I, I dealing with say, that. Andy, dude, this was the first fucking game we scored over 20 points. On offense, yes. On offense. <laughs> and, and we have the highest paid offense in the NFL, $105 million, I think, $105 million. Uh, yeah, it was a, yeah, hundred and some. Yeah. Well, coming from a coming from a lion fan, don't care. Hey, and <laughs> but, but here's the deal. And guess who fucking got us over fucking twenty one points? A fucking Purdue quarterback, baby. No, That's I Purdue quarterback. Yep. I get you. I get you. you no, know, you know what, Andy? Fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, actually, no. I I did say this though. I I said um. Like I didn't go to that Raiders Lions game because I would be split. You know what I mean? Because no, I, do, I, I do I, have lo- I, I do have it. I do but, have loyalty to both teams, dude. I really do. Yeah. I mean, obviously more to the Raiders, but I grew up a Lions no. fan. What? I in my in my defense, Stewart for sure can back up everything that I say. As a Lions fan, we have been down in the dirt for 70 years. Yes. Yeah. So this year is just like. It's because you know why? And I think Kojo can agree with me because we have a fucking former player as the head fucking coach. Exactly. I totally fucking agree with you, Stu. Totally agree with you. Like and I love it. I fucking love it. Oh, dude. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. This motherfucker came in and holy Dan shit. Campbell. Dan Campbell. The way I'm, he- I'm glad that the ownership of the Lions gave Dan Campbell the time to to get it right. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Because he he was not doing good. <laughs> and they did. They they granted him the time. And now is this, is, is this his third or second year? Third. I think third. it's his third. Yeah. Third year. Third. And here's the thing, I and, and this is kind of crazy because I had the chance to play with Dan Campbell when I was with the Lions. He was a fucking tight end. Wow. Yep. And then yep. I had a chance to play with um, um, Antonio Pierce when I was with the Giants. And I knew both these guys would be good fucking coaches, dude. There need there needs to be more former players involved yeah. in coaching in dude, upper totally- management. In fucking Holy. personnel and scouting, like, yep. Why wouldn't you? Totally agree. I I don't feel like there should be a goddamn fucking head coach in this fucking NFL that hasn't played in the fucking league. <sighs> I mean, I I don't. I don't. I mean, I agree with you, Andy, but man, it. it that's not the reality, though. You know, I wish it was. Hey, hey, Andy, Andy, <laughs> Andy, Mark, Mark Davis is in here, and he says the Lions suck. Who? Mark Davis, the owner of the fucking Raiders, is in yeah, here. Yeah, I don't think that's Mark Davis, but it's somebody pretending to be Mark Davis. <laughs> oh, yo, shut the fuck up. He doesn't know that. <laughs> Christ. I mean, if Andy falls for that, like, come on, man. <laughs> he would have, motherfucker. I would have felt for that shit. There ain't yeah. no- <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, but Kojo, he might be the real fucking Mark Davis. You don't know that. Wow. Like, Mark Davis is. Well, if he is, hey, that's the smartest thing you've done, Mark Davis, since you won the Raiders, dude. Look, that is the smartest that. fucking thing you've done. It's me, guys. Come on. <laughs> No, 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 no. So, um, the Lions actually don't suck, though. They're pretty. I mean, they beat the fuck out of us. So, but that was that was pre fuck face. But it took us getting our asses beat by the Lions to get his ass fired to get fucking Antonio Pierce as the head coach. So I'll take that loss all day, dude. My thing too is that why the fuck. Are you guys hiring me in the fucking first place when he already had a stint with fucking Denver and obviously he fucking sucked? He he drafted fucking Tebow number one overall. Granted, they got him to the fucking playoffs, but he was playing fucking backyard football with that shit. Here, so 
he, here's what I say is we, we don't know. Here, here's the deal. We don't know what coaches were available during that fucking time. He might have just been the fucking the best coach available. I'm saying though, no, what was fucking New England a goddamn fucking offensive fucking juggernaut? No, what the fuck? Uh, they won six Super Bowls. You fucking well when they had Tom Brady, they were an offensive juggernaut. <laughs> what the fuck, Mac Jones? What the fuck? Yeah, but you would think at least something would rub off on this piece of shit, you know? I mean, fuck. <laughs> no. I'm thinking, th- and then and then we have Tom Brady as a fucking partial fucking silent owner and shit. So I'm like, dude, that's a resource for us. Like this dude can at least. I'm thinking as a coach, at least this guy can call Belichick, call Brady for fucking some advice. Wow. All right, Anna, welcome. Oh, fucking Raphael. <laughs> Fuck. It's a little rougher. Who I have not seen in a long time. What up, Raph? Oh, hey, what are you Stu. still doing awake, Rafa? <laughs> long time to see, but uh, well, yes, I was I was going to a live stream right now, and I was, I was about to go to sleep right now because I was doing like a post-game reaction. But uh, your post-game reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just posted a lot of the videos about uh, the Raiders and everything. But I mean, uh, the coach mentality, it's its giving me like a great vibe, a great energy, because it's not about the tanking scenes. And it's not about judgment. And it's not about Dave Ziegler. It's no, all about right. the mentality. No, you're absolutely right. You know, these coaches think it is about them, though. That's the problem. Because right now it is the opportunity to see it up Antonio Pierce, but because after the season, I will hope that Antonio Pierce will have another one more season because we need something like bring us a great mentality. And he's a literary man because he he knows that about the football between blood, sweat, and tears. And right now we just beat against the New York Giants. So right now that with the interception of and Mick Robertson and Josh Jacobs prove each other that he's a past rushing leader. And everybody thought that Christian McGaffrey and Saquon Barkley are better. But no, Josh Jacobs proved their best because it's all about the production. Well, yeah, I mean, fuck, he, he, he led the NFL in rushing yards last year. And then, and then we don't fucking use the fucking guy. Oh, Raphael. What, what, Raphael. what happened, Raphael? Oh, shit. Oh. No, it's just a connection. It's just a connection. <laughs> um, no, so I, initially, and Andy, <laughs> here, here's who I wanted. I wanted fucking, I wanted Jim Harbaugh as our head coach before, during the time before fucking knuckle fucking nip nuts fucking came in. And then I wanted Ed Dobbs as our fucking GM. Ed Dobbs was a scout when I was with the Raiders and he's now the GM of the fucking Colts dude, a bad motherfucker, man. And I wanted, I wanted Dobbs as the GM and I wanted fucking Harbaugh as the head coach. Mm. But see, Stu, yeah. now we know why he hired uh, Josh McDaniels and, and Dave Ziggler because his advisors that he fired. Yeah. Advise him. Hey, this is the best candidate, you know, for you to, to bring in, as the head coach, and I'm like, well, what the fuck were you guys looking at that, you know, we didn't see? None of us saw, like, okay, in Denver, you failed. In New England, you're awesome because you have the greatest quarterback of all time. Like, yeah. is it really you calling plays, or is it Tom Brady, like, hey, bro, just send me whatever plays, and then I'll decide what I want to run. I'm like, come on. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I guarantee you this. <laughs> There were times during the Patriots games where fucking McDaniels was on the mic and Tom Brady's going, who the, who the fuck is this? Hey, clear the mic. Clear the fucking mic. Get off the fucking mic, dude. I guarantee oh, you. Man. I fucking guarantee you. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. And he fucking clicks it off. I guarantee fucking to you, man. That dude's job was to sit there and hold fucking Tom Brady's fucking Gatorade and fucking towel. Trust me. Oh my god. Clear the fuck. Who the fuck is this? Clear the mic. <laughs> I guarantee it. But you would th- I I just thought this. At least during those runs, you would pick up something. Right? I mean, how fucking 
how could you not – how can something just, like, rub off on you a little bit, right, Andy? I mean, fuck. I mean, you got a lot of pussy just hanging out around me, right? Like, it rubbed off, man, you know? So <laughs> I, would, I would think that at least a couple wings would rub off on fucking McDaniels. <laughs> <laughs> hey Stu, but let me ask you this because I just heard this the other day from uh, uh what's his name uh, Ray Lewis. He says, you know, I watch a lot of game film now and I see defenses just like line up and nobody's communicating. So when you guys got a play call in, right? When you were playing and and the defensive coordinator called the play to the to the green dot. Okay, how did the green dot get the information to the rest of the players on the field? How did you guys communicate a play? Well, we would, I mean, most time we would fucking huddle up and Kirk Morrison would call the fucking play. And we oh, so you got, oh, you would huddle up and then, and then the fucking defensive yeah, coordinator would call the play. And then, you, then you see the DBs fucking communicating with each other. You see the linebackers coming back and talking to the defensive ends. And I'm talking with Kirk and fucking Namdi's talking with fucking Derek Burgess at the end and fucking everyone. But I, I always that always bothered me because I'd see these guys just line up and they're just fucking like this. I'm like, where the fuck is the communication at, guys? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like you gotta fucking and that that's fun when you're out there and you're you're talking and you're calling out shit. Like I, I, I say this all the time. I hey tight end left, tight end left. Hey, watch the draw, watch the screen, hey, watch the slant, and you you're just calling out bullshit. And that quarterback might go, oh shit. Time out, time out. Right? You burn timeouts, dude. That those timeouts are fucking crucial. Or maybe, Very crucial in the maybe, second half. Maybe he checks out of a play because we're just out there talking. But if you just line up and you're just sitting there, just fucking, you know, like a fuck. Like, like I say, I you can put a fucking you can put a pumpkin back there and do that. Fuck, man. I was just wondering about that because I never thought about that before. Like, how the fuck does the defense get the call and how does it communicate with everybody else? Like, hey, what's the fucking play? Well, well there's a lot of times, though, like, um, for instance, the, the, like when you get the personnel groupings, there's a coach that I look at and he might. So the D line gets a call from a coach, the linebackers get the call from a coach, and the DBs get a call from a coach. Okay, so, so we have certain yeah. signals. That mean a certain coverage. So, like, the first call, the play is for the D-line. The middle is for the linebackers. And the last part's for the DBs. So, we might just look at the at the, at the the DB coach, and he gives us a signal for, you know, cover two or, you know, thirds or, you know, you know fucking whatever, fucking quarters or whatever. So, whatever the – there's different games going on between the game, Right. As long as the back end is communicating and we know that, hey, this is cover four, then we have a pretty good idea of what the fucking linebackers are doing and the front four are doing. Or we have colors. It might just be blue, 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 and that signifies for everybody uh, a call, you know. And that, that's what it, offensively, you know, where if you're trying to call every position's route and shit, you have route concepts. So, like, let's say a, a, a dice route, which would be a combination for you know the receivers to come out, and it looks like a dice. So you have a you have receivers that come up at maybe at fifteen yards. They're up here, and then the other receivers are at five yards, and then someone comes across the middle. So it looks like a dice, like a a, a dice, and you just say, "Hey, dice, dice, dice," instead of trying to call. Curl flat, come in, you know, all that bullshit. You just say dice and everyone knows what the fuck they're doing. Um, you make it simple, but these coaches want to fucking prove that they have fucking big dicks and, you know, <laughs> that they fucking know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just making it simple. I mean, look at fucking John Gruden when he fucking has that quarterback camp. And his whole thing is to sit there and talk to these. John Gruden was a, div and nothing against division three people. He was a division three quarterback at fucking, I think, what uh, the fuck was it? Um, uh, Dayton, I think. I think he was a quarterback. Yeah, I think Dayton is where he went. And he's, yeah, sitting here, he's sitting here making fucking Heisman Trophy fucking winners <laughs> feel stupid to fucking get off on it. You know, it's like going, that's, that's so fucking stupid. 
Why why do you want to confuse your own team? The, the point of being a coach is to confuse the other team. Or not even that, not even confuse the other team. Fucking score points and run against the other team. So why do you want to make it hard for your own players? Is that does that make any sense, Andy, at all? It makes sense. My question is that the quarterback has a mic in his fucking helmet, does he not? It, it cuts off at I think fifteen. Okay, that's fine. It cuts off, but just like a middle, just like a middle linebacker, right, or whoever. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Does the captain of the defense have the the same mic in his helmet where the coach calls the play? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I was wondering about that. I wasn't sure. They used to, anyways. Do they? I don't know. Do they still have that? As far as I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got the defensive, the green dot with the mic, and then the the quarterback with the mic. The communication cuts off, I think, with 15 seconds to go. So, and like, it should. You, but you can't I, have you can't have the coach, you know, as the play is going on, going throw it to fucking Andy, throw it to Andy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Shit. shit. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I just wasn't sure if the defense still had that. Yeah, no, no. I I think that got introduced. I think around 2005. I think was when okay. was when the defense got a guy with the fucking mic. Okay. Yeah. Right. But that shit always fucked up, and it was a fucking oh, mess. I, like it, I it didn't it didn't work. Now the helmets nowadays they have fucking air conditioning in it, and they fucking shave your face and fucking <laughs> shove a cock in your fucking mouth while you're fucking trying to play. You know, these fucking guys nowadays, dude, it's fucking disgusting. I, I remember going to the Raiders last year, and me and me and one of my buddies were walking through the parking lot, and every fucking car was like a fucking Back to the Future fucking thing. I'm going, every every single player has a fucking $500,000 car? Who the fuck do these guys think they are? I remember when we were in Alameda at 1220 Harbor Bay Parkway, half the guys just fucking drove rental cars. Rental car, yes. damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I know you always have a, a yearly thing where you're welcome back to the Raiders facility. Once a Raider, always a Raider. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is Marcus Russell part of that crowd? So I I I have been talking to Jamarcus for the last two years. Um because I was worried about him. You know, uh, when when Charles Rogers passed away four years ago now, um, I still mourn him very much. And I told myself, I'm not going to wait. Right. I'm not going to wait around um, for someone to contact me. I'm going to reach out and see how these guys are doing. And I'm asking, hey, how's your Marcus? How's your Marcus? And no one's saying anything. So who, did I, who the hell did I fucking get a hold of? Oh, my limo driver, a guy named uh, a guy limo. His name's Limo J, and uh, I said, "You, you ever talked to Jamarcus?" He said, "I have Jamarcus's number," so he gave it to me about, like I said, about a year and a half ago to two years, and I called Jamarcus and we talked for, I think, three hours the first time. And oh shit, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And the story he told me, um. He didn't get a he didn't he didn't get a fucking opportunity. He didn't fucking Al Al that was Al pick and when Al died, and so here's the deal. So Lane Kiffin was a fucking spiteful fucking cunt. Okay, gotcha. Lane Kiffin came in, shouldn't have had the job, and in 04 when he came or sorry in 07 when he came in, he wanted to draft. Um, Calvin Johnson and Al Davis wanted Jamarcus Russell. And Al Davis said, I don't give a fuck who you want. We're taking Jamarcus Russell. So to spite wow. Al Davis, Lane Kiffin made sure that Jamarcus Russell would never be successful. So he didn't, he, he, he didn't, he, he didn't help him with fucking um, developing him as a quarterback you know, as you come in from college, you're not a fucking ready-made NFL player. You need fucking people helping you. And in the same sense, man, you're a kid. You're a kid. He was 20, he died. 22 years old, maybe 21 years old. Yeah, you need right? 
And he comes in and, you know, our team wasn't very good offensively. And then you throw him in there. Um, and then that off season, right. I want to say that's when Lane Kiffin uh, halfway through the year was fired and, and Tom Cable came aboard and Tom Cable wanted nothing to do with him. And Al Davis passed away. So then you're going, well, what, what the fuck? They're not bringing in any receivers. Fucking, they're not teaching him anything. So what the fuck do you expect from a guy, you know? Yeah. And should he have been drafted number one? Probably not. And I'm not saying that he wasn't talented, but you got to remember what everyone's everyone's falling down on him. And I'm going, so what do what, you want him to do? Go, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be here. Take take the number one draft pick back. I mean, what the right. fuck is he gonna say? He's gonna fucking accept it, expecting that he has a team that's gonna develop him. Yeah, I get Shit. it. There's a lot of there's a lot of quarterbacks. You got to remember. Think about how many quarterbacks get drafted number one and are successful. Peyton Manning held the record for most interceptions. Twenty eight interceptions in one year. They went twenty eight. One year. Fuck. They went. They went, they went, they went three and th- uh, thirteen. Yep. In That's today's perfect. game, he may not have made it to fucking year two. Yep. I mean, look at the, look at the kid for Carolina Panthers right now. He has no chance. He has no shot. No, he's got no weapons. That guy's got nothing no. on his team. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. But Stu, who was the assistant head coach that you had on on the show a while back that talked about Randy Hanson? When, when, yeah, Hanson. He said this, and he, he said when when uh, 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 Jamarcus Russell started finally picking up the offense, and he started looking good. The very next uh-huh. off season, all those guys that helped him were were freaking fired. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's terrible. So ever everyone wants to fucking you know Jamarcus was and I'm going guys you know I ain't pointing the finger I'm not pointing the finger no 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 I, I know you're not no, no 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 I do well dude I I mean I have a video of my son driving his fucking Mercedes in a Jamarcus Russell jersey with fucking um <laughs> fucking uh with um uh, Ghost Ride the Whip playing dude like oh. <laughs> and, and here's the thing like. I lost four former teammates last year alone that died. And some of them died because no one reached out to them. No one talked to them. And as a football player, sometimes you don't, you, 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 you feel like, um, you know, all of a sudden, you know, the money, not, not saying Jamarcus is, but other, other, like, like, um, Shit, the running back from Dallas that played at Minnesota who died. Um, oh, uh, Marion Barber. Yeah. 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 You yeah. know? Died? Died alone in his fucking apartment. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah. that's, that uh, sucks. And then fucking the receiver uh, from from uh, uh, the San Diego Chargers that played for Taylor. Oh, uh, uh, Vincent Jackson. Vincent Jackson. Yeah. Vincent Jackson. Sat in a hotel room, on a couch, dead, and the and the maid came in and thought he was alive, and, and it took him three days to figure out that he was fucking dead, dude. Wow. And they say he died of natural causes. Uh, I don't know about no natural causes. No, I don't believe that shit for a second. No, no, and, and, and you know what? All it takes sometimes is someone to call a guy and just say, "Hey, man, how you doing? Everything all right? You know, I'm going through the same shit, brother." I'm going through the same shit, man. You know? So I reached out. Dude, I I talked to Jamarcus. You know, I check in with him probably once or twice a month. Just He's coaching at his high school team down there in Mobile, Alabama. And, um, you know, when he went on that fucking um, – what's his name? Yeah, the show that he did an yeah, interview man. with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ryan, is it Ryan Clark? Give it podcast. There you go. Is it Ryan Clark or what's his name? Fuck it. Yeah, it's Ryan. It's Ryan Clark and somebody else. I forgot the other guy, but yeah, the Pivot Podcast. I believe Ryan Clark is the biggest piece of fucking. Oh, that dude is a pos. And here's the deal. Times over. He went to LSU, and he he's sitting there going, "Hey, hey, big homie, you know, I'm looking up." And I called Jim Marcus. Have you ever talked to fucking Ryan Clark before? He says, no, Stu, that motherfucker's never talked to me. <laughs> Ever. 
But he goes, I wanted to go on there because he has a big, a, a big um, okay. platform, right? And the other guy, the guy that played uh, linebacker for the Dolphins, who's the other fuck? Zach Thomas? No, 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 no. It's a black dude. Uh, he was drafted. Oh, uh, you talking about Brian Cox? No, 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 no. no on, on the him. Pivot Show. On the Pivot Show. He's got dread. On the Pivot Show. He's a fucking alcoholic. I, I know the, the name is slipping my fuck, but I know who it is though. And, he, and, he's, uh-huh. sitting there, and he's sitting there fucking um uh going, Hey bro, um you still got your money? And I'm going, Yeah, that's a fucking pretty fuck? personal fucking question. You know what I mean? He's like and then your business, motherfucker. Because bro, if if you lost that much money, bro, we, we would have hands because I still have seven million dollars. I'm like, this fucking guy, like, what the fuck? Crowder, yeah, Crowder. Yeah, Crowder. Uh, yeah. Jameson Crowder. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah. that name was just slipping my tongue. Yeah. And then, and then I'm thinking that fucking uh, Ryan Clark's up here going, oh yeah, you know, and he, he acts so serious. He's such a. All he wants to do is prove oh. that I was a free agent, right? When I was oh, drafted. Fucking commentator on ESPN. <laughs> oh no, I was a free agent, and you were a first round pick, and I made it ten years, and you didn't make it three, so I'm better than you. That's what he wants to prove. Well, listen, Ryan Clark, you had a badass fucking motherfuckers in front of you, dude. Lamar Woodley, uh, James Harrison, fucking um, uh, 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 is it Gary Porter, the linebacker, fifty-five? Yeah, Gary Porter. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Foot. Fucking foot. Larry Foot. Larry Foot. Yeah, you were just a fucking bystander. Like, dude, uh, yeah. And and he acts like he's so. Fu- I, I can't stand that motherfucker. And I, I, Andy, you know this. I tell him right to his fucking face. You know that. I'd like to meet that motherfucker. And I remember talking to him. I'm going, I'm sitting here thinking, this is alumni? He's fucking LSU alumni. And he's fucking treating Jamarcus Russell like fucking just, he, he's just up there fucking belittling him. You, you shouldn't be doing that to your, your, your former teammates. You shouldn't be doing that. No, sure. no. And again, I asked Marcus, "Have you ever talked?" He's, "I've never, I've never spoken to him before in my life." That's bullshit. I'm like, wow. It'd be like me talking about AOC. Oh, dude. Hey, man. Yo, like talking shit or whatever. Like, dude. You know how I am with my alumni, bro. Like, fucking. I, dude. We, Purdue, Purdue is like a family, man. And like, yep. and so are the Raiders. And I'm, I, I've been trying to get you, Marcus. Like. Come back, man. Come back. I know, but people want to fucking oh the you know he's like the fucking they they want to fucking talk. The question. That's why I asked the question because I wasn't sure after what you had told me as far as you going. Well, on. and then people don't realize his uncle, who was his mentor while he was fucking in the NFL, died. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like died and. He had he had no he had no leadership. He's looking for someone to fucking mentor. mentor. Yeah. Yeah. No, I guess. Yeah. Hey, bro. Yeah, he kind of weird. That's too Raphael, bad. I don't like how you're in the fucking dark, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Is it your internet, Rafa, that's causing you to be in the dark? Yes, yeah, sometimes. So hold on a minute. You're not naked, are Wait. you? Are you having fucking? I know there'll be some storms out in the east. Oh, hey, thanks, Martin Morales. I appreciate that. Smash the like button. I appreciate that. Hey, but Andy, uh, I don't know. Uh, have you ever played professional football? No, no. Okay. So, no, so me, got- me, me and Andy have been friends since tenth grade. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I mean, but do do you do you know how hard it is to make it into the pro football? Oh shit! I can't even imagine. I okay, can't. well, well, the reason I asked this is because uh, a while back, one of our somebody in the chat when uh, Stu used to come on certain shows, this dude actually had the 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 audacity to say, and he put this in the chat. He said, "Well, Stu only played six years." And we're, everybody in the panel was like, "What the fuck did this fucker say? He only played six years? Like, do you have any idea how hard it is to make a roster?" Bro, but one one game, 
The average fucking person in the NFL. It used to be, used to be two point three years was the average. Yeah, it's like two point three, 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 three whatever, three point no, two years. I guarantee you that wasn't me that said that. I'm just like I was like I didn't know what the fuck to say. I'm like, wait a yeah. minute, this dude oh, has bro, never dude, played if sports. I say that, I'd be like, are you? And you're gonna tell a professional football player while well, you only play six years? Like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Yeah, you know how hard it is to make a fifty-three man roster just for one game. One game. Yeah. I'm not talking. Yeah, but fuck. Some of these guys, I I swear to God, it's like, man, you guys well, need to I, fucking like look in the mirror and like, what are you asking? Hold on, hold on, cool. Wait, hold on, <clears throat> cool, Kev. What what do you? Want? I, I see the comments. What do you want me to read here? Because you're asking me to read something. What is what is it that you want me to read? Do uh yeah, hold on. Cool Kev. Get your fucking ugly ass in the fucking chat, motherfucker. Cool Kev doesn't really I'm, like to be on panels. <laughs> cool Kev Cool Kev hasn't showed his fucking face in about fucking two years. Yeah, it's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute. <laughs> see, cool Kev. See, th there's no such thing as a bust. There isn't no such that, that that word that that, that the guy was a number one fucking draft pick. How the fuck can you call the guy a bust? You know what I'm saying? Like, talking about who? It, it, it's not like it's not like you're talking about Jamarcus Russell. It's not like oh. Jamarcus Russell. It's not like Jamarcus Russell made the Raiders draft him and say, "Hey guys, draft me number one," and I promise this. No, the Raiders picked him. So if shit doesn't work out, that's on the fucking Raiders. It's not on Jamarcus Russell. I agree. I agree. I agree on that. Right? Yeah. Now, if you become and you make it to your second contract and you're a free agent and you go to a team and sell them that you're going to be the fucking guy and they give you that fucking next big contract and you go there and you fucking lay a fucking turd, yeah, you're a piece you're you're a bust. But as a rookie coming out, there's no such thing as a fucking bust as a rookie. No. I hate that word, dude. That that word literally killed Charles Rogers. That word alone killed Charles Rogers, who was a a very fucking good friend of mine. But so you I, know what? I, I take that word very fucking seriously, dude, because as an athlete, to have someone say that to you, there, there's no other, there, there's nothing worse. Well, it's mentally there's, fucking mentally fucking. Uh, degrading. How many? Let me ask you this: How many number one picks has there ever been in the history of the NFL? That so you go back, I guess, in the sixty 19, or whenever the fuck 19, they have. Oh, the draft started in thirty six, so however many years that is. Yeah, but that that wasn't the NFL. Let's say nineteen sixty, right? Okay, so, so sixty. Now that's sixty three years. Sixty three number ones. Yeah. S there's only been one. in the history of the NFL, there's only been 63 people to be drafted number one. And you're gonna say that dude's a bust. Are you fucking kidding? 63 people in the entire fucking world. 63. I get it. like no, dude. No, like when I was with the Lions and Julian Peterson fucking came from the Seattle Seahawks as a pro bowler and came to the lions and was the biggest pussy I've ever seen in my fucking life. Wow. Cause I used, I used to like Julian Peterson when he played for the Michigan state. I'm like, Oh, this dude was a beat. He came. I'm going, that's a fucking thief. That is a fucking thief right there. That's a bust to fucking say, Oh no, I'm going to come in. You're going to pay me this much money. And I'm going to do this and, and know right away that you're not going to do that. That's a bust to be, he had, Jamarcus Russell had no fucking choice of who picked him. And then and then to get no resources and to have coaches purposely fucking sabotage you to prove to the owner that it was a bad pick. Like, dude, like. Yeah, sorry about that because that was the internet connection, so I just had to change it off for the laptop. Now, bro, I see you now, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. I see you with the slip not fucking shirt. <laughs> hey, because I gotta tell you something. The Raiders' favorite music is between rap, metal, and of course, I'm some 
Mexican music because they have Metallica, they have Slayer. So you gotta had... like Rage Against the Machine, then, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I mean, that, that fits all that together. Fuck you! I won't do what you tell me. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah, man. Because the the main singer he he was Hispanic, wasn't he, or was he Latin, or what was his nationality? Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. that was Hispanic. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. He kind of rap, rock, and Hispanic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sac de la Rocha was Mexican, but yes. <laughs> what was his name? Sac de la Rocha. Sac de la Rocha was the Sac de la Rocha. Oh, you're fucking. You're lying now. <laughs> no, I'm not lying because the lead singer of the Race Against the Machine was Sack. <laughs> but, right, uh, hey, Stuart, will you fucking stop already? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What you, okay, I'm going to stop the... Uh. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, hey, Raphael. Yeah, tell me. What have you been up to, man? <laughs> Uh, not much because I was creating so much content and I was bringing back the uh, the civil and black experience podcast on my YouTube channel. And I just hit 800 subscribers and then I had some special guests. You guys remember our uh, West Coast Pirate? He was on my show twice talking about for the Raiders versus Giants. Well, I want to know this how come I've not been invited on your fucking show? Because I was I was trying to contact you on the telephone. I was trying to contact you. I mean, I, I was trying to. I was trying to because I was very busy because I was in between the battles of working because I was uh, between painting apartments. Yeah, that was painting apartments that I was doing at the morning. So I had to go for it. So don't feel bad. It's a little hard to get a hold of Stu. I mean, I'm going to fucking attest to this. Like, I've tried calling Stu a few times, and I'm like, okay, this motherfucker never answers the phone. Yeah, right. But one time, yeah. me and Stu, we chopped it up. It was like 2 o'clock. I mean, he did like a fucking seven-hour show. I mean, this guy got go. some hey, energy there, that hey, I don't have. Hey, there, hey, for anybody that wants to get a hold of me, there's my fucking cell phone number. And I guarantee no I one. Mean, I already got it, but it's all good. But I'm no saying, Andy, Stu can do shows like when he does a show. Bro, we were on for seven fucking hours. I mean, it was like fucking three or four well, o'clock in fucking Indianapolis. I'm like, what the fuck? I believe it. <laughs> I that motherfucker. Oh, man. So, hey, so, hey, hey, Rocha, I will say he was good for the 49ers. And then he went to Seattle. And then that's came- it. He was good for the 49ers. That's it. After that, he was good. And then he came to Detroit, dude. And he was because I, I always respected because I love everyone from the Big Ten, especially Michigan State and Michigan, right? I remember watching him when I was in high school. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna be cool to <laughs> I've never 49ers. What's that? Who was good for the 49ers? Julian Peterson. Oh shit. I remember that big son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, he was fucking he was good. A, dude, oh, I'm telling you, he came to Detroit, and I've never seen a a softer line. Here's the deal. He came to Detroit knowing that he was just – he was at the end of his career, and he just – for me, if I knew that I couldn't compete at my best, I'm done. I'm not doing it. But he said, you know what? I'm going to squeeze out another fucking co- – he came to I've never seen a linebacker dodge fucking like I'm like this guy's the biggest pussy I've ever seen in my life. That ain't gonna be- biggest pussy I've ever seen in my fucking life. I was like, wow. I'm like, this is a and he just came off a Pro Bowl season. It came to Detroit, and I'm going, that's the problem with Detroit. They don't know how to fucking pick free agents. Right. Back yeah. then. Back then. Back then, dude, Julian Peterson was a beast at, at one point, but he fucking right. and, and here's here, here's what I say: he's a fucking thief. He's a fucking thief. He came to Detroit knowing he was done, but he said, "You know what? I'm gonna collect a paycheck." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, <laughs> Shit. I mean, like, I, I, I just, Andy, I, I know you say that. I know you say that, Andy, but listen, I played football. You know, Stu, obviously, Stu played at the highest level, but I played football. If I'm playing along somebody that doesn't really give a fuck, 
it's gonna fucking make me feel cheated. Like, why am I playing with this piece of shit? And he's not even fucking giving a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I'm I'm on the fucking chopping block, Holy making league God. minimum, and this dude's making millions, and he's just fucking not even. I'm like, I, I want to go. I I I, I want to punch you right in your stupid fucking face. <laughs> and he was a weird looking motherfucker. He was stupid, like. You, if you saw him, you, it would bother you because he had, he just, he, uh, he was a piece of shit. He's a p. he is a, again, I saw him literally. Oh, no, I didn't know. You know, I mean, that up. is crazy. That's a defensive player and he's avoiding whatever he's supposed to do. <laughs> what the fuck? While, while Gunther Cunningham's piece of shit ass is like, I had to sit there and take on fucking full, like, Bow, bow, and I'm like this, and this dude's just oh, uh, when it, when it came to tackling drills, he'd go to the back of the line and shit. I'm going this motherfucker, dude, dude, he and this wow, bunch of shit. I Gunther was... Cunningham, I'm glad he's fucking dead. He's a piece of shit. He is a fucking piece of shit, dude. Gunther Cunningham was a fucking defensive coordinator for the for the Chiefs when I had great years playing against him. A German immigrant. Defensive coordinator for the Lions when I went there. I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Hey, oh, no. who was that? Who was that white guy that had an unbelievable season for the Lions? Defensively? Who? who? Defensively? No, offensively. He had like over a hundred receptions. Oh, like, you're, not, you're not talking about fucking um uh uh from Grand Valley State. Yep. Fuck it. That's my boy, dude. Um, uh, he played for the Denver Broncos. Right here, actually. There, here's a program that fucking he's. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. What's that? I know exactly, dude. I'm, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm telling you right now. You played with him. Right here. Um. David Kirkus. No. Oh, David Kirkus. Oh. Dude, I had a fucking two page spread in the fucking Denver Broncos game day fucking program when we played them. Don't. It's not David Kirkus. Yes, it is. It's David Kirkus. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Are you talking about number 87? Don't know his fucking number. He's a piece of shit. Hold on. Don't know his number. I know that he had a shit ton of fucking receptions. And you told me specifically, dude, we were at practice. And he said, one of the coaches said, hey, why don't you go out wide for something, some type of fucking reception. And he's just like, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's, um, mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you right now. I'll I, I tell you right now. It's um, Mike Fury. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's a <laughs> wow. Yes. You remember he, Mike Fury? Everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, I'm, I'm sure remember they don't, Mike. dude. Because he was a he, he was a fucking. He, he said, "No, I'm good. Fuck that. I ain't going out for a reception. I can." <laughs> no, you're right. No, no, no. Mike, Mike, he was number eighty-seven, dude. Trust me, he was number eighty-seven. He was a piece Mike. of shit. Yes. A fucking piece of shit. He wow. just straight up told the coaches, nah, I ain't going out for a pass. David Kirkus was a fucking badass motherfucker. So, and that's the thing, dude. I'll, I'll let you know if it, I'll tell you guys are bad motherfuckers, and I'll tell you guys are fucking assholes. I'll tell you right now who was fucking assholes. And majority of the guys were pretty fucking good, but there are some fucking dickheads. There are some fucking there are some fucking assholes, man. Ziegler drafted quality guys that McDaniels kept on the yeah. Absolutely. Um, the fucking Ziegler's the fucking bust. Absolutely. There you go. That's a great fucking point. Just because you, you draft the wrong guy and he doesn't fucking, he doesn't meet up and, and, and he's not the I, best player you think I, it is. That's the fucking GM's the fucking bust, dude. Yeah. That don't mean the fucking player is a bust. Yes, I was. Uh, I, I I was on the 0 16 Lions. Yes, I was. 
I'm in the Hall of Fame for that. Wow. Now I'm happy though because we we have 17 a 17 game regular season, so there's going to be an 0 and 17 team somewhere down there. But here's the deal: I got to let team late, and Marinelli was our head coach, and I fucking love that dude, man. Marinelli was a fucking badass I would coach. Rod, we trust. <laughs> he was oh, it, it, when you talk about a blue cop, he just had a shitty he had a shitty front office. Rod Marinelli was one of the best down to earth fucking if you if you if you busted your ass, he would fucking he'd give you respect for it. Like he appreciated that shit. No, I get you. I get you. And fucking the, the, the DB coach when we went 0 and 16 was um Jimmy Lake. Who, who who I think was the head coach of uh, the Washington Huskies, if I'm not mistaken. But Jimmy Lake was a badass fucking coach too, dude. There were some good coaches on there, but we just had shit. We, here's the deal. The 0-16 team, what, we had the guys that you expected to be the leaders and the guys making the most money were fucking pieces of, like Corey Redding. Remember Corey Redding? Yes. Trash. They should get them. Piece of shit. He played at Texas, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And then and the other guy from USC, the big defensive end. Remember they drafted in the first round, the big white dude. What was his name? I just know names. I know Corey Redding. I remember Corey Redding. Um, let's see, 2000, 2000. Yeah, that's a long eight. time ago, bro. 2008. Five Lion. Long whatever. time ago. 2000, let me see, 2000, that was 2008, yeah, 2008 Lions roster. Well, fuck, the head coach of the Lions was on this roster. Oh. Oh, oh Campbell? Yeah. <laughs> Dan, Dan Campbell. <laughs> piece of shit, Dan Orlowski. Dan Orlowski is the biggest piece of shit you could ever meet in your fucking life. Well, he's, he's, a, a, he's a hell of a fucking commentator. You think so? No, he's all right, Andy. He's all right. I don't know about hell of a commentator. He works for ESPN. I don't, I don't really like. You know, when it comes to ESPN employees, I'm like, I look at them like, yeah, whatever. Okay, you played. Okay, no, Andy. No, Andy, no, Andy knows. I don't. Andy's just he's. No, he knows I'm, I'm being totally sarcastic. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck I remember, right remember, right. remember. Hey, remember that running back, Andy Kevin Smith. Yeah, fuck yeah, Virginia Tech, wasn't it? No, no that was that, no, that was that was uh Jones. That was Kevin Jones. Kevin Smith Kevin was Jones. from uh, UCF, and I remember he was a rookie that year. And I, I remember, uh, uh, and here's the deal: like when I when I used to go to games, they would have like these interns from like colleges, right? So they'd be like these like freshmen, like, like 19, 20 years old, and all, their whole job was just to kind of give us water and towels and. You know, so I'd always grab them and go, hey, because I love those little fucking snappers, those fucking ammonia fucking things. Because mm -hmm. I needed about a hundred of those when I ran down on kickoff, dude. If I could chush, you know. So I, I'd always grab one of them and say, hey, listen, buddy, come here. I said, you're my fucking guy right now, all right? These are, you take these ammonia tabs, and when I get off the fucking, when I need, when it's kickoff time, buddy, I need, so oh, fucking, he, they'd, Stu, and they throw them to me and shit. And I'm like, yeah, thank you, man. You know, so these guys, they're just, they're just there fucking, you know, like they're not really doing much, you know. And I remember Kevin, is it, what did I say? Kevin Smith, is it Kevin Smith? Yeah, Kevin yeah, Smith. I remember he just, you motherfucker, I asked you for fucking water. He's fucking throwing shit at him, man. And the kid was fucking in tears on the sideline. Oh, and I grabbed him. I said, come here, man. I said, you don't need to be treated that way, buddy. And he's like, man, he's like, I, I just, I don't know why he was so mad at me. And I'm like, dude, the guy's a fucking piece of shit asshole, man. He's a piece of shit, dude. You know? And, and, and that type of shit that always, always fucking bothered me, man. When guys act like fucking, they're too good for, I, I will tell you this though. Calvin Johnson, one of the best pros I've ever played with ever. Calvin Johnson was not only one of the greatest athletes ever played with, but mm. as, a, as a superstar during the offseason, he came to every fucking workout. And not only did he come to every workout, he won like every fucking drill. Damn. 
Yeah, he was a fucking he was a fucking pro, dude. I mean, that fucking dude was six five, and his vertical was like forty four inches, and and he could bench two twenty five like thirty times, man. And he was just one of the most intellectual fucking guys I ever met. Great fucking guy, great yeah. fucking guy. But who was the guy I was looking for now? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, the defensive end. Um, well, we know Jared DeVries, right? That's our boy, dude. JD, I remember meeting oh, yeah, that. Yeah, dude, from Iowa. Uh, Corey Redding. Uh, what's Ernie Sims was a fucking. <laughs> oh, Ernie Sims. What about Boss Bailey? Boss Bailey was good. Oh, shit. I forgot he was on the team in 2018. I, I, I will say this. Daniel Bullock's. Four five, didn't he? Dan, 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 Daniel Bullock's. Was a safety from uh, he was a twin. His brother, his twin brother, played for the Bears. They both played it in Nebraska. He was a bad motherfucker, but he blew his knee out and he could never come back from it. Um, Cliff Averill, Purdue guy, played at Seattle. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fucking put him, they traded him to Seattle, didn't they? Not. Yep. 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 Jeff Backus. He was a big. He was a big motherfucker from Michigan, offensive lineman. Let me see here. Damn. Dan, look at Dan Campbell, tight end, Texas A&M. Who's the head coach now? Sean Cody. Remember that fucker? Sean Cody. He was a good dude, Sean but he just. Cody. I don't remember him. Sean from Cody. U from USC. He was on the Lions, though. Yeah, dude. He dude. He was a he was a fucking number one draft pick for the Lions. Cody. I don't but, no, forgive me. I'm I'm wrong. He was a second round pick in 2005. Yes. Kerry go. Colbert, receiver from USC. Fucking, he actually coaches. I think at no, he coaches for USC now. Let's see. Sean Cody. Sean Cody. Was it was it like a a nose tackle? A, was it a position with a nose tackle in '95? And he was drafted by the UCE before he was drafted by. The Toronto Lions, and then he was changing up for Houston Texans. Who? Who is it? What? What year? Okay, so he was playing with the Detroit Lions from 2005 to 2008, and from Houston Texans from 2009 to 2012, and he was at the college UCC between 2001 to 2004, and he was picking up the round number two, pick number 37 of the draft 2005. Yeah, that no, that that that's that's uh, Cody. That's him. That's the guy I was talking about. Yep. Hey, Sean Rogers was a fucking beast. That was a big ass motherfucker, dude. He's a big son oh, bitch. Sean He's an all pro, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I tell you, I tell you <laughs> what, another another bad motherfucker for the Lions was fucking um, um, Dominic Rayola, the center. That son of a bitch. I remember when we played the Lions. They said, do not stand by any piles because he will come up and fucking clean you up. He retired, did he not? I think he only played for the Lions. He only played for the Lions. That yeah, was the I, he ever played for. I sure. played, so he played at Nebraska, and, and, and his little brother, Donovan Rayola, played at Wisconsin, who I played with in Omaha for the Nighthawks, dude. Fucking, he was a bad motherfucker, too. They they would they'd hang out... Those guys used to fucking fuck with Owen Crutes. Remember Owen Crutes for the fucking Bears? Yep. All, and those guys would get together and just fight. They would just get together and just fucking fight, dude. They were fucking crazy as shit. <laughs> crazy as fuck. <laughs> yeah. But, Stu, when you were on the OA Lions, you guys had to have been in games where you lost by a fucking field goal or some bullshit fluke-ass last play, right? Because you had to have a chance to win a game. You you would think the ball would just fucking bounce our way one fucking time, man. Like, fuck, dude. Yeah, no, but we we yeah we, we no we I we we had close games. I mean that year we were we, we were in every game. We just couldn't finish at the end. Wow. Because I mean since nineteen whatever, I don't know how, when they fucking how far they go back, but there's yeah, only been me, three teams me, ever. Yeah. Let me see. Three teams ever to go over for the season, which was the 76 Bucks, the Detroit Lions, 08 Lions, and then uh, I believe the 17 uh, Browns. That's it. A schedule. Well, let's no. let's just see what the scores were. Let's see. This is like, bro, I know it's sickening to lose every fucking game. You're busting your so here, ass. So here, so here we go. Fucking um, three days a week. 
So they, okay, so 34-21 Atlanta, 48-25 Green Bay, 31-13 San Francisco. So I wasn't on the team at this point. 34-7 uh, Bears, they lost to Minnesota 12 to 10. They lost Look at that. That was a close one. They lost to Houston 28-21. Uh, they lost to Washington 25 17. They lost to the Bears 27 23. Wow. Jacksonville beat the fuck out of them 38 14. Uh, Carolina 30. Okay, so now here's when I started playing for them when they played Tampa 38 20. They lost Tennessee on home or on Thanksgiving. They got the, we got our asses kicked 47 10. Minnesota 2016. Uh, we lost to the Colts down there in Indy. I should have picked off fucking Peyton Manning's fucking ass. That we lost 31 21. The Saints beat the shit out of us 42 7. And then uh, Green Bay at Green Bay, the last game we lost 31 21. And so, I heard, oh, uh, so far, I heard three games that you guys yeah, could have won. Oh, yeah. And, and, and get this I heard three oh, games. Orlovsky was pretty much the fucking quarterback for most of those games. <laughs> Shit. And get this. Preseason, they went 4-0. Hey, hey, who was the starting quarterback for you guys? For, for when? For who? For the Lions that year. It, it was Kitna. Oh, Johnny. Johnny and Kitna. Then he got and then he got hurt. Then it was Dan Orlowski. Then it was Orlowski. Oh. And then, no. And then my boy, Dante Culpepper. Oh, I forgot he was oh, on the squad. Up, didn't they? <laughs> Yeah, oh, that was my dog. That was my boy. Yeah. That was my boy when I was in Oakland, man. Dante Culpepper's my dog, bro. Damn. Yep. Yep. Damn. So yeah, man. So. Well, it's, I uh, is uh, that game that I came to? It was a New Orleans game. It was the uh, well last game of the home season. Yeah, that, that was right before – Um, that was before – that was during uh, – before we went to fucking Green Bay. That was right before uh, Christmas, wasn't it, or New Year's? Yeah, no, it was <laughs> – it was definitely cold. That, that No, that's when – so he came up and uh, we went to fucking uh, Chris Chelios, who played for the um, Red Wings for many years. There's Chelly's Chili's. Yeah. And we went, we went there afterwards and Kid Rock came in and um, he had a – didn't Kid Rock come in there, right? Or was no. that a different? No, he no. didn't. Chelios fucking came in there. Well, Chelios was in there. It was, and it was. Oh yeah, that's right. It was. It was just the. Um, it was the. It was the employee Christmas party. Yeah. Must yeah. Have been something. Yeah. Yeah. And then we woke up the next morning and went to the casino. Yeah. And uh, we lost. What we put a thousand on fucking black and it hit fucking Lamont Jordan. 34 oh, 34 black bro god damn it yeah i'm like god damn it so i hit 34 black and i look at Andy. i go fucking lamont jordan god, damn, damn. got us dude motherfucker got us <laughs> Son of a bitch yeah no that was a good time that was that was a <clears throat> super good time yeah that was a good that was a good weekend that was a good weekend i and then no so then that next off season, that's when they hired Jim Schwartz, who's the biggest fucking dork. Fucking the fucking guy walks on his fucking tippy toes. Like well, this. they hired the fucker, but <laughs> the fucking guy, the fucking guy has a fucking uh, uh, um, a barbed wire, like turquoise barbed wire ankle tattoo. What the fuck? Yep, and he'd be he'd be at, he'd be at the fucking downtown like cause so in Detroit, Detroit the there's hell? there's a uh, there's a college called Wayne State, and he'd be on like Wayne State's campus like trying to pick up like college chicks. He's a fucking piece of shit. He's a fucking oh, old ass motherfucker. He's the defensive <laughs> court. He's the defensive coordinator oh right God. now. <laughs> he he's the defensive coordinator for uh, who right now? Um, I think they have the number one defense though. It was pisses me I off. I can't remember the fucking team, but I see. Yeah. Well, it's got. If it's the number one defense, it's got to be Cleveland. That's what it is. Yep. He's a oh, defensive yeah, coordinator. Cleveland Browns. Yep. yep. He's a defensive <laughs> coordinator for fucking Cleveland. I'm like you, motherfucker, dude. Yep. <laughs> I had my best, and I was I was going to be the starter, and I was the starter of the first 
um, OTA practice. And the very first drill, I blew my fucking calf out. And I was out for like three fucking months. And during that time, they drafted Louis Delmas and brought in a whole bunch of other motherfuckers. Holy and- shit. I forgot about Louis Delmas. Wow. From- Yep, Western Michigan guy. That fucking fucker. What? Western, Western Michigan guy. And then I, th- and then that, 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 and then, and then my fucking DB coach came in, and it was who was his fucking name? He was a defensive coordinator for Miami, and it was his first time being an NFL coach. And um, not saying this had anything to do with it, but I was the only white guy in the room, and um. He wanted nothing to fucking do with me. Here we he go. He wanted he wanted nothing to fucking do with me, dude. Nothing. Oh I, had, I know who you're talking about, dude, but I forgot his fucking name. But I know you no. talked about him before. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna no here 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 we go. Hold on, we're gonna find this fucker. Um, Lions coaches 2009. I had my dude. The very first game we played the fucking Atlanta Falcons. I was the player of the game. And then the last game of the fucking preseason, I, I I was player of the game against Buffalo, and then they still cut me. And then I remember I remember driving down to Detroit, and as I'm going through doing the fucking shit where they, and the guys, great game, great game, Stu, and I'm going, fuck you, don't fucking tell me great fucking game. <laughs> and then I sit down with Jim Schwartz, right, and we sit down, and he goes, he goes, well, Stu, he goes, you know. When, when, when they made the decision to, because they made a trade for a safety from Buffalo, who we just played a guy named Co Simpson. He goes, when they, when they traded it for Co Simpson, it kind of, it kind of sealed your fate. And I said, they, I said, I said, coach, who the fuck is they? Aren't you, aren't, aren't you the head coach? Uh, oh, wow. Here's what he said. Hey, 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 Stu, let's not go there. I said, well, what the fuck? I mean, you said, <laughs> Hey, let's just Stu, it's probably time for you to I said, I'm just asking you a question, you fucking like what the fuck? Who's they? He didn't know Stu, you know what, Stu? Let's just let's just end it now. Just I said, you know like, like, what the fuck, you pussy. What? <laughs> That's how these coaches are, man. They're a bunch of fucking pussy. <laughs> I guarantee you, fucking uh AP wouldn't fucking cut a guy like that. I guarantee you he wouldn't. I guarantee you, if he, if he had a reason to cut somebody, he'd tell him, "Hey, listen, man, you know what? You just you don't know the defense, or you know what? You just you're, you're too slow, or or whatever." Instead of, yeah, when they when they made the decision, I'm like going, "Like what? Who? Who? I'm going, what the <laughs> fuck? You know?" And I'm like, oh, hey, sh- hey, 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 hey. I'm like, you, you know what? I said it, it, it it's fine. He goes, "Dude, don't make me call security." I'm like. Oh. I said, don't oh fucking God. really. I said, don't fucking go there, Jim. <laughs> you oh fucking God. prick. No, I, no, I, I want to find that fucker. And here's the deal: there's there's three coaches that I'm gonna find. Um, and I'm gonna meet them in public and say, hey, listen, huh? Now that now that you're not behind your fucking desk and with all the GMs and shit, what? We'll, we'll, let's just have a conversation, motherfucker. Oh, Stewart, I got bosses. My fucking workplace. Trust me. If I see them out in fucking public, oh baby, I. Oh, and I'm sure. I'm sure we all like, like, dude, like. All of us got that shit. <laughs> yeah, these, yeah. these fucking assholes, man. And when I, when I, when I tried to get in the regular workforce, dude, I had bosses. I'm going. What the fuck did you just say to me, motherfucker? <laughs> Are they. You can't just don't don't be disrespectful for no fucking reason, dude. And, and listen, I don't give a fuck what I don't I don't care where your parking spot is or what car you drive or what your fucking the plaque on your fucking door says. You don't treat people like shit, dude. You don't. That's just fucking no, rude. We're all human. We're human fucking beings. Don't be a fucking asshole. <laughs> I promise you, I'll get the last laugh. Oh no, 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 no. and dude, I. I want to be there when you find those guys, and I want you to be there when I find those guys because I, mean, I guarantee you this: it's going to be. Ooh, I, I just they're such puss. They're such fucking pussies. God damn it! Damn. No, I no, I want to find this motherfucker. Um, 
And here's the deal. And he, oh God, he's such a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I know he is. I told you about the motherfucker, dude. Yeah, you did. Hold on here. Let's see here. Lions coaches. It's Walton. I want to say his last name was Walton. Tim Walton. Piece of fucking. <laughs> oh, get this. He's the second. He's the secondary and cornerback coach at Ohio State right now. Wow. It's mother. Damn. Oh, my goodness. That, a, that figure is just a drill your shit more. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, so forgive me. So he, he was the Miami. Uh, Miami University defensive court, no defensive backs coach, and then defensive coordinator. And then before he came to the Lions, he was the Memphis's Memphis University of Memphis defensive coordinator. And I remember, oh, I remember he told you, hey, 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 listen, guys, hey, I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it real. And we're like, okay, he goes, you see the GM out, you, you see the GM out there, right? Yeah, you see the owner out there at practice, we're like. Yeah, that's that's what they fuck. Yeah, they're they're out at every <laughs> practice. Like, what, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? And I remember this. I knew I was fucked. I knew I was fucked. It was in the spring, and he's like, "We got some fucking dogs in here. We got some motherfuckers in here, dude. You guys, I'm gonna show you who we got in here." And he he starts putting up like like these uh, like a slideshow of like the the players and their stats, and I'm like, "Oh shit, okay." I'm about to get my props, right? And I'm, I'm seeing like the stats, and I'm looking at tackles, and inter- I'm like, "Oh shit, I'm better than these motherfuckers." And then he goes through it and clicks the light on. And I'm like, "Oh shit, he didn't show me at all." I'm like, "I'm fucked." Hey, uh, hey, sorry about to interrupt you, but right now I had to go to sleep right now because I'm I had to eat up because it's one o'clock in the morning, Rafa. <laughs> yeah, 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 but. Uh, but thanks for having me on your show, Stu. It's been a long, a long time, but I'll try to contact you because I want you on my podcast. All right. Yeah. So I'll try to Just shoot me. I, I do a lot better with texting than phone calls. Yeah. All texting. right. That's good to know. I right, do a lot better with texting than phone calls. Right. And of course, a much love respect for everybody. Uh, salute you to you, Stu, Rita Kojo, and Andrew. Salute Rafa. To you. Thank you, Rap. Good night, night, buddy. Hey, Good night. I had some shit to deal with. No, Raphael said bye. He just said bye to you. No, he oh. uh, Rafa just saying bye because oh. he's going to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One o'clock in the morning in in South Carolina. Raph, 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 needs it, Raph needs his beauty sleep, guys. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Paul. See you, Rafa. Love you, buddy. See you, buddy. Yeah, no, Andy. Hey, but- no, you, hold on, I, Raider. I want you in here when I say this. I told you when I remember when that fucking coach pulled up. He's like, "We got some fucking dogs in here," and he pulled up like he he's showing like um because actually Philip Buchanan was with me with with the Lions, right? And they're showing their stats, and I'm like, "Oh shit, okay." He's about to put my fucking stats up there, and he went through like six players and then turned it off and turned the lights on, and I'm going, "He didn't show me." I'm like, "I'm fucked. I am fucked." He did not even show one like like I'm fucking some some fucking bum, right? I'm like, oh, this isn't good. This is not fucking good. But fucking Walton. I'm gonna fu- I'm gonna I'm gonna I'd like to go up to Ohio State and fucking I'm gonna find that fucker. And have a conversation with me. <laughs> I said just say, hey, 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 hey. Hey, I got a question, Stu. What? Were you ever uh, trying to go to Ohio State? Did anybody come from Ohio State to try? <laughs> <laughs> like that, bro? <laughs> it was just- I, I don't know if that's a good question because he. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. But, Andy, check this out, bro. What's One up, of man? the greatest Raiders. Ever one of the greater Raider players ever that became a head coach went off on Stu over fucking curfew. You believe that shit? He wasn't like hella late. He was only late like fucking what five ten minutes, but yeah. because some pussy ass security guard decided he wanted to tattletale. It was a security guard at a hotel. He wanted to tattletale. But anyway, uh, Art Shell, 
art fucking show yeah. went off on stoop over per over curfew. I'm like, bro, we're owing whatever right now. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what the fuck? The right. Raiders have scored like I don't even remember how many touchdowns we scored at that time, but we were owing whatever, or maybe might have been because I know we won two games in 2006. That's it, two, two games. But I don't remember when we played in Kansas City, but he going off on on Stu and, and Gerard Cooper over fucking curfew. I'm like, is that what you care about right now? Like, we are owing or 2 and whatever, and you're fucking worried about curfew. <laughs> like, I don't understand it, bro. I don't get it either. You're one of the greatest Raiders ever, and you fucking going to mm. – Yeah, uh, Archell 2.0 was one of the biggest – disappointing hires ever in our franchise history because we had 12 offensive touchdowns the entire season. That's uh, 16 games, oh, 12 offensive terrible. touchdowns. That's fucking terrible. Yeah, like I think I, I went back and looked at the season. I think we scored zero points three times, so three times zero points, and I think we scored three points or less like two or three times. So six times out of 16, we scored three points or less. <laughs> hey, Stu, I was telling uh, Andy about what when uh, fuck is, Archell. Hold on. What is Kojo rambling about? Um, I'm telling Andy about when Archell oh. went off on you over fucking curfew while we're fucking suffering through the 2006 season. Go to bed. Thought you were going to bed. No, dude. No, he just went to grab some. <laughs> oh, here, no, here. So you, you asked about Ohio State? Yeah. Don't forget kind of letters from Ohio State. Hey, Steve. Steve. <laughs> Will you read it to me? I can't read no, it. No, no, uh, no. Yeah, it's too small. They, they said Steve Schweiger. Steve. Steve. <laughs> well, look. <laughs> It's basically a thing saying, hey, come to our college so you don't play against us. <laughs> Hope you had a great fucking summer and you're ready for a good season this fall. Steve Schweigert. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Steve. I love it. I love it, Steve. I knew you'd love that, you fucker. I love it, Steve, especially since our best friend is named Steve. <laughs> you know, get this. Look at this. Call me anytime. It's a 1 800 number. What? 1 800. What the fuck? That shows you that. <laughs> that shows you these fucking. They're, they're fucking assholes, dude. Dude, they just want you to come there so they're not competing against you. Absolutely. That's it. <laughs> so, you know what I did? I went to Purdue and fucking beat their fucking ass and went to the Rose Bowl. So, fuck them. <laughs> Hey, you good though. You weren't that good. Seriously. Hey, 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 what? hey, hey. Nice to. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. You fucking moron. Wow. I wonder what this coach's name. Let me see what. Have a great season. Go Bucks. I mean, he, he he took the time. I mean, I I have all of my recruiting letters, dude. And I, I'm gonna go through them at some point. Oh, his name was Chuck. Why? Go, go Bucko, Chuck. What a fucking! I I Why can't go to Wheeling out of all College. out of all the Big Ten schools. I hate Ohio State, but you know what? I have the most friends from Ohio State. I still talk to Maurice Claret. I talk to him every week. He played with me in in Omaha. Yeah, I know he did. He's a good dude, man. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. I wanted his autograph. He's actually a bad. He's he's a cool dude, man. He's a good dude. No, so, so is Troy Smith. Um, Troy I I, Smith. I, I Troy Smith. He won the Heisman. Yeah. Um, remember, remember Will Smith. God rest his soul. Oh yeah, yeah, from the Saints. Yeah. Look. So this was this was this was the Playboy weekend here. Preseason Playboy All American. Chris Gamble, um, Robert Gallery, Will Smith. Um, Jesus. Wow. Chris Gamble, uh, Robert Gallery. I was wondering. Is gallery and then fucking um by the Raiders. 
He played for the Colts. Uh, Marlon Jackson. Remember Marlon Jackson? Yeah. Yep. I'm saying Gallery was drafted by the Raiders. No number two overall. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He, he was in. He was in my draft. Yeah, he don't yeah. play. You know, Nikki boy. I don't. But Andy, we passed on fucking Larry Fitzgerald again. Robert Gallery. I'm still hurting. I'm still pissed. And that was 19 years ago. It was that long ago. Yeah, 2004. That was the day that uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, what's the fucking dude uh, from the Giants? Uh, Eli Manning. He got drafted by the Chargers. He came on stage with like a face, like what did, the he, fuck just happened? He did. He did the fucking John Elway fucking. Bro, bro. his face was like, I swear, if you would have seen his facial expressions, like, what the fuck just happened? Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, because he's bro. Like, he was so sad. I've never seen a player get drafted and be like. He said, "I what just happened?" Oh, oh look, <laughs> this guy right here. He, he was at the Playboy All American with me, dude. That's where I fucking met him. What? Hold up. <laughs> what? What did you tell him? Hold up. The the Playboy All American team. See Eli Manning, Kevin Jones, Mike Williams, Kellen Winslow Jr., uh, Roy Williams, fucking Teddy Lehman, fucking Jason Babin, and you see that bad motherfucker in the back back there? That's that motherfucker, dude. Who's that? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Stu, I heard Roy Williams don't like to tip pizza delivery boys. He's a cheap motherfucker. Um, I, I could see that. I could see that. Like, God damn, you're a millionaire, bro. You can't even fucking so the receiver, you don't want to tip the delivery hey, boy. The receivers were Roy Williams, Mike Williams, and Reggie Williams. <laughs> Mike Williams. USC, Roy Williams, yep. Texas. Yep, and then Reggie Williams from fucking Reggie Washington. Williams. He actually hit me up a couple days ago on fucking Ooh. social. Reggie Williams. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, he said, hold on. Because, oh, he, no. Look at, no, he, he wrote, Shwaya <laughs> Look at No, look, seriously. Stop that. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, hit me up, motherfucker. Yeah, we 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 played him in the in the, my junior year in the Sun Bowl. We beat the fuck out of him. I fucking <laughs> smashed. Here, here's what we're gonna do. What? Oh, fucking god damn it! The fucking never mind. Yeah, that's probably. Well, the music, I just, this stupid fucking, here's the deal. What? Social media, social media you, you can show somebody getting murdered, but you can't play a fucking song. Because you get fucking doffed for copyright. Monetized, yeah. Monetized, yeah, you're going to get, like, well, hey, you, you're fucking you're copyrighted. Mises comments and fucking talk all that fucking bigotry and. But if you if you play somebody's song on a video, you you get demonetized. What song are you trying to play? Well, no, I have a highlight. I have a uh, when we played Washington in the fucking two thousand three no two thousand two Sun Bowl when I was fucking we were smoking motherfuckers. But I have music to hey, it. I'll tell you right now, you got your ass fucking plowed the one year by Washington's quarterback. Two yasa sopo. Yep. No, the only thing you're listening to was the announcer saying that. I did not get fucking plowed. You got plowed. You got plowed, man. He's like, now nah, he's gonna go find the video. <laughs> the motherfucker was like two fifty. Do you want me to call two yasa sopo right now? He's like, I got his number. Oh, you got fucking plowed. He did a quarterback sneak, and you got fucking plowed. I'm, I'm calling two sets, two sets of Sobel right now. I don't give a fuck who you call. Hey, but last night, Washington smashed USC, bro. <laughs> they fucked them oh, up. Pinnix. Pinnix. 
He's a former Indiana. Michael Penix Jr. Fuck, that dude is awesome. <laughs> I think Tuas was the the offensive coordinator for Rice right now. Penix. Damn, Rice University. Wow. Penix is going to be the Heisman winner. Your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You gotta be asleep. Hey, Marquise, dude, I'm sitting here talking to a fucking dumbass friend of mine <laughs> from high school, and I want your opinion. Did you run me over in the fucking Rose Bowl? And if you say you did, I'll accept it. I yeah. mean, you, you were like 235 fucking pounds. Yeah, you ran your ass over, and I was. A f- <laughs> You ran your fucking ass right fucking over. It's did I make the important. tackle? Did I make the tackle? No. No. Yes, I did. He did not keep he going. He won. Marcus, dude, call me back, dude. No. You, you, I think, I mean, you did run me over, but I did tackle you, though, at the same time. So I love you, man. Hopefully everything's good. Hey, dude. salute, Tui. Loved your service for the Raiders, bro. Salute. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm doing my uh, YouTube channel right now, and there's some Raider fans in here that said, "Love your services, dude. You were a bad motherfucker, man. Love you, man. Hopefully all is well. Give me a call when you can." Bro, I really thought there was a period a period of time, and I thought Marquise Tuias was going to take over for the Raiders, but he wasn't given a fucking opportunity. I'm like, oh fucking, hey, I don't even remember. Oh, Bill Callahan, I'm like you, Bill Callahan, you piece of shit. Let that motherfucker play. He's athletic. You fucker. Bro, he was drafted by the Raiders, was he not? He was drafted by the Raiders. Yes. Uh what's his name? Uh uh I have, uh, I have, I have the fucking Gannon guy. got hurt and Tui took over. Dude, but our <laughs> fucking head coach, bro, is sucking fucking <laughs> Bill Callahan. Yeah, Sopa took over the fucking Raiders. Bro, I, I wanted to kill Raiders. Bill Callahan because he didn't fucking give him the chance. He's like as soon as he started having like a bad game, he's like, "Oh, okay, I'm gonna play Rick Meyer." Like, fuck Rick Meyer, bro. I want to really, see Marquis Tuias and Sopo. I still have the fucking Rose Bowl game plan of us playing Washington right here. So, but wow. you're in a fucking place, dude. He still put you in your place. Let's bro. just see. I mean, fuck. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> still put you in your place, bro. I made the tackle, dickhead. Fuck. He said I made it. <laughs> no, no, he made the tackle. Meaning, huh? drove over you, and you were just on the bottom. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Oh, he, fuck. He, he, Hold he, on. Let's see. He pummeled you, dude. Listen. Purdue versus Washington. You want to replay it? I want to see it. You want to see it? I'm not scared, dude. I saw it. <laughs> you I don't saw even it. You, you saw it. You, you didn't even I watch the it. fucking game. The motherfucker was two fucking 50, at least. And you were what, 210? I don't even fucking care who the fuck was there. Shut up, dude. Okay. <laughs> 2001 Rose Bowl. Uh, I, yeah, I, I was the fucking defensive freshman of the fucking country that year, too, motherfucker. They don't care. Well, here, we'll just, we'll just let me. Can I? Can you give me a fucking second to see? <laughs> yeah, I'm giving. You know you what I'm saying? I mean, you know, oh, fucking. They, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> right here, here we go. Let's let's find out. Here it is. Here's the fucking game. Here. Good. Post it. Because you got fucking old. Listen, Gracie. Well, hold on. Just shut. Can you just shut the fucking, shut your fucking mouth, you <laughs> fucking idiot? Jesus fucking. You're like oh, a wait. fucking. Boston now? Oh, what is this? Crack? Crack? Jesus hold on. Crack. Can you, I mean, can you, no, what, now you don't want to watch it? No, watch two ass of sofa run over you. I'm not scared to fucking. I, I put all my shit on fucking, dude. I'm not scared of nothing. Truthfully, maybe it look was. At it, fuck you, look at it. Hey, Moni, what the fuck, facts? That's bullshit. Maybe it wasn't you in particular, but he. Somebody. Oh, are you are you rebuttaling right now, you motherfucker? 
I'm not rebuttal. Are you reading that again? Huh? Does it really fucking matter who he Look ran. At. He ran over your fucking defense. And you got fucking why, 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 why are you changing your fucking uh, statement now? Because I don't remember if it was Nice you. fucking outfit, dude. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't remember if it was you. I don't know who this guy is. Oh. Jesus. He ran over somebody. Yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait. Holy shit. I see, I see Jackson. Jackson. Fuck yeah. Holy Toledo. What? I remember when he used to do uh, uh, Gatorade commercials for Florida. Dude, I didn't even fucking know that it was Breeze was still the quarterback. Because you're a fucking idiot. That's why. Yeah, Breeze was the quarterback in 2001. You're so fucking you're so fucking stupid. Why would you know that? <laughs> oh boy. Yo, I think somebody's pissed that he got ran over. <laughs> you fucking pussy. <laughs> you fucking pussy. You got fucking ran over, didn't you? Well, let's see. No, I mean I remember Keith Jackson saying, Holy I'm on you're, you're a fucking, fucking pussy, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> and got fucking ran over, like, little bitch. You fucking are. Hey, just <laughs> calm yeah. down, okay? Oh, yeah. Jesus, fucking. <laughs> talking about oh, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on. Well, see, actually, Oregon State was supposed to be the team we we're gonna play. Who had? Remember, they had uh, Ocho Cinco and TJ Husmanzada. On that team, they played at Oregon State together. I remember that. Damn. Yeah. The fuck, Washington. And then, was and, then Washington and, then, and then Washington beat them in the in the uh, Pac-10 uh, championship game. Chili Pepper, what up? Stewart got popped like smoke. <laughs> well, we'll fucking. Oh, there, goes, you know. there goes Coach Hitler. Coach Hitler. Hey, 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 don't fucking say nothing bad about Tiller, bro. Don't even go there with that shit. He actually said hi. Visit you. He's like, hi. Hold on. Do they show the fucking defensive starting? Look at that, bitch. Hold on. Where the fuck is the defensive line up here? They're not going to fucking shoot. Here we go. Here we go. Are you a hell of a player, though? I'm starting to wonder. I, I am the player. Okay, here, here. Okay. Bitch. See, I fucked his ass and fumbled that bitch. That was me, motherfucker. Watch this. Look at Jeremy Stevens. Come here, bitch. Watch this. Yeah, motherfucker. That's a fumble. Who did that, Andy? I don't know. Like He's six seven. Fucked his ass the fuck up. Fuck this shit. What Hold the on. fuck are you doing now? I'm getting to the fucking play you're talking about. Oh, the play. That we're right here. Here it is right here. This is it right here. That's it. That was the play. Oh, uh, no. That's a tackle. He didn't fucking run that him over. Fucking, oh, that's where he fucking ran me over, huh? You got he tackled fucking... him, though. Hey, did you guys play high school football together? Is that why you're talking all this shit? <laughs> No, no, no! Listen, a Andy didn't play. <laughs> and a Andy didn't play sports. I don't play sports. I a a yeah, yeah, no. A Andy, um, a Andy's lungs couldn't um keep up with the fucking, fuck you know. He, a Andy was more of a um, what would you say? More of a, a um a fan, I guess you could say. You know, he he just he was more of a spectator. Yeah, that's what I was a spectator. Okay. Damn, who is this fool? Chili Chili Pepper 28 says Stewart got popped hey, like smoke like I'm gonna be professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be professional. What'd you say? You're gonna be professional, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Down here. Hold on. You know what? Well, fuck it. You know, All right. how long is the suspension? What happened? Wait, wait. 
What are we? Clark Arreo, what, US streaming. What happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, but what if what if what if they're my games though? What? He said can't be streaming games. Can he start up stream again? You know what? I don't give a fuck at this point. You know what? If they ban me, okay. I don't give I don't give two fucks. Oh my god, that's a game from like 20 fucking two years ago. Like what? Hold on. Let, oh, hold on. Years ago. What? <clears throat> Here's what we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna pull up um what's a good game, Andy? Game as far as what? One of my games. <clears throat> oh shit. My fre uh, freshman year against Michigan State. Uh, bro, I'm telling you right now, the game that you got me tickets to, uh, at your home place against Michigan State. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Instead of taking the fucking interception, you lit up. You lit up Charles fucking Rogers and fucking. Oh yeah, I smoked them. I fucking smoked them oh, on that, that one. And that was totally your call because you could have had the fucking. Yeah, I wanted to set precedence. Yeah, you said set precedence. I'm gonna yeah. pound this fucker. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's do. Um, let's see. Let's go back to freshman year, dude. Purdue. Yeah, dude. Fucking yeah. fuck yeah, dude. Here, here's that at Michigan State. Remember a guy named TJ Duckett? Uh, I remember TJ Duckett. Me and fucking Steve were in Canada and we hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. No, let's go, let's go, let's go to at Wisconsin. So I'm two and oh up in Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. What it's a fucking what the fuck you mean? Okay. What what the fuck does that mean? I'm just saying, okay, you're up. What? You know what, dude? You're so fucking. You're so fucking stupid, man. <laughs> I sort of. I. I. I just. I don't even know why now, the fuck. I, now here. Here's the host saying that his guests are stupid. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Wow. Stupid. <laughs> Think I'm stupid. Well, hold on here. I just want. So. What? Let's see, dude. Oh, like hold three, on a second. three months ago, Correct before this yourself. game, Correct we were yourself. getting fucking hammered. <laughs> Any guests that I have on the show, they're not stupid. I'm sorry. At the Ludington Gus Macker, we were getting hammered about three months before this fucking game here. As a freshman. Because you're a pussy. Well, here, let's see. Michael Bennett, he's pretty good. Bitch, got him. Yes, sir. Yep. To make the tackle. Let's see if, if Schweiger doesn't. Are you listening? If Schweiger doesn't make the tackle, this could go the distance. So many times you say that and you say, well, now come on. This man hey, thanks, Chili Pepper. Look, watch this. 100 meter dash champ. Look at, watch this. Bitch. Right Got him. Drop it. That's the fastest man in the big Look at You got lucky. You know, I remember on Madden, Michael Bennett was one of the fastest motherfucking players like in the in the mid 2000s. Not against me, he wasn't. Here, look at Jim Soldier. Come here, bitch. Bam! Fucking trying to fuck his ass up. Let's go. Or what? It's 12 minutes. We're watching the whole fucking thing, Andy, you fucking bitch. <laughs> There we go. Uh, coming down. Come here, bitch. Jim Sorge, he's a Michigan guy from Frazier. Look, here we go. Michael Bennett again. Bitch. Damn. Who was the runner? That was a fucking dope ass fucking tackle. I don't give a fuck what you say, motherfuckers. Bam! Look at that shit. Done. Who is the running back for was something he didn't do a week ago? There were some questionable decisions. The what? coaching staff told us he could have oh uh, who Ron Dane? You're so fucking dumb, dude. Here we go. Look at it. Here we go. Bam! Bitch. What is that? 
Let's see, we got five tackles here in the oh, yo, fuck. He's still getting five yards. It's the beginning of the second quarter. Let's see here. In five yards. Here we go. Look at Chris Chambers. Look at got him. Oh, that motherfucker that played for Miami. I got can't him. Stand his got ass. him. Look at this shit. Caught his ass. Fuck, I hated Chris Chambers. It ain't fucking Ron Dane. Are you still on that? Dude, it's fucking Michael Bennett is the running back. <laughs> Dumbass. This is Chris Chambers, a first round pick. I catch the watch. Let's just see. I was seeing the same thing, but it's the exact same play that they had just to the other side. Great catch by Chambers. Watch the right. Miss. Miss. Bitch, got him. Wow. Yep. <laughs> 19 years old, dude. Look at it. Yeah, get here, bitch. Here we go. Let's see. Hey, got him. Another one. Was that seven tackles now? Here we go. Let's see. Here we go. Look at this. Pop. I'm like, hey, get up, motherfucker. Who was that? Look at it. I'm, I'm getting pissed. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? Can someone else make a goddamn tackle? We have 44 seconds left. Look at it. Next play. Here we go. Guess who gets him? Got him. Another one. Who was that? Help him. Look at Spack. He's like, God damn it, these motherfuckers. <laughs> Here we go again. Let's see. Look at it. Another tackle. Was that eight now? Nine? Those Wisconsin coaches were afraid of losing Michael Bennett, not to injury, but to the Olympics. Here we go, third quarter. Oh, this is bullshit, too. They say it was my fucking play, and it was not. But I'll make the tackle. That's a good move, I guess, for him. And Wisconsin fans are more than happy he stayed. Wisconsin Badger. Look at this. They're like, oh. Fuck you, that's not my play, you dickhead. Dude, bad angle. You did, though. Here we go. Oh, look. Another one. I'm like, you motherfuckers, dude. He's like, this white boy won't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> and he's limping, too. I fucked his ass up. Look at him limp. Look at him. I'm like, God, these dudes, man. What the fuck? Look at I'm like, fuck! The fuck are you guys doing out here? I want to see that one again. I don't give a fuck. It's my channel. I can I can play it again. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. I'll twist your ankle, too, motherfucker. Dude, my, my legs, all my fucking skin was burned off because the turf. That was AstroTurf, dude. Fucking I hate teams that have AstroTurf as a fucking field. Burns, my skin was gone, dude. That shit was 110 degrees on that fucking. That's AstroTurf, dude. That's like. I always played on that. Look at it. That's why I have all the pads on and shit, dude. My skin was gone, man. Oh, fuck, fuck. Here we go. Look at, hey, look at. Oh, another one. Fucking one on one tackle on Chris Chambers coming from deep, man. What the fuck, bro? That's got to be 10 tackles by now, right? Lots of excuses if we wanted to use him. He's been so impressed by the character of his kid. Here we go. Look at, hey, look at this. Give me that. What's that? Fucking interception. <laughs> watch. Dude, watch this. I catch it and put my fucking left foot in, dude. Watch this. Look at it. Right. Watch. Look at it. Here I come. Watch this, bitch. I'll take it and then watch my left foot. Right is out. Tink. 
Then there we go. It's the right is out. You only <laughs> need one <laughs> down in college, you fucking moron. I know. <laughs> Did you not see that? No, I saw it. Fuck. Schweiger does have two interceptions to lead the Purdue defense. Wow, Chris Lee. That's fucking. That was a great fucking Shut up, dude. You're so fucking dumb. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> that one hurt. That one hurt. I didn't get low enough. I wasn't. On the stop. Interesting, the ebb and flow of this game. It appeared like the Wisconsin. I'm like, can you motherfuckers, can someone else do something right now, man? What the fuck? We're at 24 17, fourth quarter. So here again, again. So right now, I'm looking at my defensive coordinator. I'm like, stop calling that corner blitz, dude. The fuck are you? Wait, what do you say, Andy? What's that? <laughs> He's made all the tackles. But dang, dude, you, you guys. See, you see anybody running me over, motherfucker? You guys are trying to be like Notre Dame. No names on the fucking oh. back of the jersey. You're crazy. Another, another tackle. Bitch. <laughs> Jim Sorgi, the fucking backup for the Colts. Bitch. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> I got a great Jim Sorgi story, though, too, though. So I, I kind of fucked this one up. You always do. But here we go. Hey, look at overtime. Watch this shit, though. This is, this is cool as shit. The gentlemen understand your options. So 15 is Drew Brees, Andy. Do you remember Drew Brees? Yeah. Fucking idiot. That's Brees? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Purdue has elected to go on defense. Which end of the field? <clears throat> okay, gentlemen, turn that way, please. I wonder how much that hurts Drew Brees. He's asked. Wisconsin, Drew Brees says, we'll go on we'll go offense. On first. first down. Ah, because Drew Carolina. Brees knows I'm going to win the game for us. <laughs> Shit, this should have been another fucking pick. Look at this. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, Ashante. Get the fuck out of my way, bro. <laughs> Ashante Wood is leading the parade on defense there. Get your ass up, top cover man. Single coverage is Ashante Wood. On the inside, here's the corner route. Woodyard right with it as he has his eyes on the ball. Goes oh, oh, yeah, no. You guys definitely should have intercepted the ball. All right, here we go. Look at it. Your boy Vitaly. Vitaly Pitts. Pizetsky. Pizetsky. Wow. What the fuck? Here we go. Here we go. Look at Black. Right, look at it. Wow. I'm not. No. no. <laughs> look at this shot. No. Game, bitch. Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you pick that up? No, I didn't. No, Shante Woodyard did. Oh. That's I did have 14 tackles that game, though. And a pick. But, dude, did you hear me? That shit was you guys are trying to be like Notre Dame. No names on the back of the jerseys. I'm like, well, what that, that was that was that was Tiller. He, <laughs> that was Tiller. <laughs> that, was Tiller. <laughs> that was Tiller. And to be first, hey, first of all, no way in shape or form or fucking anything close to us being like Notre Dame, motherfucker. So don't even fucking say that, coach. I'm just saying there's no names on the back of the jerseys because that's how Notre Dame is. I will, I will fucking, I will fuck you up if you call us Notre Dame, bro. I didn't say you're like Notre Dame. I'm Kojo. just talking about the name of the, the, there's no, you know, no names on the back of the jersey. Kojo, be careful. <laughs> uh, 
Kojo. <laughs> hey, I'm. Uh, you know, I love my Notre Dame hey, 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 bro. Hey, you want to go? Let's go to a fucking. Let's go to a Raiders. Let's just see a Raiders game to make to make the Raiders. You want to see Kansas City? Let's see. Yeah, show us you smacking fucking that pussy. No, 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 no. That, that's. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that shit. Hold on. Here we go. Why can't the goddamn comments coming in? What's that? I can't see the comments coming in. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no comments coming in at this point. Everyone's, they're, they're all asleep. Because you're a bitch. Well, I mean, That's a, is that the thing? Maybe I don't know. I don't either. I don't know. I don't either. Why well, didn't ask you? So why why the fuck are you even saying anything? I'm just asking. No, Andy. If you want to see the comments, so if you're on your phone or computer, you got to watch it on a different device. You got to go to YouTube really? again. Yeah, you can't see the comments on your own device. Oh. I, I learned that the hard way too. Yeah, like whatever you're on, you got to watch something else to go to YouTube and then fucking go to this stream and then you can see all the comments. All right. Hey, I appreciate that. I got you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Hey, no, here, 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 here. <laughs> you fucking <you, what>, <laughs> Go stew. <laughs> stew, is that you? Yeah. Yeah, he's on the pommel horse. That's my dad recording. Yeah. Look at it. You were on a pommel horse? Oh, oh God. Damn. Oh. Hell yeah, Holy dude. Shit. What's my score? <laughs> Hold on. I never seen nothing like that before. Seven five. What the fuck? That's my coach Rick. That's my coach Rick. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Good luck. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. Look at it. Huh. Uh, Michigan State, January 1990. Oh, oh. Yeah. January 90. Oh. Damn, I was fucking 11. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, fuck this. What the fuck? I fell. Oh, hey, yo, hey, hey. Look at this shit. Yeah, 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 Bam. Uh. Look at There's my mom. I'm like, fuck you, mom. Look at, look at, look at. That's Carol. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> if that, if that Carol. holy fuck. This is, hey, no, this is my best event right here. I'm good at this. I'm good at parallel bars. Oh, parallel um, bars. Uh, watch this. Yum. Look at it. Uh, He's good at this one. Yep. Wow. Yeah, Man, that, that shit, big. Hold up. Yep. Hold up. That's it? <laughs> I'm fucking like six years old. Don't get it. Look at it. Don't. That. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me get Let me get to my floor. Hey, let me get to my floor with you. Fuck this thing. Wait, actually, this is pretty good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, Andy left. Fucking pussy. Oh, here we go. Look at. Hey, look at. <laughs> I ain't even wearing no fucking pop. Look at that shit. I ain't. I do. I went raw dog, dude. I had fucking all my skin was off my fucking hands. Bitch. Look at. It. Here we go. Bombed. (laughs) 
Look at hey, hey, that's you. Hey, look at. Yep. Jim Jester Giants, bro. Watch it. Hey, hey, look familiar? Yeah, it looks familiar. But if you did gymnastics before, what made you want to play football? Dude, I, I did gymnastics for the first 10 years of my life, bro. But uh, that's what I'm saying. What made you want to switch to football? I didn't play football until I was in fourth grade. Dude, I, I did, I did, dude, I was a. Uh, I went to the Junior Olympics in Taekwondo. Wow. Yeah, man, I was a fucking, I was. Oh, see, Moni, you're so fucking full of shit right now. She said so delicate. Fuck that. I was a fucking, look at that. Bomb. I'm like, fuck this shit. Hold on, wait, wait. Right here. So watch, dude. So I do this routine, right? And I fucking just rip my fucking skin off my hand. I was a badass, dude. Look, no, watch it. Yeah. That's my boy Scott Fry, my coach. Here we go. Yum. He, look at that. Let me rip this shit off. What? I said you were a badass. What'd you say? I said you were a badass in what? Taekwondo? <laughs> Here, hold on. Hey, hey. No, yeah, do you hear me where you gotta see this? Christ, I want to kick your fucking ass in high school. Here we go. Look at dude, look at. Is that you? No, it's it, Andy, it's not me. Well, shit. Who, I, who in the fuck do you think it would be? You are well, so fucking stupid. Fucking killed and I see somebody up to fucking bat. So you tell me who the fuck you I are. Mean, you, am I going to show some fucking little kid playing baseball? That's not me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> You've got to be the <laughs> dumbest <laughs> fucking, the fucking motherfucker field. I've ever seen in my life, man. Somebody up to bat. So right, which one are you? Don't force you. You got to throw it Which one are you? Which ah. one are you? Up on the grass. You're up on the bat. That's striking out. Probably. Ready, Ryan. Ready. Fucking. Go, Stu. Keep your eye on it. Shut up. Look at that. Ah, look at that shit. Nice throw. Probably a fucking error. Look at that. They got you. Look at that. Yeah, bitch. Oh, you stole second? Yeah, another error. I'm just saying. Look at that. I know how travel baseball works. Go, go. Tandy! Tandy! Got him. <laughs> oh. Oh. Brian, it's not toward you. Oh. Oh. Do it. Yum. Oh. Do it. Yum. Uh oh. Do it. Watch me throw the bat. I'm like, fuck this shit. Do it. Two out, it's the easiest play. What? Um, the baseball. Yeah. Nice. Go to first if it's right to you. Up on the grass. Okay, I'm My boy Kyler and Hunt Jaime. You are? Or is it you? He's like I'm watching the sand lot. That's me. Huh? <laughs> Who's the trouble with? Well, it's not me. Give me a dick. I want to use it. Hi, me. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. Look. Thank you. Do I saw that girl hit you with that ball? <laughs> Why'd she do that? She was trying to throw it to that guy. She smacked her in the chest. Oh my. 
Yeah. yeah. Didn't even see it one point. We lost by one point. Oh, Jaime, one, right. one point. One no, point. it's called one run, Jaime. Come on, buddy. Oh, I said, what are you good talking job, about, Jaime? Yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah, and then it... No, so here's what we here's what we used to do on on uh <laughs> at our house on on Sunday night. Hold on, wait, wait. Are you playing that? I loved hearing your dad. I did. No, wait, no, no, dude, dude, look at this. Well, watch it. I did. I loved hearing your dad. All right. Our donor page is going to require a lot of washing, feeding, diapering, lots and lots of diapering, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If all goes well, we'll wear out a washer dryer before the shine. This is what we used to do on the evening. If our daughter Paige comes down with the colic, which any average infant comes down with, if they're any kind of infant at all, your life and mine will be filled with lots of vomit and lots of noise. Here. Go home, Norman. Crawl in bed, close your eyes, and get a good night's sleep. It may be the last my dad, time you're going no, to have Andy, you hear my dad? He's recording. That's your dad recording? Bring him out here. I can't see that far. Oh my God! Go ahead. <laughs> That's him laughing. Back. Wait. So, uh, one of their refund places. Visa travelers checks. Their head. Here it goes. Yeah, that's so crazy. American workers is functionally illiterate. And in the next 10 years, 25 million workers must upgrade their skills. If we don't do something now, we will destroy our own businesses, our own industry. <laughs> that's my mom. That's my mom laughing. Holy fuck. <laughs> Sneaky one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Put her out in the put the answer in the middle of the floor, Stu. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the middle of the floor and just set it down. Yeah. 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 So funny that cat. Oh my god, Jenny. Jesus. Uh, that's my I, sister Jenny. Question. How old were you? I was probably, this is uh, 88, so I was seven. Seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, 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 wait, wait. She's going to sneak. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. What? Look okay. at to be aided and comforted by my alleged husband under such circumstances. Please. 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 What you should do? Did you know what? Take the black cat. Did you know what? You hear my dad laughing? Yeah. Unfortunately, it was just eating up everything. But the wings of a bird. All right. No. So here, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Here. We'll 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 do a video of Big Stew. We'll do a video. <clears throat> you trying to call your dad right now? He won't fucking answer that. He don't answer the phone before three o'clock in in no, the afternoon. Right here. here, right here. Here you go. Look. Oh, Al Padre Island. Right. Right. Carol, I want you to swim like you did yesterday. That that your dad saying what? Yeah. yeah. Lisa, okay. jump in. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Stu, what's the matter with you? Stu, what's the matter with you? Stu, is that a city? What is it? Right here. City? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? I'm Mr. Swiger. Oh yeah? Where this, are you? Where are I you on this, this sunny beach. day? I own this beach. What beach is this? Huh? What this beach is, is my this? Beach. Bro, oh, you're fucking Swiger Beach. Yeah. beach? What's the best thing about Swiger Beach? Your dad was. Oh, I don't know. I like this very oh. name. <laughs> wow! Check it out. <laughs> Who are you? Brian What? Brian. Are you praying right now, Brian? Oh, shit. <laughs> Bro. Where are you going? Fuck it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look it. There goes Carol. Who's Here they are. My mom. Here they are. Look at, oh. Hey, look at them. Watch this. Look at your beach. How's your swim? Mom, how's your swim out there? Wet. Wet. Okay. Stu, how'd she do? She's a wimp. Wow. Well, big wimp. She went out there. Hey, salt all over. Give her credit. She went out there. Yeah, I got to give her credit. She didn't go in up to her neck. Can you believe your mother went out there, Stu? No! <laughs> you pulled a whole slice of bread up once. Dude, bro, he... So it's sticking up in the air. What? He's fucking stacked. <laughs> dude, that's because he's fucking... What do, I mean, what do you think? He's big Stu, dude. Like, Man, he's stacked like a motherfucker. Holy shit. Well, I have a, so I, I did a video of, so he was interviewed by uh, George Atkinson and like a Raiders person, and it was called Boys to Men. And I did a whole like, while he's talking, I did like a whole background to it. And I don't know where the fuck. Oh, dude. So you'll like this, dude. Uh huh. So th th this was, this was like, so this is Brandon. Remember my little fuckhead, fuckhead stepbrother? No. Well, so we used to, we, so we, we recorded this video of us, and he's a robot. Watch this. Little aliens from outer space. I love it. The, the only, it. Stu, the only way you can kill it is to knock its head off. Let's see if you can do it the other way. Wait, wait. I think the only I think the only way you're gonna kill this thing is it's it dead? It's still alive. It's still alive. Wait, let's see what it really wait, wait. Is there let's see what it really looks like. Is it got a real head? There it is. There it is. Can it talk? Wait, wait, I see its eyes. What about its nose? What about its mouth? There it is. Can it talk? <laughs> As fuck. Okay. I got on a fucking black top Reebok pump though, dude. Those fucking shoes are fucking dope. And I got a partner. Oh, I got a partner on. fucking uh get him, get him on. before he gets me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what, Andy? Fuck you, dude. What are we talking about? I'm so sick of your bullshit, man. No, I ha I, I can't find this fucking video. I don't know what the fuck, man. It's it's a good video of And the whole thing is my dad, my dad, it, it's, and I got pictures of my dad, like in college and fucking when he was lifting weights and shit. Your dad's getting old. 
Get with oh, me. Is it, wait, is this it? Hold on. Your dad's Wait, no, what's, yo, this is it. This is it. Fuck it. This is it. Oh, dude, check it. check this fucking thing out, dude. This is fucking dope. This is dope as shit, dude. Okay. Watch this, dude. You can you? I mean, can you focus for like two, like four minutes without fucking? Yeah. You know, here, dude. Look at it. watch this, uh, folks. We got a fun one for you. Stuart Schweigert, the Raiders' second year safety, number thirty. His dad. Stuart Schweigert Sr. is an officer in Saginaw, Michigan. He's a man of the law, and his son is a man who loves to run and loves football. So let's listen in on Stu Schweigert Sr. talking about his son and our Babies to Man feature. He was always interested in sports, and as soon as he could play football, I mean, that uh, that got his attention, and he kind of focused on that. But he, he played all sports uh, from, you know, soccer. He was involved with gymnastics when he was four or five years old, and uh, – uh, he, he liked to compete, uh, but when football came around, I mean, that just turned into his sport. Now, I got to ask you, as a sergeant, are you in the Saginaw, Michigan Police Department, sir? I, I'm a sheriff. I'm a I'm a, uh, a shift commander at the sheriff's department here in Saginaw County. Okay. Now, I, I understand that you, you don't bring the handcuffs into the house for your kids, but <laughs> w- how tight a ship did you run? Were you Bobby Knight Jr. at home with Stuart as a kid? Actually, you know, I gave him a lot of leeway. I wasn't real strict on him, but he, he didn't mess up a lot. You know, he wasn't a kid that required a lot of supervision. I didn't have to tell him to do his homework. I didn't have to tell him to get down to business. He, he took care of things, so I didn't I didn't have to be strict with him. Hospital corners on the beds, neat neat and clean, tidy, and up at 6 a.m.? Oh, no, I wouldn't do that to anybody, no. Oh, good to hear. On. Oh, good, good. So uh, you know, an enlightened uh, man of the law, that's, that's doubly good. Now, Stuart... He's got to be one of the uh, more delightful guys. His personality, he, he's bright, he's energetic, he's always upbeat, always a positive kid. But I imagine when he was when he was a youngster, there had to be a little devil in his eye for some things that you're going to tell us now that had never been told before. Well, there was a couple occasions, uh, and uh, one of them, uh, uh, it kind of goes back to his competitiveness. I used to take him to a putt-putt golf course, which is right near our house. And, gosh, he could have been more than four or five years old, and uh, – and we'd go there two or three times a week. And uh, uh, one time uh, he, we were playing putt-putt golf, and I turned around and I caught him, and he was trying to change the score on the little scoring card. You know, and, I, and he just didn't want to get beat, you know. And, you know, from an early age, he wanted to win. And, uh, and you know, that came right down to the putt-putt golf at that early age. He was trying to finagle the score a little bit. Didn't think I was looking because he wanted to beat me. So. Well, that sounds like uh, weekend golfers, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what they do yeah. with the school guy. Now, he goes to Purdue and breaks the school record for interceptions. Now, I'm going to bring in a, a, a sensitive subject here. There are not many white defensive backs in the National Football League and not as many who can run as fast as this young man. Holy smokes, he, he's about as fast as you could ever be. Well, a lot of people don't realize how fast Stewart is, and uh, he was actually the 100-meter state champ in Michigan, and Michigan has got a lot of high school athletes. And uh, he um, beat Charlie Rogers for the uh, – title as a junior and, and uh, recorded the fastest uh, 100 meter time ever recorded in Michigan. You're right, people because he's, you know, be, because he's white, they don't think he's going to be that fast, but he's he's had that speed and he's proved it. Why not the offensive side of the ball? I mean, with all that speed and his size, great wide receiver he probably could have made. He could have been and he played a quarterback offensively in high school and was recruited out of uh, high school uh, in fact, Notre Dame was after him quite heavily to play quarterback uh, on the offensive side of the ball. He had a lot of offers, but I think he looked ahead uh, down the road and felt maybe his niche would be defensively because he liked to play that too. And I think there was probably more opportunities for him at that position. Yeah, he's just got all all those skills. You know, I got a kick out of his tale with us on Raiders Recap earlier in the year when he was our guest over to Everett and Jones Barbecue at Jack London Square in Oakland. When he said his first day of uh, practice at training camp. He's uh, suiting up, getting dressed in the locker room, and Warren Sapp looked over at him like, what are you doing here? He thought Stewart was the ball boy because he's not exactly the most, you know, big strapping dude. <laughs> You're right. He's kind of lean, and uh, uh, he's got some muscle, but he's not uh, not a real he's thick guy. No, dude. Well, he's fit. He just doesn't have that, you know, that killer look about him. But, but his temperament belies the look, I think. I think it does. I think he surprises people. People see him out – in public and we go out and was that the football is that that's a football player he, he doesn't look like he's a football player you know because he's kind of lean you know what about Stuart Swaggart senior did you play any sports at all 
You know, I played uh, uh, college football at a small college. Probably never heard of it in, in South Dakota. It was Yankton College. Um, matter of fact, uh, the guy I replaced, uh, I was a defensive tackle, was Lyle Alzado. He went to school there, and, and he had graduated, and, I, and he was a right defensive tackle at the college, and I came in that next year, and uh, I played uh, uh, some small college football out there in South Dakota. So, yeah, I, I was a um, – football was my sport, too. Well, it's been fun catching up with you. I know you're excited to see your, your boy out there, his second year, and his starting safety in the NFL. That's quite an accomplishment. And he's been a, a guy with a nose for the football, forcing fumbles, had his first interception a couple of weeks ago, and I know you're awfully proud. Oh, I, I have been. I think his play has picked up the last few games, and uh, he's looking more like the Purdue player that uh, uh, was so awesome uh, down in, in Lafayette. And, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been exciting, very exciting. Yeah. No, with Notre Dame, it just, um, I figured, you know, Bob Davies, who I really liked, um, every option quarterback becomes a safety or receiver. So I just made the, made the jump earlier. And plus Notre Dame was one of my worst fucking visits. <clears throat> and, um, Stu Jackson, <laughs> So there's still 23 people. We've been on for five hours. There's still 23 people in here. Chili Pepper, where are you from, dog? Where are you from? Is that you in the picture? Bow, bow, bow. Oh, uh, oh, you're from Pasadena. No shit. Nah, it's from a video game I grew up playing. Oh, okay. How old are you? Blah, blah. Oh, sh okay. Let me make, how many wins do you think y'all take for AP? To, okay, da, da, da. okay. Oh, you're a young young dude. You play sports. Clark Arreo? Yeah, football. Well, hey, well, listen, hey, shit, shoot me a text, guys. Here's my number again. And I'm I'm gonna sign off, but shoot me a text. And um I'll help you guys out in any way I can, man. Thanks for pulling up. But take that number down, shoot me a text, Clark and uh Chili Pepper. All right, man. Love you guys. Fucking go Raiders.